Welcome guys. Let me know whenever y'all can see me. Sorry. <laughs> Some technical difficulties uh, right before starting, but we're here now. We're here and we're going to try to figure out <laughs> the mystery of the mail. I mean the nail man. The nail man. Did you guys ever hear about the legend of the nail man? <laughs> I'm sure you guys have not heard of it before. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to refresh myself on some of the game mechanics. I don't, for some reason, I thought there was like a area here. Maybe it's like after you enter the labyrinth, there's like an area that reminds you of the mechanics. But I thought there was one here, but I could not find anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was trying to do that for a little bit just because, uh, I don't know, I'm very, I'm a very forgetful person. Welcome, guys. Okay, cool. Looks like y'all can see me. But yeah, what were we doing? I think we were just uh, yeah, trying to get to, what is it? Like uh, 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 another place to investigate basically. Oh yeah, I think it was the museum. Oh yeah, I can't travel by bus, but doesn't that cost money? I was kind of wanting to just view the map area. Yeah. Okay, I was like, how do I get here again? <laughs> Where am I at? Okay, I'm right there. And then I have to get to this area? No, oh, whatever. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll roam around aimlessly like we did last time until we fucking find it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what gaming's all about, man. That's what it's all fucking about. Okay, no, I can't go anywhere. Okay. I'm, um How are you guys doing? Again? I gotta eventually learn how to. No, not the. Ch I don't want to go back to the church. Damn. <laughs> Let's check the drone umbrellas. I wonder if that actually is gonna be important. I feel like it's not. I think I'm just. I think I just want it to be important. I just love the idea of using that to like fly around <laughs> and murder people. Oh crap! I missed a donation. Thank you, Kirkamancer. Last time, Weeby was depressed. The priest wasn't hot. <laughs> Yuma paid a hundred thousand to hold Hilara's hand, and Yako's proposal failed. Also, serial kill. <laughs> ah, that wasn't important. What was really important was that the priest wasn't hot. <laughs> oh man, truly the most heartbreaking part of last last video. Um, how the hell do I get here again? Um. Is there another way to look at this map, like, a bit better? I don't think so. I think it's just this way, right? I'm gonna have to... God dang it. Ah, curse you, Steam Deck. Making it the opposite controls <laughs> of the Switch. We get to this area, but how do I get to this area again? Probably one of these. Maybe I'll go down this one. Try that. Okay. So, yeah, I think it's... Yeah! Right around here. The building we're heading to is accessed through Gima District. Oh, god damn, it's a secret there. club. <laughs> ah, damn it, where is... Okay, so Gima. Was I born stupid? Or did other people have problems with this too? <laughs> Maybe I should just travel by bus. Okay, there it is, the other one. Cross the road. Okay. Nope, nope. This way-ish. Nope, this way. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> now we're doing it! I had so much trouble last time, yeah, trying to find it. Is this even the right area? I kinda wanna double check. <laughs> God, God damn it, is this not the right area? <laughs> okay, fuck it! <laughs> we're traveling by bus! <laughs> okay! Thank you, Snippy Whiffy, Weeby, so happy I can simp to my heart's content. I'm happy for you. Uh, you're simping for Vivia, probably, right? <laughs> There's a lot of people to sim for in this game so far, but Vivia, number one. I like Yakko though, too. <laughs> oh, man. I do feel like this town's a bit confusing. Maybe I should try in my free time to just like, figure out how to, like, how to walk around. I don't know if it actually did it charge me. I didn't see it charging me, I don't think. Come on. God bless fast travel. <laughs> yes, I am sending for video. Good taste. Good taste. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Dylan Petal. 
Hey, Weeby, I beat the game earlier this week. It was such a great game. Looking forward to seeing what you think of the future chapters. Do you think Vivia would ever read Toko's novels and <laughs> Fumi's fanfics? Probably. I feel like he's one of those dudes that just kind of reads anything, you know what I mean? Even if he doesn't like it, just because he's such a fast reader, I feel like I could see him just like reading like a... <laughs> super weird like messed up fanfic and he's like eh well I killed some time <laughs> I, I don't know if he would enjoy it though I guess is the one thing the one thing was I not even going I was going to the mansion the whole time no wonder I was so fucking confused I thought we were going to the museum <laughs> eh whatever hmm? I'm that person um oh, what's wrong master uh... um doesn't she seem a bit uneasy like she might fall over at any moment oh weird the the 5G from the from the drone umbrellas it's affecting her. I just really want the drone umbrellas to be a part of this. Come on. You really can't help yourself when it comes to the ladies, can you? <sighs> and your weird conspiracy theories. It it isn't like that. Talk to the woman. I don't see why not. Um. Um. Excuse me. Is something wrong? You seem upset. Huh? Who, who are you? I'm. I'm kind of a detective. Come on, say it with more passion. Just lie, Yuma. <laughs> in training. Or yeah, in training would sound better too. A detective, I I see. Well. So uh, is something something wrong? Well, actually, I'm I've run away from home. Oh, here we go. Here's a trauma dump from from NPC woman. And I'm at a loss about what to do next. Hmm. Oh. I and this smells like a case. Let's hear her out, yeah. master. Oh, it's just like one of those little mini cases. Yeah, you might be right. I should avoid getting involved, but I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I just left well? alone. She give me some more details. Well, I'm the daughter of a merchant who does business throughout Kanai Ward. Due to family circumstances, it was decided that I would have an arranged marriage. Thinking of what's best for my family, I should accept the proposal, but, but my suitor, is not hot. I mean, he's an awful person. I heard it with my own ears. He said he was only using my father. Huh? Oh my god, we're joining like a K drama all of a sudden. Oh, what the hell am I supposed to do about it? I think I'm a detective, right? How am I supposed to break up a marriage? And then why not just talk to your father about it? There's nothing I can do without proof. Besides, my father is very keen on him. Okay, find proof that he's just using him then. When I told my father, I thought for a second we we're gonna go into like their mansion and be like, No, she doesn't love him! <laughs> Please, Papa, spare her! When I told my father I didn't want to get married, he yelled at me and said I shouldn't cause trouble. So that's why you ran away Aww. from home. Uh, how lame. Let's get out of here. No. We can't do that. Having to marry an evil man sounds terrible. Leaving home has given me some time to think. I want to try talking to my father. But if we went back now, I don't think we could have a civil conversation. I'm terribly sorry to ask, but could you take this letter to my father for me? I'll reward you for your trouble. Oh, we're just doing that? I thought we're gonna have to like, I don't know, at least like spy on him or something. Um, does this chick think detectives are errand boys? Mm -hmm. Eh, she's rich, so yeah, probably. We can't just leave her like this. Huh? That's my master, simping over every woman he meets, making their wishes come true. <sighs> It's not like that. All right. I'm just a sucker for the NPCs, man. Okay, I'll help you. Thank you so much. My father should be in front of Kanai Station around oh. now. It'd be a good idea to ask what he looks like, right? The station's a busy place, after That's all. True. That's true. Uh. What exactly does your father look like? He should be wearing a suit, navy blue from head to toe. It's his favorite. I see. I see. Thank you. Okay, paired with the devil. I mean, that kind of went on for a while. <laughs> it's very important to the story. I kind of like spying on people's conversations, too. <laughs> this, is Monoclear, this is Monoclear Street. As you can see, it's a high-class residential area. Man, the people in this game are so classless, dude. So, um, I see those are last season's Gucci shoes, lady. <laughs> um, you should not be on Montclair Street. <laughs> Disgusting. Um, you appear to be quite poor. Your kind don't belong so, here. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, he's talking to me. Oh, what a dick. I hope the serial killer goes after him next. Shinikami, no, don't say that. I totally, totally disagree with you. <laughs> Thank you, David, for becoming There's a Kenjo a cultist. The gate nice there. race, PFP. I wonder if that's the second crime scene. That's probably it. Kind of hard Let's to get in there. Inside. 
we shall we shall see. It's closed. I find another As hole expected. to sneak in. We need to get the get, oh what the fuck oh my god <laughs> okay. Are you sure? <laughs> Just bust it down. That's cool too. Hope there's no cops around. Oh, wait. <laughs> or peacekeepers, I guess. Oh, Lara. I need like a. I think people were saying like the boss. I don't know. If there's other uh, other good nicknames to call them. I think like my liege was like a good one for a replacement for like king or queen. Thank you, David. It looks like a haunted mansion. I, I've been seeing a therapist. I'm seeing a therapist to help with my kleptomania. I've been taking something of value away from every <laughs> session. <laughs> Damn, your therapist gonna be pissed after a while. <laughs> Wait, where did my where my watch go? Um. Anyways, talk about my kleptomania more. <laughs> Thank you so much, David, though, for the dono. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Thank you, Bless Bane, a sucker for NPCs. Boy, do I have some TikTok. Oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot about that trend for a second, dude. That is so wild. I was watching one of those streams and I was like, I don't know what to think about this. <laughs> Boy, do I have some TikTok live streams for a human to watch. <laughs> I kind of feel like he would watch those TikTok live streams, though, just, <laughs> just to be to be real. Uh, I hope there aren't any ghosts around. I have a feeling they'll appear this time. I've been meaning to ask, but aren't you kind of a ghost yourself? I'm totally different. How dare you say that? The incident occurred about three months ago. The victim was Ali Hohen, the owner of this mansion. Okay. He had no family and lived alone. The mansion is now empty and dilapidated. Did it say what business he was in? I think he... I don't know if it actually mentioned that quite yet. The crime scene is in the study near the back. Let's go. Oh, thank you, Ash, XXX. Her description of her dad was so big. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, he was wearing the a blue shirt. Had another common factor. <laughs> and he's a man. The locked room. That's good enough for you to go off, right? You're a detective. Come on. <laughs> Get with it. Thank you for the dono, by the way. Mailman killings have had another common factor besides the locked room. The first person to find the body was always the same person. And yeah, that weirdo, the worshiper guy who doesn't who doesn't have a name. That worshiper from church? Do you suspect him too? Very weird choice to not give them names. What he said did make sense. He's been obsessed with the nail man and had access to the names of potential victims. It's not too surprising for him to be the first on the scene each time. I guess I shouldn't assume things going into this. Yeah, that's right. We'll see. It's down this hallway. The crime scene is in the room on the right side. Man, this mansion is creepy. It's kind of a cool place for the labyrinth to be based off of, though. There's little time. Let's head straight there. Ha! Think you're partners now? Just because you held hands with my master? I'll have you know, Master and I are connected on a much deeper level. Does she have a thing for him? Like, I was like, I thought she was teasing at first, but she just keeps going. Don't make it sound so suggestive. Feels like a jump scare is coming up. <laughs> Some Five Nights at Freddy's. Come on, Weeby. <laughs> so this is the study where the crime took place. Oh, it's open. I wonder if the lock was broken at the time of discovery here, too. Man, does that mean that worshiper just, like, broke into this guy's house? <laughs> After a while, just to try to find the nail man? It's like, well, nobody's coming out of here, There's so... nothing left here, either. Him. It's all cleaned up. I don't want to do it, but I suppose I can share my post-cognition again here. Are you sure? Don't make a big deal out of it. Just make it quick. Yay, time to hold hands yet again. Okay. Do I, oh yeah, ZR, that's what it was. I was like, can I do that again? <laughs> the handhold. Look how it emphasizes it. The crime scene of the murder is vividly brought to life before us. It all happens in silence, as though awakening from an eternal slumber. But the corpse will never wake up again. Even if the corpse did awaken, the nails pinning him down would prevent him from rising. 
The door That's is the nice only thought. entrance and exit to the room. There are no windows, and the vent is small. I don't see any escape routes from the locked room. There is a vent in the other... Well, I guess there's vents connected to, like, every room. <laughs> For most rooms, but I was like, that is, I guess, kind of a similarity. Wait, actually, was there a vent in, like, the new place, the clock tower? I don't even actually know if there was one in that area. Granted, there, was a, there's where those, uh, there were those boxes we like didn't move for some reason though, because I feel like we should have been exploring everywhere, but I don't know. Thank you, Dual Drop. I've been watching these vids by Ghost Tundra, Lacey's Diner Pet Shop Wardrobe. They seem like something you would enjoy analyzing. Uh, DV Wholesome. Uh, I haven't heard of it before, but I can definitely look into it. Thanks for the dono, appreciate ya. And thank you, another professional. Hilara <laughs> feels the love. Ch feels like the love child of Shobai and Chucky. <laughs> Personality of Shobai, but looks, yeah, more like Chiaki. <laughs> I can see that for sure. They are very, they do remind me a lot of Shobai, actually. Yeah, that's another thing about it. Because Shobai was always like that, too. Like, give me money. Maybe the doll nailed to the wall holds the answer to this bizarre mystery. I had a really stupid fucking theory. <laughs> like, do I say it? I'll say in a little the bit. The victim is a well-built man, approximately 30 years old. The corpse here is also covered in nails. His appendages and chest are all nailed to the floor. The owner of this mansion made his fortune in real estate from an early age. But along with aggressive land sharking and other mm. illicit transactions, he made shady deals with Amaterasu Court. Okay. There are several reasons he'd be hated. A doll with his name on it was bound to be nailed in the church forest. Okay. I wonder how the person who cursed him feels now that he's actually dead. We still never, yeah, learn anybody, anything about the first girl, right? Or not the first girl, but like the most recent, like, uh, you know, murdered girl. Perhaps or the they museum person, responsibility. They just hopped on the urban legend bandwagon. Is that really the case? Wait, this is odd. Hmm? Did you find something? Look closely. The length of the nails driven into the corpse are all slightly different. Okay. The length isn't the problem here. It's how hard they were hammered in. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, can it just be like not hammered in as much? Ugh. <laughs> That's kind of gross to think about. What do you mean? Did somebody say Larry Butts? <laughs> he does kind of look like Larry. <laughs> the nails driven into the lower torso went through the body and into the floor. But the nails in the upper torso did not penetrate all the way through the body. I guess he might have already been dead by that point, so there wasn't any reason. But why would the culprit not hammer the nails in as hard on the upper body? That's not the only unnatural thing. Take a look at the blood. <laughs> it's pink. You ever think that's fucking weird? The nail wounds on the lower torso appear to be bleeding sideways. Okay. But the upper torso wounds are bleeding vertically. Oh, down weird. Waist. Okay, smart. The blood flows differently between the upper and lower body? Maybe the upper and lower torsos are different people, and they were smushed together after death. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, Shinigami. That's about as good as the theory that I came up with a, a second ago. New key, blood from the nail stuck in the upper and lower body of the corpse may be flowing in different directions. That's so weird, because I would think, because I guess like my initial thought is like he was hung or like nailed to the wall. I guess, no, that's so weird. It's like maybe he was like nailed to the wall and that's why the blood was like dripping down. Then after he died, he took him off the wall, put him on the floor and then nailed him in there. And then like, you know, the new wounds popped up and started going side to side. I mean, I think that makes the most sense, but it's just weird that like, the top ones, where he would be hung up on the wall, seem to be the ones that aren't, like, as deep. So, like, I guess we can't really touch it to see, unless, like, they didn't want to, like, drive it in all the way again. I don't know. Just, like, kind of halfway stick it in, but that doesn't really make much sense. I don't know. The cause of death here appears to be strangulation as well. And like the others, there are rope marks around the neck and traces of a struggle. Oh, but on a closer look, mm, there's a mark left by a thin string on the back of his neck. Interesting. There's like those weird, like thin, uh, thin threads on the other dolls too. In that one, the first one we investigated. It could have been the rope that was used to strangle him. 
The thickness is completely different. For real. Oh, thank you, Bree. I'm gonna see the Barbie movie today. Oh, fun. Well, I wanted to send a super chat to show my support. Weeby, ring code seems awesome. Gotta catch up. Oh, thank you so much. And have fun seeing Barbie. I think I'm gonna see it next week with some friends. I'm excited. It looks really good. There are two different types of string marks in the body. Was he strangled twice? But even then, it'd be odd to only have marks behind his neck. And why do the strings have different thicknesses? Anyway, it's an important piece of evidence. There are road marks caused by strangulation and wounds from resisting. There are also string marks on the back of the victim's neck. I think the others had, like, resistance um, ones. Okay. <laughs> it's not even really a theory. It was just, like, a dumb thought. Might be the best way to put it. But since there's like vents in most of the rooms, there's like the little dolls. I was like, what if he controls the doll? <laughs> and that's what he uses to kill his victims. You know, he's just got like a little remote control where he gets the doll. <laughs> they have like a little knife in their hand. Well, not a knife, but I guess they would have like the hammer and the nails. <laughs> Nail them in. It's a good fucking theory. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's not. It's mostly a joke. But <laughs> that's true. That was my first thought when they mentioned the vents in like two of the rooms. I was like, what would fit, fit in a vent? Dolls? Ugh. <laughs> this is where the first witness found the body. The bloodstains are still here. Considering the amount of blood, the victim was probably killed here, right? It appears. <laughs> Dolls are Megan. <laughs> Seems very likely. My Megan theory. Going right up, right there next oh to the umbrella God, theory. Nice. What you looking at? Where'd you go, girl? Yeah, whatever. Oops. Hand holding powers go! Okay, more of these creepy, creepy dolls. But nothing else really over here, it seems like. Besides just a bookshelf. Yeah. Even on the past, several books lie on the shelf. I checked, but it doesn't seem like anything's different between then and now. I see. In that case, it's probably not related to the case. Okay. Okay, you can uh turn over here too. Doll on the wall. I know it was you, Cynthia! There's only one doll nailed to the wall. Oh, only one? Weird. Comparatively, there was a nearly obnoxious number of dolls nailed to the walls in the other crime scenes. Maybe there was no room to nail them to the walls because of all the bookshelves in the way? I guess so. I, it, seems, it seems like there's plenty of room. It's just like artwork pieces up. They wanted to respect it. Ah, oh, thanks, Wentz, for stopping by. Wait, this doll has both Ooh. eyes gouged out. Did the culprit do this on purpose? This keeps getting more and more disturbing. But it's kind of creepy cute. <laughs> I want to put one next to the top of a staircase so people can run into it at night. Hell no. Uh, why would you want to do that? You know, this doll seems made of cheaper materials compared to the other ones. Mm. Hey, you're right. Like it's made of resin instead of porcelain. I think he, we kind of deduced that he was just getting them like out of the trash though, right? The texture looks cheap, but also more durable. Too bad it doesn't have eyeballs. The eye holes are connected to each other in the head cavity. It's like that darkness is staring into me. <laughs> Waiting for the white dots from like FNAF <laughs> to be like staring back at me like, oh shit, <laughs> it's purple guy. Huh? There's a mark on the edge of the eye holes near the nose. Looks like a string rubbed against it. Oh, thread again? Huh. How did this mark get here? Interesting. The stall is made of resin, not porcelain. It looks like a thin string rubbed against the inner corners of the eye. Okay, weird. And then I guess we'll release. I don't know if I. Oh, actually, that's kind of cool. You can see the holes from where it was. I mean, I feel like there's plenty of wall space to put up more. Uh, All these books are lined up so neatly. Hmm. They're covered in dust. Nobody's touched them for a long time. Meaning they won't help us with the case. Ah, thank you, Sereza DL. This feels nostalgic. Definitely miss experiencing Danganronpa for the first time. Yeah, it's fun to fun to have this game, though. It does seem to really kind of capture the Danganronpa vibe while being different, too. I'm really digging it so far. I, I can see why Kodaku would want to, you know, take a break from Danganronpa. Cause even like playing so many Danganronpa games, you know, it kind of gets like a little like, okay, you know, I got the, <laughs> I got the stick after a while. So I feel like creatively speaking, if I was to make one or like several of them, I would want to eventually branch out, you know? Oh! Landscape paintings and extravagant frames are on display. 
All these paintings look incredibly expensive. However, I was going to say, they look like you could have like TJ Maxx, to be honest. <laughs> oh, man, he could not nail the dolls into the picture of the Florida beach. It's very, very priceless. They're counterfeits. Not a single one is genuine. It doesn't look like there is anything relevant to the case here. Let's investigate elsewhere. <laughs> Use post-cognition already. Okay, oh, stained books. Those hmm? aren't still there, right? Two extraordinary thick, extraordinarily thick books were placed on the desk. It doesn't look like the books were stacked when the body was found. No. The peacekeepers must have stacked them. Good grief, what a bunch of amateurs. The placement seems to be the only thing that's changed. I don't think this will help with the case. Okay. Nothing important there. Uh. A series of books is arranged neatly on the shelf. There is no indication the books have been moved. I don't think they're related to the case. Mm. I agree. Let's look somewhere else. Okay. Man, nothing. Nothing important here. Okay, so we nailed all the dolls into the floor this time. Oh, went into the desk, too? Interesting. Interesting. Oh, thank you so much, Ither. Hey, Weeby, loving the stream. I really enjoy Rain Code. Here's some trivia for you. Desuhiko and Albedo. Oh, from Genshin. She are the same voice actor. Oh, that's so cool. Koi Dao. I love, I love Albedo, man. Oh. He still is probably one of my best boys from Genshin. He's so sweet. But thank you so much. I appreciate you. Several dolls have been nailed to the floor. After the clock tower and the secret club, this makes three. It doesn't make any, make it any less creepy, though. It's me. Now is not the time to show fear. Investigate thoroughly and find the clues to solve this case. Right. Stop staring at the creepy bald dolls. I see. The dolls have nothing in common, and I don't see any unusual markings either. Nothing to do with the case, then. Move it! I'm not paying you for nothing. You're not paying me at all! Is this any what different? What does that mean? There's an expensive looking landscape painting, but it's tilted. Oh. I wonder why. Could this be related to the locked it room? Appears. Doubtful. Judging the markings on the wall, I'd say this painting was hung at an angle. Why? I was thinking maybe like a... <laughs> it opens a secret tunnel, you know, if you like push it the right way. How confusing. Okay, well I think that's it for that. I don't know if this is really gonna mean anything. Right? Probably not. Oh! Thick books on the desk. The books are in great condition. Aside from the desk, they look me. untouched. They probably want to see want to seem knowledgeable. They haven't been moved for a while. They're probably not related. Eh, I don't know if it matters, but just for completionist. Ah. Uh. It's a carefully organized bookshelf. It looks like the novels belong to the same series, yeah. Goin' Saga. Is that what, what's that a reference to? I believe the series has more than 150 volumes. Unfortunately, the author passed away. It's a shame the story never saw an ending. A damn shame. Okay. I, I guess I might still get points for investigating some of those. Let's check I guess every the, nook and cranny. the fish tank? <laughs> Like a nail in there somewhere. Right kind of wild that the that it's still running. <laughs> Hasn't this place been abandoned? Who's taking care of the fish? They're just eating each other now. That's true. There are fish in the tank. It doesn't seem like they've been cared for since the owner was killed. They're looking pretty bad. Poor little guys inside the tank. Some kind of secret passage. Yeah. Would be interesting. It doesn't appear to be related to the case. S secret tunnel? Huh? Huh? Oh, there's a camera up there. Okay, that's definitely gonna be important, right? That's right. There's a projector installed in the center of the bookcase. I'd like to take a look, but I can't reach it. That's right. <laughs> um, Halara, could you please take a look around the projector? Mm. Uh, sure, give me a moment and $250. Damn it. <laughs> the projector is pretty dusty. Doesn't seem to have been used since before the incident. So it's probably got nothing to do with the case. Really? I feel like that seems so important. And thank you, Dylan Petal. I'm thinking of getting process of elimination. How good is the game? It was pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot. I think it's definitely worth it. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a sale for it anytime soon or anything, but I definitely enjoyed it a good bit. I think uh, most people who, you know, enjoy Danganronpa and those types of mystery games would enjoy it. Oh. Oh my god, there's a lamp and switch. I almost missed those. Damn you, Lamp. I know it was you. You collabed with the drone umbrella. <sighs> the projector has installed the center of the bookcase. It wasn't on when the corpse was found. I'm... You'll never reach it, Master. I'll check it out for you. Well, did you find anything unusual? 
Nope, everything's extremely usual and unrelated to the case. Man, really? I don't know, I just thought that would be important. Oh well. Switch, that's gotta be important, right? Uh. Something's gotta be important. <laughs> I feel like everything I've clicked on for the past 10 minutes are like, yeah, probably not related, yeah, probably not related. So switch for the projector on the desk. Looks like it was set to off when the corpse was found. Okay, lamp. Oh, oh it got moved. Oh, the lamp's light is pointed at the table. It probably wasn't turned on at the time. Hmm. I don't see anything suspicious. Doesn't seem like the lamp did it. Damn. I thought that was a close one, too. Why does that look so weird? Really? What it? I guess I can look at the fish tank in the past. Oh. There's a huge tank here, but there aren't any fish inside. Hmm. Living things can't be seen through postcognition. It doesn't have that ability. I guess that makes sense. Okay, well, nothing in the room is related to the case, I guess. <laughs> just winging it. Okay, should I just click on this again, just in case? Yeah. It's a lamp. The light's on right now. Make sure to use proper lighting in addition to these kinds of lightings as I strain maker. Uh, who are you talking to? Oh, nothing. Right, Weeby? Right? And nobody? Okay, at least we're gonna do something. Oh, clouds. Pretty. Look at the clouds while you get uh, nailed right to the wall. Oh. <laughs> you just chilling in the little seat, having a good little time. Okay, let's talk to Lara. His hands are smaller and softer than I thought. <laughs> Fucking simp! Considering Halara's strength, I thought they would be bulkier. Master, is holding hands all it takes to get you hot and heavy? You're making me sad. No. <laughs> Though I am curious, is Halara a man or a woman? I think we already established this, but... What's wrong? Is something bothering you? Not at all. <laughs> I guess it'd be pretty rude to ask now. <laughs> oh, Yuma. So awkward. So awkward. Here I was expecting like a actual important cutscene. Right Did I click on Lock everything? Locked room mysteries aren't uncommon among all the unsolved cases the WDO deals with. My question to you is, why do you think culprits create these locked room mysteries? Um, to make it look like the victims committed suicide? Correct. By cutting the space off from the outside, the murder is made to look as if the victim killed himself. However, the culprit of the Nailman killings doesn't seem to care about making it appear that way. So yeah, why make it out to be a locked room mystery? That is true, because there's no way somebody like nailed himself into the floor, you know? I believe the reason lies in the mystical nature of the Nailman and how it bolsters the urban legend's legitimacy. It's locked for the sake of self-branding, making this a rather rare case. I see. Master, are you sure you get it? I do. Maybe. <laughs> Halara's gender, yes, money. I feel like if we asked, like, Halara, are you a man or a woman? They would just be like, yes. <laughs> oh, check around the entrance. Okay. So we haven't done this yet. Oh, the vent. Looks like a really small vent. I don't even know if the There's dolls vent, can fit through there. It's too small for a person to fit through. And it's also screwed shut from the inside. Mm. It seems impossible to remove. Unless. <laughs> unless you have a drone doll. Oh, what's this now? Master, I discovered something. There are marks in the gap between the fence, like something scraped against it. I don't know, like the little thread thing. Really? But given your height, you couldn't see it even if you stood on a chair. <laughs> oh, that is so sad. Uh, Halara, can you use that chair to peek into the vent? I will do so for 10,000 shien. <laughs> You're charging me for it? <laughs> Jesus, fucking show by Kenny. Thank you, Ither. Welcome to the Kinjo Cole. Appreciate ya. I just. The marks in the vent seem to be left by strings rubbing against it. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the purpose of the strings are. You know? Like, uh... What the use is for it. They seem so important to this mystery, but like, I just 
have no clue. Did someone hitch a string to it or something? It shouldn't even be visible from your perspective. I'm surprised you noticed. Oh, uh, it was just a hunch. See? I told you I'm useful. I do way more than just float around. You should give me 10,000 Xi'an as a reward. <laughs> I'm kidding. I had a... <laughs> yeah, poor Yuma, man. <laughs> Got Halara draining him of his money and then Shinigami draining him of his lifespan. The vent is too small for a person to enter or exit from. There is evidence that a string or something similar is scraped against the gap in it. I don't know. I have like one theory, but I don't think it's very like possible to, but just like what Halara was talking about, like, oh, locked room mysteries are usually to make it look like the person committed suicide, but then like it also doesn't look like suicide, like or god, oh crap, I should probably say sewer slide because YouTube gets mad. But um I was like, I wonder if it would be like assisted sewer slide, like the victim <laughs> wanted to die, but they didn't want people to know it was them who did it. I don't know if that would make sense or be possible. Probably not, because it seems more like, I don't know, I feel like these people wouldn't be like super slidal anyways, because they're like rich and corrupt and stuff, so it makes more sense if it's for like revenge, but just kind of a thought. The door to this study, we left it open just in case. It's always good to be wary of a sudden attacks. Never let your guard down. Right, got it. It's because of the teaching of yours truly. You're welcome, master. Stop simping for Olari, don't you fucking do it. <laughs> don't even think about it. Okay. Um, this one seems to be updated. The door here can only be locked with a key. However, there is only the master key. No spares exist. The scenario resembles the locked room mystery in the casino. We can disregard the possibility of a duplicate key. Okay. The master key was found in this room at the time of discovery. Well, this is also similar to the locked room mystery in the secret club. But there is one difference. The key was found underneath the corpse. Wait, this one? Under the corpse? But we can't move the corpse in the past, so we can't confirm if that's true. Postcognition isn't all powerful, but it's a fact that the key was found under the corpse. I have a crime scene photo taken back then okay. in my jacket pocket. That weird, just holding that on you? <laughs> okay! <laughs> no detail has slipped past my efforts. Right. I guess they're just, you know, trying their best to get all the, all the info. Still a little weird. <laughs> what the <laughs> Oh my goodness! Huh? What's this? <laughs> Oh, I wish Pino would come in here, but he doesn't, he doesn't like coming in here when I'm streaming. He looks like my cat. <laughs> Wait, not that one. I meant the other photo. This one's unrelated. To the case. Now that one's a lot more relatable. Oh, <laughs> does Laura, does Laura have a cat? You're right. The key's near the middle of his back. Oh my god. But can this photo be trusted? Could it be something the peacekeepers fabricated? Just the little guy. <laughs> I'm in a headcanon that that is their cat. The peacekeepers acknowledge the incident occurred in a locked room. Besides, there's no need for fabrication. After all, it would be more convenient for them to have fewer mysteries to deal with. That's kind of cute to see Hilaria have a bit of a soft side. That's true. Sorry for being doubtful. No, that's expected of a detective. You're starting to figure out how to do your job. Was that a compliment? Is that really all it takes to please you? Also, I drew a sketch of the room's state on the back of that photo. Remember it well. That's yeah, nice. okay. Oh, Ooh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful art there. Well, I guess at least it's probably accurate, considering like where all the dolls are. But why a sketch? How can it help solve the mystery? Also, what was with that cat photo anyway? <laughs> That's surprisingly cute. <laughs> they got a soft side. Cute. The key to the mansion study. There are no copies of this master key. Door to the study. That's cute, Halara. Mansion's floor plan and photo of the locked room mystery. Both received from Halara. I kind of thought there was one, um, I guess I can't use the mouse to highlight it, but I thought there was one nailed to the desk too, but I don't see that one drawn on there, so I don't know if I saw that wrong or what. 
Lauren's personality is kind of like a cat now that I think about it. They're like kind of, you know, independent, but also a bit like cute sometimes. <laughs> Looks like there's nothing left to check. Like a cat in the way that's like, oh, they act like they're a badass. They're independent. They don't need you. But then like also, <laughs> they get a soft down, side. Right Pretty sweet sometimes. Get Finished. Sit down right here. Our gallery. Many visitors prior to the isolation, isolation of Colony Ward. Now we've gathered enough evidence. Though it appears complicated at first glance, the answer is simple. Huh? Uh, Halara, did you already solve the locked room mystery? What? You haven't? <laughs> uh, loser. Uh, noob. There's no way to solve it with what we have. How was the room locked? Literally half the stuff we clicked on was like, oh yeah, this isn't connected, this isn't connected. It's unfit for one detective to ask another that question. For the sake of your own pride, you must figure it out. Unless you'd like to hire me to do it for you. Oh god. <laughs> it won't come cheap. And now I'm good. I'll figure it out myself. It's really all about the money with Halara. <laughs> the longer I'm with Halara, so the enough. deeper into debt I'll get. It's starting to scare me. Now, let us be swift. Next stop is our last crime scene. W wait! Oh, man. I feel like Kalara is kind of like a nicer show by. I feel like they at least do try to like help me and stuff, you know what I mean? I don't know if I really... I feel like the show by was like sometimes nice, maybe during free time events. Very rarely, but for the most time, for the most part, he wasn't really trying to like, you know, I don't know, help you that much. Like, I feel like Hilara is kind of like trying to teach you a lesson in a way, like, oh, I'm trying to make sure he becomes like a good detective, so I gotta let him figure things out on his own. The owners aren't around anymore. These, and there are a bunch of, bunch just hanging around. Let's snatch one and sell it. <laughs> I'm a detective and not a thief. You're already like a million yen in debt from hanging out with Hilara, so... <laughs> You should probably start thinking about it soon. Expensive looking sofa. Oh my goodness, little bird picture. A sofa in a lobby. Who is it intended well, for? It's probably just a status symbol, right? That's kind of cute The next though, one is the art gallery stairs. in Gima District. Cozy. We're running low on time, so we must hurry. Harry Potter Court. Right. The chief's in danger after all. <laughs> Who charges more show by her, Laura? Probably show by. Probably. Granted, I guess I'd have to compare prices. I do feel like, yeah, Shobai was definitely more intense. I guess it doesn't matter which way we go. <laughs> Somebody say, Yuma has been announced as a participant for Squid Games. Oh my God, congratulations, Yuma. <laughs> After hanging out with Alara for <laughs> One stream, you've already managed to make it to Squid Games. We're so proud of you, King. <laughs> popular sports? Parkour is popular again among, among the young men. Interesting. Parkour? It's kind of a random one. Okay, let's try to <laughs> let's try to explore. Where is it? Okay, it's down there. Yes. Easy. Easy. <laughs> oh man, I have like no sense of direction, you guys. Something that, you know, I've had to admit to myself. <laughs> I was just so glad I live in the age where like, we have like Google Maps to just tell us where to go. Give <laughs> video games. Come on. Okay. Do -do -do. This way. Oh, what's this? Oh, Teritaru Bozo? This Teritaru Bozo looks miserable. Probably not much fun being hanged by the necks, huh? I feel like I remember hearing about that. I forgot what, I think it was like an anime or something. Hey! Cut it out, I don't wanna get cursed. Okay, cool. Wait, let's say, Christ is Amaterasu on it, right? Okay. <laughs> I wrote it as Akamatsu for a second. I was like, oh my God, Kaide! <gasps> Are you here operating a food truck? So this is the art gallery. It's closed due to special circumstances. 
The murder occurred only about a month ago. But I'm certain the crime scene has been cleaned up like the others. Not that it matters to me. They just have no show, they just bust in anywhere. But wait! It's not a good idea to break into the art gallery! It's like illegal or something. <laughs> hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> oh, never mind. The crime scene is deep inside the art gallery. It's one of many storage rooms. Come, I, just... I won't allow time to be wasted. Well, wait, please! I swear, Halara can bust down like any locked door. <laughs> like, just by kicking it, I was like, man, leg day every day, huh, Halara? Shine, the current currency is in Kanai Ward, Dragon Place. Popular meat bun shop. Okay, I think I read that one too, actually. Mm, it's like a castle. Locked door. Oh! Seems like the store is locked. There are priceless works of art all over the place. Of course the door is gonna be locked. This place is creepy, man. Flickering lights and stuff, I guess it's closed down. Is this the storage room where the crime scene took place? It's locked. We're going in. Of course. <laughs> of course. We're like a couple of thugs <laughs> or something. Okay, yeah, literally it's like a utility closet. Ugh, creepy paintings. Was the first on the scene the person from the church again? As expected, it's the same worshiper. He said he was trailing the victim after finding a doll with the same name. He saw the victim enter the building late at night. He then searched the premises with the art gallery staff. When they opened this storage room, they discovered the victim's corpse. The door was locked at the time of discovery, and the key was found inside. Oh, another locked room mystery! That's more total! But I'm starting to get bored. It's not so special anymore. What do you mean special? People have died. Let's Keeping start investigating. <laughs> yes. There's people dying, Kim. <laughs> Investigation! I say it was like a janitor or something that died? Um, crap, let me... Did you? Let's see what they said. The victim finding a doll the same name. Suspected same worst for is that he was trying the victim. I don't know if they actually mentioned who the victim was. I feel like it was like a janitor or something, probably, but... With the art gallery staff. Saw the victim enter the building late at night. Uh, were they like a art thief then, maybe? Okay, I guess they didn't say it. Corpse's original location. Oh, wait! Right underneath a vent, huh? That looks like a vent, right? Is it? Maybe it's not. <laughs> I know you're in there, Megan. Marks on corpse. Oh! Seems like this is where the body was at the time of the incident. There's no trace of it anymore, though. It's me. Besides all the blood that's smeared on there, but it's no trace, though. Besides that, all the dried blood stains. Looks like the area's been cleaned up, probably by the peacekeepers or the art gallery stuff. I don't think investigation here will turn up any useful information. Okay. Let's see if maybe we can get something from the actual corpse. Okay, it was a girl this time. Post cognition reveals the crime scene in slightly faded colors. Oh. Hey, there's no dolls. What? Why is this one even connected to the other case? Well, I guess she's still nailed on the floor? Huh. I guess there's not really anywhere to nail the dolls. This all looks like concrete. Like brick, I guess. The room looked vaguely mm. hazy in my eyes. Even with the rows of vivid paintings within the art gallery. Interesting. I definitely like setting up these portraits to be a certain way. That one is freaking me out with like the... <laughs> I like the face coming off of like the body with the clouds. Oh, you know what? The background of the silhouette for that one, it kind of looks like, um... What was that? Like the little broadcast we did on the wall? Like the, um, crap. 
the not I was like what is it called? The little overlay we did on the wall with the clouds and the mansion. The smell of paint oil that permeated the room wasn't that of the past, but the present. Yeah, I was like, this might be a copycat crime, honestly. It's like it doesn't really seem to match the others at all, especially if this girl is just like a normal, like, you know, staff member or something. Yeah, if even the smells from the past could be recreated, the stench of the corpse would be much more overwhelming. Okay. Ah, oh, she's pretty. The corpse of a young woman. She has nails all over her body, as expected. Some paint spilled, too. The victim's name is Issa Moet. She used her good looks oh. to have relations with many men. I was gonna say, her outfit is kind of slang. <laughs> I was like, I like that outfit! The amount of suspects who could have written her name on the doll is nearly too high to count. Okay. The victim has those same marks that suggest being strangled to death. Huh? But there aren't any scratches that would have been left from a struggle. You noticed as well. Yeah, there's a wound on the back of oh, her head. Oh, gosh. It looks pretty deep. This is way different than the other Nail Man ones, then. This may be the real cause of death. Okay. Like the other victim, there are signs of strangulation, but no wounds from resisting. And signs of blunt force trauma to the back of the head. Okay, this was definitely... I don't know, maybe committed by, like, one of the peacekeepers or, like, that one guy that we, like, keep seeing, the leader guy. Um, maybe to, like, cover up or fake? I don't know, I guess... Huh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of what would be the purpose of, like, doing a fake nail man, like, uh, murder, you know what I mean? What would be the benefit of that, especially for, like, Amaterasu? Seems to be it, I guess. For that all seems very weird and yeah this painting is oh, freaking me out but yeah it was like the clouds in the background do remind me of uh the projection that's, that's the word for it hmm Carver boxes are stacked up judging from the labels the boxes were brought in after it the appears. incident looks like there's artwork inside they must be storing the items no longer on exhibit i don't think these are related to the investigation There we go. Anything? Oh! Huh. Ooh. Creepy. Oh, I had something. Oh, that's, uh, that's what it is right now. Okay. And so that was moved somewhere else, and they moved it back later. Interesting. And then this was nailed over here. It was, like, ran out of dolls for that one. <laughs> it's like, okay, you can't always find dolls in the trash, okay, Weeby? This is... Sometimes you gotta use famous artwork pieces. It's a portrait painting with nails driven into it. The picture really conveys its time period. Maybe the person depicted as an important figure from years ago? Uh, what? Uh, uh, what? There isn't a thing dignified about this guy. He looks just like a regular old geezer. Okay, nothing important there, I guess. What about the stacked no. boxes? Carver boxes are stacked up. Judging from the labels, yeah. there's artwork inside. There's a layer of dust on the boxes. It doesn't look like the culprit touched them. Meaning they've got nothing to do with the case. Yeah, whatever. Just give me my detective points, I guess. Okay, so they just moved it right out of that one. Interesting. Interesting. I guess, uh, can I investigate the paint? No, maybe it's over here. Okay, I'll just go ahead and do post cognition first. Okay, so it was open, I guess during when the body was first discovered. I guess because, you know, worshipper opened the door or whatever. I've been wondering, did the culprit knock this paint can over? If so, it could have been used for some sort of trick. It's unwise to make up your mind before conducting a proper <laughs> investigation. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking more like a struggle happened and knocked it over. But... It may have been like this before the murder. Or it could have tipped over when the discovery was first made. All right. You got Poor carried Yuma. away in the hopes of getting complimented. Aren't you an eager little puppy? Be quiet. Okay, entrance door. There are two keys that open this door. 
only one of them was inside the room at the time oh. of discovery. So this isn't even like a real locked room mystery. Okay, yeah, this is totally a copycat. The other one was owned by a member of the art gallery staff. That staff member always carried the extra key and used it to enter this room when the corpse was discovered. It doesn't seem like this lady was like a staff member. I wonder what she was even doing here late at night. Where was the key found inside usually kept? It's supposed to be kept in the administrative office, but it's unknown if it was always there. Maybe it was lost and the culprit found it. Or perhaps the culprit secretly stole it. Either way, the culprit managed to obtain the key somehow. One key was in the storage room. The other key was always carried by a staff member. If the culprit is that staff member, then this wouldn't be a locked room mystery, yeah, right? For real. Why go through the trouble of making it look like a locked room murder if you'd immediately become the first suspect? I guess so. I guess you wouldn't. Countered! <laughs> Still not a locked room mystery. I mean, the real culprit could just steal it from them, right? I guess they already determined it was that one um, person who had, like, the key on them, but I don't know. Two keys can open the door to the art gallery storage. At the time, the body was discovered. One of them was inside the room. Okay, seems to be it for that. Okay, cool, so I guess sometimes maybe when you click on these in post-cognition, look already does it for uh, outside of it too. Oh! Spilled paint is staying the floor. If we can find out when the spill occurred, we'll know if it's related to our investigation. Okay. Give me like a little hint, I guess. Examine around the straightened painting. <laughs> oh, it's so creepy. No. Okay, I got nailed up there. I can't imagine the um, people at the art gallery wanting to stage this just because they ruined so many like paintings. I guess these might, might not be like important paintings anymore. I guess that might be why they're in storage, but still. Yeah. The blank canvas and a wooden frame have been placed in a trolley. Nothing seems to have changed between then and now, at least that's how it looks to me. It appears unchanged to me as well, meaning there's probably no evidence to be found here. Can I click on this? I feel like it's kind of weird I can't click on the paintings that are hung up, but maybe I just gotta go to the right spot. Over here! Oh, place is suspicious! Oh, something underneath there? A sculpture or something? Okay, here we go, finally. Start talking about this. Seems important. There's a nail stuck in a painting. The killer must have hammered a nail into the portrait instead of a doll. Why is there such a fixation on dolls? The crime scenes so far have all been abnormal. But this one's just sick and twisted. Hmm. A nail is driven to the portrait, perhaps in place of a doll. Stacked baskets. Oh! There are baskets on top of the shelf. What? There's nothing but dust inside. I guess it hasn't been used for a while. Basically, it's not related to the case. Give me those detective points. Oh! It's a sculpture with a sheet over it. The position was the same before and after using post cognition. The overall shape of the sheet is also unchanged. We can assume nobody's moved it. The sculpture isn't related to the case. Aw, oh, man. I want to see it. <laughs> like, undo it. It's like a sculpture of Squidward. Oh my god, bold and brash, my favorite. Oh, there is a vent. Oh, no, just kidding, it's a window. That is the smallest window I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Are you for real? What's even the point of having it there? Painting of a young man. This is... Nails are driven to this painting of a young I... man. Oh, I know this. He's one of those edgelord protagonists everyone loves for no reason. That's not really the impression I get, but sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. Oh, doll. Oh, there is a doll. Oh, one doll. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we'll put one doll in here. They'll, they'll get that it was the nail man, right? <laughs> Makes it exactly like those other killings. A large painting lies on the floor, and a doll is nailed against the canvas. One nail goes through the head, another nail is in the chest. <laughs> Thank you, Lucky Cat Luna, the mailman. <laughs> Close. Was jealous of her outfit because she was slaying, so she didn't deserve the dolls. 
I was like thinking that. I feel like the nail man did it and then they like stole her outfit and like waltz. They, they shredded out of the museum after that. Feeling slay and serving. But the nail in the as they chest should. also passed through the circular hole on the key's handle. Wait, what? Did the culprit oh. leave the storage room after nailing the doll and key to the painting? Okay. If that's the case, how did they lock the room? The key was nailed to the picture, so it couldn't have been used. Well, that's what makes it a locked room mystery. I'm sure they figured out some trick. And I need to find out what that trick is. Okay, weird. Doll nailed to a cloth canvas. The key of the room is also nailed on. Large landscape painting. It's a large scenic painting with a doll nailed to it. I wonder how this ended up on the floor. Is there a reason? Yes. If it's related to the incident, there's probably a reason. Let's assume that much. Okay. Can't believe we're not clicking on this one. I thought that might be important. But whatever, let's look at this tiny window. The only way in or out of here besides the door is this window. The window juts out and is used as a vent. It doesn't appear big enough for someone to move through. You should check the window in the present, just to make sure. <laughs> Currently, it opens outwards slightly, okay. but there are no other suspicious traces on it. It seems impossible to enter or exit through here. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like this person just had like another key made. <laughs> you know what I mean? This does not seem like the ma the nail man at all. Seems like a phony, a fake. That should be enough. I'm finished investigating here. I feel like the full picture is slowly starting to come together. I want to talk to Lara. I haven't talked to her, them yet. By the way, Halara, I will not accept any requests to reduce your fee. <laughs> come on, but look at how cute I am. That's not what I was going to ask. About your postcognition, what were you able to see before you specialized it as your forte for investigating crime scenes? What is the point of this question? Well, I was wondering if you could use your ability to look at my past. Mm. You want to see your lost memories like that? That's against the rules. No fair! The fact of the matter is, even if I could see your past, the information would not be of any use to you. Hmm, but why? I mean, like, I feel like it's mostly like a place, right? I guess if you knew where his home was, huh? look at that, but... Why is that? Psychometry doesn't allow me to pick and choose what to perceive. Rather, I can only see fragments flash by. I cannot consciously access desired information. Okay. It's why I trained at the WDO to develop it into a forte specialized for investigations. I used to be kind of overpowered if they could just use it like whenever. Any piece of information would be valuable to me. If I can get even a little piece of my memory. If you insist, I'll consider it once this investigation is done. Oh my God. How about 100,000 shien per use? Let's <laughs> Never mind. <it> later. <laughs> Come on, can I get a little guy discount? Thank you, Zelda L Lesbian Elf. But, hi, Weeb, you've been busy, but I'm excited for the stream. Oh, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Hope you're doing well, by the way. Somehow. My sense of money is getting all messed up. <laughs> Damn. Well done, Hellara! Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I can afford that. I'm already 500 chien or whatever in debt, so let's go for it. Pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. Ah, I was gonna read it. That should do it for the room. Next is the window. It would be best to check outside of it. Go ahead. I'll stay here. Outside the window? All right. Okay. Uh, please don't die, Halara. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how I feel about separating from you right now. Uh, okay. Okay, cool. Very well. It would be best to check outside the window. Go ahead, I'll stay here. God dang it. Why do I feel like you're gonna die? Damn it. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. This place is creepy as hell. It's fine to inspect the window, but our buddy here really insists you do everything yourself. Huh. And my master does everything he's told. Like a good little underling detective. Halare is right. This is something I took on myself. I can't just rely on everyone else after putting on a tough front for that kid. That's why I have to do it. Or 
Uh, maybe Lara's just taking advantage of you. It's obvious money is that one's only motivation. Even so, I think it's the right thing to do as a professional detective. Master, being overly nice for no reason is stupid. That's why you're so deep in debt. <laughs> I know, but what are you mumbling about? Uh, get on it. The window? <laughs> oh, right. I'll do it right away. Oh, welcome, Kurt Ritchie. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, it's pretty good so far. I've been I enjoying it. Window. I guess Does I'm not have anything to do with the locked room? super far in, so it's kind of hard for me to make, like, too big of a judgment because I've only really played the prologue case, but I enjoyed the prologue case a good bit. And this one seems interesting so far, too, but uh, I'll definitely have more of a formed opinion after the labyrinth, but so far I'm enjoying it a good bit. You thinking about checking it out? Uh, I'm so scared. I don't know. I don't like the fact that we're separating from uh, Halara. I. It's probably okay. Probably. Probably. We haven't gotten a trauma dump or anything yet, so I'm like, they haven't been fleshed out enough to kill, right? <laughs> right? We'll see. We'll see. Oh, thank you, Zell. Been to America and finally got married. Oh my god, to my gorgeous wife. Oh, that's so awesome. Congratulations. Now I gotta catch up with all the streams I've missed. This game is great so far. I love it. No, oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying it. It's just having fun pushing you around. And wow, so that's so awesome. Congratulations to you and your wife. That's so amazing. And thank you, Dabbler Dragon. Hi, Weeby. Glad to be back. Was avoiding spoilers. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the game or however much that you played of it. And thank you, Ash XXX. Shinigami acts like Yuma as a god. <laughs> She's obsessed with him, man. I don't, I don't totally know why. I can't tell if she has like a crush on him or what. It's like, aren't you like a, an immortal god? And he looks like he's like 14, so it's kind of weirded me out. But you know. Here's the window. Please don't look in and see their body. Please, God. No? Okay. See anything strange? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so stressed. <laughs> no, nothing strange about it. I see. Try entering through the window. What? Between the gap? That's impossible. Just try it. Okay. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't even put my arm through this gap. Keep trying. I can stick a finger in, but that's it. I thought so. Good job. You can return now. Huh? Are you sure? Did you figure something out? Did you not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry to get roasted by you, Alara. <laughs> You haven't figured out this whole case yet, huh, noob? No, not at all. What's that about? <laughs> it's not a pro gamer like me. A hinged window used for ventilation. It opens outwards, but the gap is only about five centimeters wide. It's not even big enough for a doll to fit through. Oh, who's this? Sussy! The nail man! Hey! Oh! <laughs> what are you doing here? Just kidding. Huh? Um, I, I'm not doing anything <laughs> shady. <laughs> Poor Yuma. I'll call the peacekeepers. Oh man. Wait! I'm. Laura's probably ditched us already too. It's like I. They're just like I have never met that person in my life. Oh. Didn't they say to pretend to be a peacekeeper? Oh no, wait. No. I'm thinking of Genshin, actually. <laughs> I was playing Genshin earlier. They told us to pretend to be like with the Academy or something. Um, I should probably still lie and say I'm a peacekeeper, right? <laughs> I'm a peacekeeper. <laughs> Look at me, man. I'm totally a peacekeeper. Come on. They're getting into, you know, child labor now. <laughs> I'm a peacekeeper in training. Huh? Abamaterasu Corporation? Yep, I love, I love the Akatamas. Ak yes. Ak um, yes. Abamaterasu. <laughs> <laughs> Me for real. You totally fumbled that. You're no good at lying, huh? What did you say? <laughs> Akimasu. Uh, Akimatsu? Um. <laughs> I shouldn't have made him lie. We are special investigators for Amaterasu Corporation. We are currently investigating a case. Civilians must not interfere. Uh huh. Oh, right. I I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. Lara's so good at acting. Hey, Halara, are you sure it's okay to lie like that? I've told you before that deception is necessary to finish an investigation quickly. You gotta get better at lying, kid. By the way, aren't you an employee here? There's something I'd like to ask you. 
Can you bring over the staff member who discovered the body from that murder case a month ago? Oh, that would oh. be me. Wait, they were the first one to discover it? Not even the worshiper? That's how you know this case is fake. Um, can you bring over the staff member who discovered the body? Interesting. Interesting. So it wasn't the worshiper, kind of seems like. Perfect. Describe the events for us. I'm scared to even remember it, but if it's part of the investigation, then uh, I have no choice. I'll leave the rest up to you. Uh, sure. Okay. Now, please tell us what happened on the day of the murder. That day, I was doing my closing procedures when someone from the church appeared. He said he wanted me to help him find someone and that he knew the person was inside the art gallery. Man, why does the art gallery staff guy have such a good sounding voice? So we looked around the premises together but didn't find anyone. According to him, there was a chance that the person he was looking for was being pursued by the nail man. I couldn't help but feel terrified when I heard that. How did you notice something was off about the storage room? The lights were on, even though they were usually off. So I went to take a look. The door was locked, so I opened it with the key I had. Okay, so you were the one with the extra key. I'm surprised nobody really, like, framed this guy or, like, tried to, like, I... <laughs> Like, I don't know, convict him? Was it, yeah, just his deep voice? They were like, no, you're good. You're good, our gallery staff. Just, just, just talk to me a little bit more, man. I was like, I know, right? Why does he have such a deep daddy voice? But uh, I was afraid to go any further. So I let the church person go first and open the door while I watched from behind. I guess the church person, probably the worshiper guy? And then there was a, a corpse. Did you touch the body? Uh, of course not. I was too afraid and froze at the entrance. What about the churchgoer? He saw what happened at the doorway and didn't go any further. Mm. Are you positive you didn't touch anything inside after unlocking the door? Uh, yes, but the churchgoer accidentally kicked a paint can over when he opened the door. And paint spilled all over the floor. So that paint was from back then? Okay, Okay. I get the picture. Thank you. You may go now. Wait, so they were the one who knocked it out? Chico accidentally kicked over a paint when he opened the door. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Y'all sipping for the art gallery staff now? I was like, why did they give him such a hot voice? Oh, it's like, damn. Right. <laughs> Gonna become the art gallery staff, uh, Colt. New key. At the time, the body was discovered. Somebody from the church tried to enter and knock over a paint can. Thank you, Wolf Allen. I kept thinking they're saying the mail. <laughs> I know I keep that getting confused too. That brings all the information together. It's time to resolve the case. Uh, wait! I still have no idea what happened. Time does not wait for you. Our deadline is approaching. You hurry back to the detective agency. Huh? What about you? Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. Say my name, say Pilar my name. Pilar Nightmare shall rush to your aid. Okay, Batman. And gone. What are you gonna do, Master? <laughs> We've checked everything we can. <laughs> he looks so defeated. Left, just to point out the true culprit, but... Still don't really have much that easy. Oh, I have no clue what to do. Oh, stop being so pathetic. Why don't we go back to the detective agency for now? We might get to see Fuzzhead get executed. <laughs> oh my god, just in time. All right, we need to help him. Oh my god, I hope it's Danganronpa style. Hey, that would be slay. Finished. I need to hurry back before the chief gets executed. <laughs> Thanks, John Philip. Hanson, Weeby's gonna nail this case. Or am I gonna mail it? <laughs> get, get it? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it though. Nice pun too. I keep wanting to call him the mailman, honestly. I feel like I have a couple of times <laughs> as well. It's so easy to do. Bro got 10 seconds of screen time and I fell in love. I was like, man, I gotta look up who, who voice acted art gallery staff in Raincoat. I gotta Google that later. It's like, I'm rooting for you, dude. I'm rooting that you get to voice a non-NPC later. 
Monte. Oh yeah, that was the meat place or something. All the nuns, red stockings. They have red stockings. Come on, let's go. Go, I go, just go. That girl was kind of emo. Do, do, do. Okay, uh, I think it's this way. I think this might be the area that I'm a bit <laughs> kind of more confused on. Or wait, this is the same district, but it's like uh, the upper part. Okay, that's probably it. Okay, you go up the stairs if you want to get to Ginma district. And then we're trying to go down to wherever this arrow is. We have to go into the sewers though, right? To get there, probably. Isn't that like, shit, where's that at? And that's stairs. <laughs> oh yeah, I think it's by, it's by the bus station, right? Did somebody say long live Amaterasu? Fucking co corporate sellouts, man. Polara seems to know who the real culprit is. That's incredible. Long live Amaterasu. On, where's your competitive spirit? You might be a trainee, but you're still a detective. If only I had 200,000 Shein. Thank you, Zelda Lesbian Elf. No, Fuzzhead, don't die. <laughs> don't die, you're so sexy. <laughs> oh, by continuing ahead, it will not be possible to, to return here for some time. Also, no further requests can be accepted and in progress requests will be left unsolved. Oh, okay, so this is the warning. Oh, should we solve that one thing and do the free time events then? I guess, well, I guess it's more so trying to like get the rest of the shards that we might just, uh, you know, need to get. Well, we'll see though. We'll see. Um, oh yeah, let me uh, read some of these. I think I missed a few of them. Thank you, Chibaluba. Just stop in by to say hi. Enjoy the stream. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate you. And thank you, another professional. Our gallery staff guy has a daddy voice, yet would say, Hello, sir. It's nice to finally meet you. That would bring your daughter back before midnight. <laughs> I can see that. He did have such a daddy voice, dude. He was describing the scene. I was like, okay, okay, art gallery staff. Are you hitting on me? It's like, no, I'm literally just describing the scene of a of a corpse, but oh, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, weirdo. Thank you, Ither. Lara is a Zhao Kenny. <laughs> I can see that. For real said, call my name and I'll be there. I can see that. I like your Zhao uh, PFP, by the way. I have him for Genshin, but man, I can't really figure out what other characters is good for him, because I feel like the characters that I have in my party just don't like mesh well with him. It makes me sad. Thank you, Ivory Kamina. I always fall asleep during your streams, fighting right now. <laughs> I'll keep uh, keep rooting for you. But hey, if you need a nap, you know, take a nap. Thank you, Hi Yoko Safanoji. Laura really is the only capable detective here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, no, wrong way. I guess I should do some requests first, right? Maybe a few of them. But I guess I could do it during another playthrough if you guys want me to. Um, let's see, Summer Bland, others are pretty neat. I guess I could see, I could see that. I feel like, I don't know. I never really know what people want to do. I guess I could do like a, a poll or something as well. I think we only really have like one that we haven't done. I'm more honestly concerned about the like free time event shards. I, have I gotten all of those? I don't know if there's any mods in chat that could let me know if I've gotten all of them. I feel like, yeah, I don't know if I've really been looking that much recently for them. Do new. I think it might have been like the Ginma district was the other one. That, uh, that girl was at. God, if only I could, uh, yeah, whatever. Let's, <laughs> let's fast travel. I don't think it, uh, oh, actually it was Kanai Station. That was where she wanted me to go to. Okay. Guys, remember, he, he was male wearing a blue jacket. Perfect description. Perfect description. Saw one in the sewer you missed. Yeah, if anybody has a link that they could send to me, I don't know if I could uh, maybe message my Discord really quickly and see if I can uh, have them send me a link to where the shards are. Aren't any shards exclusive to chapter one? Any you missed, you can get later. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that makes me feel better. Because <laughs> that was my main concern, honestly. Okay, uh, let's find this chick's dad, right? There's nobody here, dude. Besides that one guy. Can I even talk to you, dude? No. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> oh wait, was there somebody over here? Cool. Man gazing at the tracks. I'll probably die before I see the world beyond these tracks. Oh god. Living out your own life confined in Kanai Ward is a lonely proposition, don't you think? Is this guy contemplating sewer slide? Oh. Um, I, I guess so. Do, do I need to do a quest to save you? Of course you don't get it, Master. You came from the other side of the tracks. Okay. Keep fighting the good fight, man. Keep fighting the good fight. Is there anybody here? Thank you, Moo Moo Cow. Fun fact, Shinigami's VA also voices Dory from Genshin Impact. And I love both of them even more now. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Oh, here's this guy. Hey, he's wearing blue. It's gotta be him. This is Kanai Station, but trains really don't come that often. It's like this all the time. Hardly anyone comes through here, so it's real quiet. <laughs> Since Kanai Ward's been isolated, no one's coming or going except for <sighs> you, master. I never imagined it would be like this. Okay, oh, inside the station? That makes sense. That's what I was kind of starting to wonder, too. I was like, I don't see anything. Where's the inside of the station? Is it, uh, how do I enter? It's not over there, right? Okay, yeah, it's this, this door. And thank you, Zelda Lesbian Elf. I wait for the best section when Barrel Mini came. <laughs> it hasn't been bad so far, but I just like, it's hard for me to not judge it, you know what I mean? It do, it do be really similar to Hangman's Gambit. I'm just like waiting to get like refrigerator or some shit that I gotta spell out with it. Oh man. Okay, let's deliver this letter or something. Oh! A completely navy blue suit. Could this be the merchant girl's father? Oh my god, drama! Is that her uh, douchey husband? Hmm? In the jacket? Is the man with him the client's suitor? Mm -hmm. I bet he is. He even looks evil. No. We can't tell just from appearances. Anyways, let's try talking to them. They kind of all have the same face, so I don't know if we should really be judging them too much on appearance. Um. Uh, hey guys, excuse me. Hum, who are you? If you, if you don't mind, we're in the middle of an important conversation. Uh, I have a letter from you for your daughter. Oh, what did you say? You know my daughter's whereabouts? Well? Uh, yeah, but would you please read the letter first? You're not actually listening to this guy, are you, sir? I'll see for myself. Okay. This is without a doubt her handwriting. There must be some kind of mistake. I mean, what's she writing there? Just like, I don't like him. I don't think he likes you either, Papa. I would never mistake my daughter's handwriting. I'm afraid that if what's written here is true, this marriage cannot. <laughs> Why did she need us? Why didn't she just talk to her dad? <laughs> Fucking rich people. This marriage cannot be allowed to continue. Girl, really? Are you for real right now? That was all you had to do? Oh. Uh, <laughs> And I almost got away with it, too, if it wasn't for you meddling kids uh -huh. and your Shinigami. He's not even trying to hide it. He sounds like some second-rate cartoon villain. No point in playing pretend anymore. The scam's over the moment they start to doubt ya. Later, chumps! <laughs> what the hell? Hey, wait! There's no need to follow him. Thank you for delivering this letter. No. Ah, it was nothing. I don't really see why she couldn't do it her fucking self, but whatever. <laughs> I guess I'll take the money. I'll try talking to my daughter. Allow me to properly thank you another day. Yes. Sure. For now. Let's go report to the client. <laughs> that was kind of a dumb one. <laughs> uh, at least it seemed to be kind of self-aware that it was dumb. Okay, all the nuns' red stockings have a thickness of 120 denier or higher. She's sensitive to the cold and seeks extra warmth. Oh, okay. Interesting. I was kind of curious about that one. And that's what happened. <laughs> like how she's posing like that. She just doesn't want to do the dog and Rafa pose. She can't give in to the stereotypes. I don't think you'll have to worry about that arranged marriage anymore. Really? Then my father actually believed me. I think I'll go home now. Thank you so much for everything. A bad relationship with her dad? Her dad seemed to like her, okay? Mm. I hope it goes well. 
We did our part. Who cares what happens next? <sighs> We're involved now, so I'd like for her to be happy. Uh -huh. Oh, I get it. That must be the way of the simp. <sighs> Why do you keep calling me that? <laughs> oh, your symptom. <laughs> Is simp your forte, Yuma? OMG. Thank you, Dabbler Dragon. <laughs> that feel win. Uh, or that, I think, I think it is that Phil win. Nagito in a barrel asking about octagons. <laughs> hey, Ajime, spell octagon. <laughs> How many sides an octagon have? Slash the number. Oh, oh, Nagito, I miss him. I work apron made by camera manufacturer White Cross. The pockets are durable enough to hold heavy objects without losing shape. Cool. Deal. Except for I can fast travel a bit more. Do -do -do. Actually, where am I right now? I'm in Genma. Eh, whatever, I can go ahead and fast travel here. I think that was it, right? I guess I can double check, but I think that was literally the only other request that I had that I hadn't done. So did the other two already. I think actually there was like a third one that we did. Yeah. Like the book one, the uh, Rob, the guy like Rob, that girl, the ghost one, and then this one. So yeah, it's only like four this time. I think we're good. I do probably need to equip some stuff though. So I have not done that. Uh, I'm just so like, <sighs> I'm so indecisive. And, okay, and reasoning deathmatch sequences shorten the assist ability recovery time. Uh, I guess I could see that being helpful, but I don't know if I'll really need it that much. Increase stamina, vitality to increase stamina by 150. And Shinigami puzzle sequences. Move one solution key, Shimi. Remove one solution key, Shinigami will barf up. Does that seem like it would hurt you? Like, I don't know if I'm totally understanding that one correctly. Memory cost, SP. Required SP to require. I'll at least do these first two, I think. I was like, I could see myself not needing it, but like at the same time, I also could see myself needing it. He passed a memory shard again? Okay, well, just give me a second. In reasoning deathmatch sequences, reduce the number of colored words in mystery fandom statements, making it easier to identify what to repel. One combined with stand by me, one stand by me. In reasoning deathmatch sequences, the assist Ability recovers even faster. If equipped alone, it has the same effect as Stand By Me one. Okay, so it's just like more assist. What was this one again? Colored words. Oh, reduce the colored words. I feel like I have a lot of SP. Really only cost one for these? Oh wait, no. <laughs> I do want to equip. Yeah, okay. It's like, I thought for a second I couldn't. Um, I guess I'll do this one. Remove one solution key. Shinigami will barf up. I was like, am I? Don't remove, re don't, wouldn't recommend removing solution keys in the reasoning death match. Dumbs the game down. I could see it being too much for sure, but it's kind of hard to know. Reducing, yeah. Or wait, one, there's one for solution keys? This one says it's for like statements, right? Okay, whatever, I'll do this one because I definitely want this one. Yeah, Vitality! I feel like Vitality is always going to be kind of a good one. Mm. I feel like I can basically get everything. Okay, where's the shard, guys? Since y'all are all talking about it. Oh, there it is. Yay! Recall memories with Yako from the notebook menu. Neat. <laughs> okay, guys, I got it. <laughs> oh, I was like, that's all anybody in chat's gonna talk about until I go back and get it. Solution key removes it. Removes a you needed key that won't give a hint. Instead, makes you. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. I think I was just kind of misunderstanding it. I guess that's good then. I probably do need help with the wheelbarrow. God dang it. <laughs> the wheelbarrow game. It's been okay so far, but you know. I'm trying to think. Is there any downside of unlocking like all of these? 
Uh, I don't know. I'll probably just go ahead and do this one. SP to acquire. Still that. And then insolution key, sequence remove one incorrect solution key. During Shinigami puzzle sequences, slow down the rotation speed of the barrel. Sure. Okay. Okay, still got four, so. Which one's this one? And Shinigami puzzle, break two incorrect letters on Shinigami's barrel. Okay, so just automatically. <laughs> Why do I kind of want to do all Shinigami barrel? <laughs> I like, I haven't struggled at all, but it's like, you know, it was like chapter zero, so they're just giving you like easy words. You know what I mean? I know I'm gonna get fucking refrigerator soon. <laughs> Remove one incorrect solution key. Hmm. Oh, SP3. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if I really need. I really need that. I'm trying to think. Probably stand by me. I've equipped alone. Assist ability. More solution keys. Or makes it slower. I already got this one, which reduce the number of colored words. Remove one incorrect solution key. In Reasoning Deathmatch, they have those in that one? Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm gonna do the barrel. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, wait. No, no. Equip it. Ah. Keep auto-clicking. Oh, and then there's this one, too. Require one SP. Okay, whatever. If it's only one SP, then I guess I'll do it. Cool. Yay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I got more hung up on the Reasoning Death match, but whatever, we'll see. I just got, I got trauma. <laughs> I got trauma from Hangman's Gambit, man. I can't get past it. <laughs> okay, let me uh, save too. Oops. Probably didn't get to save before equipping all that stuff, but eh, whatever. <laughs> the Mitcherator. Okay, let's go ahead. Detective Deed, identification card. Extra legal, extra privilege, except in Con I Ward. Basically war criminals here. Metal Farks mocking saying markings are simply makeup. <laughs> that flower is dying slowly. Oh my god, megaphone guy. <laughs> it's about time. Yes, execution time. I mean, oh no! Hey, wait! You said I had three hours! Oh left. man. My watch says I still got five minutes! Poor Yako, we just got you nothing. Get your watch repaired. Oh dear, the watchmaker is currently detained as a suspect. Just throw away that piece of trash then. Besides, you're out of time anyway. Take him away. Wait! Whoa, Yuma! I knew you'd save me! Um, actually, we don't know jack shit about this case. But I'm pretty sure if I call Hilara's name, like, Hilara might show up and maybe do something for, like, a million GM. You got that much on you, right? Right? And you are. <sighs> I was the one investigating the Nail Man murders. Oh, I see. So, you're the one who interfered with our work at the clock tower. Well... I will honor your courage for confessing and turn a blind eye to that incident. Okay, that's kind of nice. You must drop this case. If you do, we will leave without pursuing any further action. But we still will. We will still execute the blue hand man. It's like, come on, man! That'd be the ideal solution for all of us. What do you say? Hmm. Yuma, think <laughs> carefully about this. <laughs> think carefully. You want me to live, right? Solving the case is good and all, but think about my well-being, please. Dropping the case would end this peacefully, but still. Please, get my dad back from them, please. You may be a trainee, 
But you are still a detective. Once you have accepted a job, you must finish it. And can we just like lie and be like, no, we're not going to do the case anymore. I can't back down now. The Neil Man killings haven't been solved yet. I will find oh, the truth. <laughs> Poor Yako, dude. Huh? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, God dang it. It's punishment time. Oh, you've said it now. There's no pulling out of this one anymore. The not deal is off. At least we get freeze time, yeah, with the labyrinth. He comes with us. This is for directly interfering with our work and bringing strife to Khan Iward. But... Please, wait, before you go. Please listen to what I've discovered while investigating the past Neil Man killings. You investigated the previous killings. <laughs> like, oh, shit, I was trying to cover that up. We handle all the information for those cases. Now that they're closed, there's nothing left at the crime scenes. I have no time for your lies. The Peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. All of the victims were strangled to death, weren't they? I suspect this fact hasn't been made public. How did you know that? So the cause of death was kept under wraps. I hope you see now. My investigation is legitimate. New key, the victims of the serial killings were all strangled, but the case, the cause of death was not publicized. Please, let me continue. I will catch the true culprit. Like, technically that one is seemed more like, a, you know, Contusion of the Octopus, the art gallery one, but I guess we'll clear that up later. Hmm. I don't know where you obtained that information. However, it appears that you must be arrested as well. Nar. Well, you are suspected of espionage. I believe an interrogation is in order. Take him away. I don't know what Yuma expected him to say in response to that. Like, I see now that the power of friendship and detective work has led this young boy to discovering the truth. I'll quit my evil ways. <laughs> what kind of care bears did you, did you expect, Yuma? Of course you're going to get arrested. What? Wait, please listen to me! You almost had it, but got too carried away, rookie! Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. Laura Nightmare! That does sound like a stage name. Laura Nightmare shall rush to your aid. That's right! Laura, please help! Gotta say the last name too, dude! Laura Nightmare! Yeah, there you go! It appears you acquire the aid of, of a nowhere. great detective. Here we go. Oh, fuck him up, Alara! Hell yeah! Slay, slay, I mean, serve, serve, serve! The power they have in their legs, man. Alara, you came for me! <laughs> for a small fun. Yeah, as I said I would. You committed acts of violence against the Amaterasu Corporation peacekeepers. Not once, but twice. Kick him in the nuts, Alara. Uh, sorry. I <laughs> promised to give him a stir. Oh my god! After this. Fucking Yako! <laughs> Can we please keep things on the down low? <laughs> Mr. Uh, Seth? Mr. Seth, are you alright? Look, get you some new flowers, Who man. Do you think <laughs> we are in this town? Oh, yeah. You are nothing but an audience. <laughs> the resolution is premiering now. The leading role belongs not to you or me, but to Yuma. Yeah, see, Alara's nice. Me? I'm the lead guy here? I've set the stage for you to solve the case. The time has come for you to risk it all as a detective. Expose the true culprit. <laughs> Dram dramatic. Oh, what the hell? What's going on? Does it have to be one of them, I guess? I don't know why I was brought here. Can I go home? I was like, we don't really even have that many suspects, really. So that's what you meant about setting the stage. I mean, Halara did suggest the real killer was among the people at the church. And now I have to point them out here? Hey, Yuma. <laughs> are you sure you got this? Are you really, <laughs> really sure? I'm really, really, really sure. It kind of feels like me when, like, uh... I'm playing Dianarapa and Sora or like Hajime's like, 
Okay, now point out the real culprit. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, am I supposed to know right now? <laughs> guess I'll just guess. Thank you, Mimiku lover, Kiru. Halara really came here to crash the wedding for real. <laughs> oh man, thank you so much for the dono. There's no room to mess up here, you know? <laughs> you know? Um, well... What do I do? I haven't gathered my thoughts yet. It's not like I can just ask for more time here. Yeah, I don't think so. If only there was a special magical place you could go to to investigate more. Alara seems to know the answer already, so why don't you just pay up for it? But that would waste all of Halara's efforts setting the stage for me. Huh. So you want to solve this all on your own. If you can't ask Halara for help, why don't you try asking me mm. instead? <laughs> Bless you. You mean the mystery labyrinth? <laughs> that is good. Is the culprit just gonna like die, right? Because yeah, this this time we're actually seeing them like face to face. So like once we come out, there's gonna be like Bleh! <laughs> heart attack, like a death note. The peacekeepers aren't just gonna stand by and listen to your deduction here. Things are just gonna escalate, and it might even end up with more deaths. Yeah, it was that one, that person that just fell over to their oh, no. death. And that's where yours truly comes in. We have the information we need from the investigation. All that's left is to solve the case with the mystery labyrinth. But if I do that... There's always a price to pay. When I reap the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. Yeah. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. What if we just like left early though? You know what I mean? Just like, we don't have to reap the soul. Just be like, okay, we see... We got to see, you know, your yassified form, Zilch. Okay, I guess we're gonna go back to the real world and uh, punish you. Which means the real culprit will die. Huh? This killer's a total psycho who's already killed many others. Why do you care so much? Don't you want to solve this case, Master? What about your promise to that kid? What's wrong, Yuma? If you don't hurry, the peacekeepers will wake up. <laughs> What is this nonsense about a resolution? I don't have time for this. <laughs> How long are we to listen to this kid talk to himself? I will make you listen by force if needed. That is my job as assistant. Well, you better hurry, or things will start getting bloody around here. <sighs> Fine. Here we go. Well, Master, are you mentally and physically prepared? Surprise! Get <laughs> a Sailor Moon transformation. I almost forgot. How can I forget? <laughs> so goofy. Uh, her outfit's so good. So pretty. What? Oh, wait, can she see it? Holy fuck. Oh, does Alara get to join us? Wait. Oh my god, I, was so, I, really, I really want them to join. I was like, I wish we could take Alara with us. It seemed like they noticed it though, right? Yes! 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 Slay! 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 Yes, time. Kalara! Stopped? Wait, oh shit, you can see all this? Uh, how are you moving right now? <laughs> yeah. What happened? Is this someone's forte? Kinda! Shinigami! Halara's in here too! Uh, not so. Oh. Weird. You knew this would happen? That doesn't mean Alara's a culprit Master, or something. you used your coalescence, remember? Your ability oh. isn't a one-way street. <laughs> you have the same. power to borrow someone's abilities, and you share yours as well. Halara wandered into the mystery labyrinth because of that effect. I think. Okay, so anytime we investigate You're with somebody... Are sure? ...the able to join us? That's cool. I'm glad. Ooh. So I don't really feel like we got to know Halara too well hmm, just yet. This'll take too long to explain. Plus, I 
don't feel like it. So I'll take that crawl over the master! <laughs> what the hell? Uh, <laughs> no explanation, just violence. <laughs> I'm glad though. So I was like, man, if that's like all the time I get with Alara, I was like, I feel kind of lame, you know? Like, I still feel like I don't really know them super well. Okay, save. Nice. We need to go down here, maybe. I don't know why I decided to save last time, like the middle of the, <laughs> in the middle of my save files. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quickly before we start. Just take a quick break, but I will be right back. And let me go ahead and mute this really quickly too. Y'all still simping for a chair. For a chair, man. Shame on you. <laughs> this chair is coming apart so bad. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's like literally the handle is like completely gone. It's like the <laughs> parts of it is like peeling off. I was like peeling off part of it earlier. <laughs> it's rough out here for chair, for chair coon. Okay, let's continue. Phil stay in the chair is the, the nail man. Do the polluted water is fish are rarely caught. And often have three heads. Isn't that funny? Fun little kawinky dink. I honestly don't know who the culprit is. I feel like right now my main suspects is like the nun and the priest guy. I don't know, I don't really feel like it's the servant guy because he gave us that ladder which seems really important. I'm not really sure it would be the worshiper either because he seems like too suspicious, you know what I mean? So I feel like it's one of those two, but we'll see. I'm just so glad Hilar is with us. Oh, that makes me so happy. Am I? Um, uh, is like, am I high right now? What should I do? I'll yep. need to explain everything. Pretty sure I'm I? just high. 
Just be like, hey, you know those donuts we ate earlier? Yeah, put some shrooms in them. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> that explains it. We don't have much of a choice now. No point in keeping secrets here. Um, Halara? Let me explain. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Acid. <laughs> of course! <laughs> it's all coming together. And that's how this mystery labyrinth involving the nail man killings materialized. Uh, I was kind of hoping uh, these would look different. So far, it does kind of look the same, though. Hopefully the inside looks different, at least. I see. So mystery labyrinths are materialization of mysteries themselves. And the truth is encased deep within. They pick up on stuff real quick. I appear to have underestimated you. This is an amazing forte. I must admit, it's quite a superhuman power. As far as I know, no other ability comes close to this. Who are you? I refuse to think you're just a trainee detective. For real? Are you gonna spill my secret though to the others? Um, to be honest, this isn't my ability. Before you continue, tell me, who is that woman beside you? Her name is Shinigami. I think the simplest way to describe her is that she's a guide for the mystery labyrinth. That's me! I'm also Master Scary Cute Mentor! On to my next question. <laughs> You're just gonna ignore me? <laughs> They're taking this all really well. You mentioned the Nail Man case just now. I had heard the rumors about that around town. <laughs> so I'm gonna be judging me like I thought you knew immediately who was the culprit. Why do you have to go through this mystery labyrinth I've known the whole time? Why are you investigating that case? Huh? What are you talking about? We were just investigating the Nail Man case together. The Nail Man. We were uh, pursuing that case... Wait. ...together? Amnesia? You don't remember? There was a young boy who wanted to hire a detective and you turned him down. Weird. I do remember you received a request from a child about some case, and you ended up seeking my help. Weird. The cost for hiring me was 5,500,000 Of course! Yen. <laughs> of course you remember that part, damn it! I remember the exact <laughs> amount. But I can't remember what the case involved. I do vaguely recall investigating something. I guess it's just so they can't help us during the minigames. <sighs> My mind is clouded. I don't remember exactly what was being investigated or what was discovered. Could that be? Yeah, it's because of the mystery labyrinth. Okay, interesting. The mystery labyrinth is a fortress protecting the truth. So outsiders usually can't reach it. Okay, so it's just because they're an outsider. For a second I was like, what if it has something to do with the fact that like, I don't know, they like did the case and then they couldn't remember because they're little shadow versions here and blah, blah, blah. Okay, but if it doesn't seem like that's the case. If someone did happen to wander in, their memories of the case would be locked away. I don't think Kalara would do it, obviously, but you know, just a thought. So if you have a pact with me, you wouldn't be affected. I think that one makes sense actually since um, whatchamacallit, um, I think some of these cases were done like before Halara would have even like entered Khan I Ward. Now that I think about it, technically we probably have two killers, right? Because uh, there was that one copycat killer at the museum and then there's the other cases. I kind of wonder if all the church people are involved somehow. I could see that being the case. How many, actually, there's four church people and then there's how many cases? We have the museum, mansion, casino, clock tower. Oh, like, what if one of each of them did a case, you know what I mean? Just a thought, just a thought, just a thought. But Four culprits! That part of the pack can't be shared. It's just, I'm trying to think of something that would be like a twist, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm really, like, bonded with the church people, so I'm like, I don't know, whoever it is revealed to be, I'm gonna be like, oh cool, it's the nun, oh cool, it's the priest. <laughs> but I guess we'll see, we'll see. This is the mystery labyrinth's defense mechanism, then. It makes sense for a vault that protects its treasure, the truth, to have a significant level of security. I kind of feel like Kataka might be trying to do like different stuff too for each of these cases. Like we, I don't think we ever had a case in Danganronpa with like, like four victims. <laughs> so why not four culprits? Yep, totally not strange at all. Halara here sure is smart. They all just dropped it <laughs> right when we get back. Halara, 
Uh, oh, <laughs> don't mind her. She gives people random nicknames. You know, you just remind her of hell. So, it, it's a compliment, really, when you think about anyway, it. When you think since about it. my memories of the case have been taken away, I will provide a supporting role for your investigation. Supporting role? As long as we're in here, I will act as your assistant. Well, that's the same as our original agreement. That means we can't rely on Halara's detective skills to blast through this dungeon. Damn. At least we can still rely on those legs, baby. That's unfortunate, but it's Bust still down nice those to doors. have an ally. Hey, Master. Before we head into the mystery labyrinth, let's do that thing. <laughs> huh? What thing? Oh. Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? <laughs> she got me so weird sometimes. Yeah, I am. So she cuts my throat. <laughs> the dance. Is she gonna vomit or whatever on me? Oh yeah, pull the sword out. That's what it is. <laughs> Are they making this so awkward? <laughs> Girl, just vomit it out and give it to me. <laughs> I don't need it to be so sensual. <laughs> oh god. This world is just full of surprises. I really did not need to see that. <laughs> can y'all can y'all let me know the next time you do weird shit like that, I'll just turn the other way. I assume that sword is used to cut down enemies interfering with your progress through the mystery lap. Yeah, <laughs> Lara just sitting dog and the posing off the side. Um, can I can I go somewhere else? You're right. It's a special sword that can interact with things here. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? I better materialize the solution keys I got during the investigation, too. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> that was a lot. Here you go. Uh, do you have to vomit them out every time? <laughs> I was like, what is the purpose of that? Is this supposed to be funny, or is that just, like, something Kadaka's into? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> just seems weird. What? Should I use a different hole instead? Sorry, please don't mind her. Blow your ear or something. All right, we're all set. <laughs> Spanish fly. <laughs> this game really be teaching us all about Kadaka. I feel like I know way too much about Kadaka <laughs> after seeing some of these things, dude. I'm like, <laughs> learn something new today, Kadaka. And we don't we don't need to know about all this. Now? We don't need to know about all your labyrinth. interests, homie. Our target is the true culprit who preys on the truth. Oh god. That's kinda nice to have Alara there side-eyeing them with me. Okay. I oh, it does look the same on the inside. This mystery labyrinth will allow oh, us god. to obtain the truth. They might not have the budget to do like a different mystery labyrinth for every case, like you know, Persona. But what happens to us if we can't find it? Definitely a bigger budget than like Danganronpa, but you know, still. We'd be lost, wandering around here forever. But as long as we reach the truth, it doesn't matter how much time we spend here. Oh, I forgot to mention this, but there's a time limit for solving the mystery labyrinth. Oh, what? <laughs> there's a limit to how long you can stay in here. Stick around too long and your soul will leave your body behind. You know, just a little piece of trivia for you. Your soul will wander until it's eventually absorbed by the mystery labyrinth. And you vanish entirely. In other words, you die. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> you should have told me this a long time ago. It's funny. It's funny. I was like, I want to see Hilara running too. I guess I can't really pan over there. Oh, relax, quit whining. A detective is bound to die anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be a baby about it. Oh, thank you, Ayabo. Take a shot every time she comes hits on Yuma. And sometimes it kind of feels more like a self insert thing. <laughs> Kadaka just made this like hot ghost girl. He's like, ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Let's have her hit on me. I mean, the protagonist. <laughs> every every 10 seconds. Isn't that right, Halara? It's no different from our usual line of work. A detective's life is always on the line. 
See? Listen up, Master. You might learn something. You're taking this awfully well, Halara. I do kind of wish, yeah, it would be different. At least there might be that section at the end, like, uh, the last... The last one, yeah, we went to like a train area, so I guess this one we might go to like the mansion or the art gallery or whatever later. Here we go! Trippy! Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> Got a nice screen. Ooh, freaky. Falling the forest. This? They seem to represent the four crime scenes. Oh. I assume that solving all four will allow us to progress. Okay, so different sections. Oh, I see. Where if it matters the order? Master, this is your job. So what's first? How about starting with the clock tower since it was the first one you investigated? Yeah, but would that be best for the first one? I can't really tell. If the numbers are set chronologically, then the clock tower would be the fourth locked room mystery. <laughs> I was thinking too, I was like, is this ordered in like order of investigation or chronological? But I guess we can start. Do I actually get like the free choice or are they gonna make me do it? That kind of reminds me of the Teru Teru dolls. Or was it Taro Taro dolls? I never really thought about the big call Teru Teru before. Come on, Halara, talk to me. Tell me what to do. Aren't you going to check the scene at the clock tower first? Let's go once you're ready. But what if I don't want to? Let's solve this thing. The clock tower crime is the fourth locked room. Let's hurry, master. Star eyes. Are you going to the fourth locked room? Ugh. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I hate it! <laughs> Creepy ass doll man! I swear to god, my earliest memory, like, in life, is being scared by this creepy ass American girl dolls that my grandma bought me, because my mom would hang them up all in my room, and I was just like a baby in my crib, like... <laughs> Shaking in fear. This is an exact replica of the clock tower crime scene. Shinigami, you didn't recreate it with your powers, did you? No, I can only do that when I hit you so hard in the head, you almost die. <laughs> Come on, we had to do something. It looks to me like the crime scene materialized in the labyrinth on its own. The fourth locked room is the latest chronologically, correct? That's right. And this is also what got me involved in the nailman killings. This what is are the, the most important the one case? too? Try to tell me as concisely as possible. So you don't technically have to solve the other ones if you don't want to. The crime was a locked room murder inside the storage room of a clock tower. Oh, and thank you, someone unknown. Shinigami really thinks she's slaying with her vomit. <laughs> she truly does think she's slaying with it. She always looks so satisfied after she does it. Like, I know, I know I look good. In the middle of the like, room girl, was a real. corpse covered in countless nails. Nobody looks good vomiting, even if it is like glitter or whatever. Which means that's the corpse. Yeah, there were also lots of dolls nailed to the walls. It looked just like one of those bizarre crime scenes left behind by that nailman guy from the urban legend. Hence the nailman killings. From the look of it, the door was locked from the inside. Yeah, it was locked until the body was discovered. There's only one window, and its shutters were down as well. Oh, uh, yeah, that was the one where it, like, auto-locks and auto-closes um, or whatever. I see. So the shutters were locked, too. This is the third floor of the clock tower. It's too high up to jump from here. Okay. Hmm. So it really is a locked room mystery. Hey! If this is a locked room, aren't we stuck in here, too? I'm kind of, honestly, I might be leaning, I might just lead with my theory that each of the church people committed one of these crimes. Because honestly, I kind of do feel like that makes sense. We'll see though. But it's just like the servant was the one who gave us the ladder, which I think is definitely for this case. I, as much as I want it to be a drone umbrella that they used to get up here. I know, I know it's not true. But um, I wonder if there is anybody in particular he would have like beef with. It kind of seemed like maybe the nun was the one who like bullied him, maybe? The most? So I wonder if the nun would have done this one. If that's the case, but I don't know. I might just leave with that theory so far, because I think it's my best theory. But we'll, we'll see. Thank you, Dylan Petal. Can we have a crossover between Chucky, Annabelle, Megan, and the Nail Man? Oh my god, Nail Man collab win. Oh no! Master! You're trapped 
unless you solve this mystery. OMG. Otherwise, you'll run out of time and your soul will get snuffed out. <laughs> by me. <laughs> Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it, although I really want to. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, Dylan, for the dono. Uh, hey. Huh? Oh, Jesus. Lara just standing there watching this. Where did the culprit flee from? I see. So that's how to make the questions appear. I'm surprised you're so calm after seeing that. <laughs> For real? Okay, so different, um... Different questions. Where did the culprit flee from? Oh no, okay, that's all the same question. Can I look at my solution keys? I feel pretty positive it's that one. Cause I think the, didn't it like lock up top to the like shutter door? Yeah, so shutter stop when they erase completely, if let go midway up or down. They're pulled down to the bottom. If they're let go midway up or down, they're pulled to the bottom. So yeah, so if they went up with the ladder, then they locked it or whatever, or I guess they could just walk up the stairs to the room, do the murder, then, you know, open the window and then this does seem like a little confusing, but I think that one makes the most sense, right? Right? I haven't looked at these in a while. I guess I might have to come back to these. God, there's so much evidence. Jesus! <laughs> lord have mercy! <laughs> 27 pieces of evidence? Oh my lord. Okay. Is there any, even anywhere else to choose? I guess just the door and the window. Oh, the floor! <laughs> what do you think they rode on back of Megan? Uh, yes, of course. I'll try it, we'll see. Here. Hey, let's go! It has to be here. The culprits must have escaped through the window. And your reasoning? When I arrived at the scene, the window shutters were closed. It was wet underneath the window, but I could tell it was already starting to dry. Ah, uh, yeah, because of course, it's like always, always raining outside. Which means Makes sense. the window was open not too long ago. It's likely the culprit escaped through the window and closed the shutters on the way out. Is it possible to close the shutters from the outside? Yes. This style of shutter automatically locks, so if you let go of the shutters at the right height, its momentum pulls it down, and once down, it locks all on its own. In other words, the culprit held up the shutters while moving outside. Once they let go, it automatically locked. I'm still not sure how they would have gotten the ladder out of the window. It's the only thing. I think it locked the door to lock the ladder in place, but then it would still just be like hanging there, you know what I mean? They just like pull it down, maybe? I don't know. In that see. case, let's try leaving this locked room in the same way. Right. It's time let's to try jump! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh shit! Oh hey, it's you! The nail. Oh Jesus, that hair! Have already <laughs> been solved. The fuck? Oh my god, look at like dark matter a little bit too with these eyes. <laughs> the black eyes shit going on, homie! That hair! <laughs> Who told you? Who told you that that was a sleigh, man? <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> they need to be... <laughs> they need to be put down. Is he that peacekeeper? <laughs> it's a mystery phantom! The people covering up the case in the real world are manifested like that Jesus. here to stop us. How does he even balance that? You think the culprit really escaped from here? <laughs> this high up? <laughs> Negative if 900 you fall, slay. <laughs> you die. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? Megamind, for real? <laughs> Megamind, look at us. Ro -ro. Oh, oh, just come with me. Oh shit! <laughs> Did she just grab Halara on the way no down too? Down, down with you. I was lonely, okay. <laughs> oh my god. So oh, dealing with continuous attacks. Press the correct button when you think you have the correct answer to the questions. 
The mystery phantom throws at you. Oh god, I feel so confused by this case. <laughs> Maybe we can pause and look at some of the solution keys. We'll see. Attacks are gonna keep coming, but be careful. You'll take damage if you avoid all assailing assaults. Okay, so if I just keep avoiding them, then uh, that's not good either. What remains of a strange rope. Oh, they burned it? I was kind of wondering that too. I gotta look at the, I gotta look at the evidence again. What the culprit used to escape from the high location? Okay, please let me look at the solution keys. <laughs> please. Pretty please. Yuma, the mystery labyrinth is a manifestation of a mystery. So solving it will get us out of this, right? Come on, you got one fucking job. I, I think so. Yeah, it's not, it's not working. The culprit wouldn't have fallen out of the window like we did. They would need a tool to get up and down. A tool? You should have found something during the investigation. I was helping you, after all. <laughs> I mean, for real, come on. You must have seen the answer with your own eyes. Try to remember. Oh my god. <laughs> The megaphone, too. What the culprit used to escape from the high location? Oh, burnt remains of a strange rope? It must be it. Okay, okay, it's just one answer for this one. It's like That's a tutorial. It. We found the burnt remains of that rope in the incinerator at the church. Whoa! The culprit had used that rope to escape through the window. Oh, yeah, it was just burnt because we found it in the incinerator. I was thinking maybe they, like, burned. Burned it at the top. <laughs> I don't know. To take it down from the window. What traces did using the rope leave behind? Oh, thread or something? Oh, wet floor. Fuck. A uh, shutter structure? Marks on the two no, doll. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I wasn't sure! Uh, I think it might've been the last one. There was like the thread yeah, on the dolls, right? I think, I think so. <laughs> wet floor, what traces the rope leave? The shutter structure. Okay, it. yes! Fuck him up, Yuma, yes, leave! Slay, slay, slay. The nail that was stuck in the doll under the window had some rub marks on it. Teach him. Show him what it is to serve. The that outfit is not it. The rope there. That's why those nails have been hammered in below the window. Yeah, I had a feeling it was connected to that. It wouldn't be possible to climb down a rope simply hooked onto a window. Unless you've had special training for it. <laughs> There's no way an amateur could manage it. That can't be how things went down. I can't believe you get uh, damage just for having to recycle the answers. It could have been an ordinary rope. It must have been a rope ladder. What's that? <laughs> I can't hear you. Where the rope's burnt remains originally? <laughs> Safety line. Don't worry. Rope I'm ladder right here with belt. You. Which one? Right? Uh, X. Rope ladder. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, fuck him up. Man, I'm kind of sad the megaphone guy's not in this uh, dungeon, though. We need him. We need Ow. him here. We're alive. I bet he would have served. I bet megaphone guy would have served way better than this megamind looking guy. Yuma, are you Seth. okay? Yeah, thanks. You saved me, Halara. Correct. It's all thanks to me. Money well spent, no? <laughs> Your tap has increased. Well, it was a lot of money. <laughs> Come on! Are you two just gonna keep staring at each other all day? Let's get out of this locked room! Um, right. So this is the rope ladder in question. It certainly would help you escape. Okay, so that's how they had it set up. Between those dolls. Interesting. That green moon. The details of the case are still unclear to me. Was this found in the church's incinerator? Yeah. That's right. It didn't concern me at the time, but it makes sense now. The rope can be folded in the middle, and then the ends can be connected together. Oh, thank you, Sarissa DL. Can we just the interactions between Vivian and Shinigami? Oh my god. We get to take Vivian to one of these? Oh, my heart. I can't wait. Ah. Oh. And that's how they made a rope ladder. What makes fun. you so sure it was used here? The nail under the window showed signs of friction from a rope and had some yellow fibers on it. 
A clergy member showed me the rope's burnt remains, and I noticed it was the same yellow color. And there were footprints on the ground below oh, the yeah. window of the clock tower, facing the wall. Thinking about it now, these were clearly signs that someone climbed down the rope ladder and landed there. Wait, wasn't the rope ladder hitched on that nail? How did they get it down from the bottom? I see how it's on in two. The culprit could have cut it one rung at a time as they descended. Oh. By the time they reached the bottom... Interesting. It would have been one long single rope, okay, which they could pull easily down. pull down. How'd they get the door or the window to close, though? The window shutters fell due to its weight and locked automatically, okay. completing the locked room. Okay, so I guess it was just like positioned where that would happen? Yep, that's a stellar deduction. Major props. Okay. To me cool, cool. for terraining you! <laughs> of course. <laughs> Uh, battle to oh God, not you again! <laughs> Fight to my hair! Use that rope ladder to escape the clock tower. I like how it's Love clipped it. at the top. <laughs> it's too big to even fucking include. <laughs> that doesn't change our verdict at all. The watchmaker is the culprit. Oh, that's kind of interesting. He's got the flowers in his hair, too, and he was using that to, like, count down the time. Master, bone kill the mystery phantom blocking your path! Y yeah <laughs> Yeah! Don't sound too confident, Yuma. I want to see what that image is for the loading screen for this. Can't really tell. It looks like something kind of right there, but... Flower or something? <laughs> oh, this dude. Mystery Phantom. Fear of Heights, door key. These deductions of yours are unnecessary. Oh, okay. It's clear who the culprit is. The watchmaker was nearby at the time of the crime. Okay, nearby at the time of the crime. Fear of Heights. According to the watchmaker's son, his father is afraid of heights and avoided high places. The door in the clock tower was locked. Okay, probably this one. Father is afraid of height and avoided high places. Okay, well, we'll try it, I guess. The watchmaker was also at the sea. Oh shit! Oh god! Okay. Whew. And he had a hammer for the nails. Hammer in the other nails. words, he committed the crime. Maybe it is after crazy. committing the crime. Just as you deduced, he created that locked room. Okay. And escaped via the rope ladder. Oh, but he wouldn't do that because he's afraid of heights, maybe? The rope ladder? For now. It's like, the key, the locked room does kind of go with that other one, but I don't really see how it disproves it. It's just kind of like, no, the room was locked. So it couldn't be a locked room. I feel like, like, what the fuck does that, what the fuck does that have to do with anything, Weeby? Raisins. But do you really think he did it? It seems kind of unlikely. What did you, what did you say, actually? Oh, I can't go, I can't look back. Okay. These deductions of yours are unnecessary. I think it's it is that way. It's clear the culprit is. The watchmaker was nearby at the time of the crime. The watchmaker was also at the scene. Ooh. Close one. And he had a hammer for the nails. In other words, oh, he X. committed the crime. For, yeah, rebuttal. After committing the crime. Just as you deduced, he created that locked nope. room. And escaped via the rope ladder. This is the Yay! <gasps> The watchmaker is afraid of heights. He couldn't even look out the windows as he went up the tower. No way he climbed a rope ladder that high up. I was thinking that would be pretty rough to climb that rope ladder. So it's impossible for him to have committed the crime. He's not the nail man. Oh, I could see that. Him being the same VA as Correcchio, I could definitely see that being the case. Oh. Damn you! Spin! <laughs> 
sashay away, as you should. You said these mystery phantoms try to cover up the case, right? Which means the peacekeeper Seth is trying to do just that. I don't know why, but it's clear the peacekeepers are involved with this case. Perhaps it is connected to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Yeah, there was like the world's big secret or something too. All the more reason to seize the truth. Let's go. Right. Oh, all the English raincoat BAs have no prior roles in Danganronpa? Really? Wow. Jeez, who's the protagonist here? <laughs> I'm trying, man. I got that dorky pro protag thing going on, right? Oh yeah, Yuma's the same VA as Kibo, though. I was like, I thought there was somebody we talked about before already. By the way, Yuma, about your sword. Does it only work on cues and mystery phantoms? The solution blade works against anything in the mystery labyrinth. Okay. So don't cut your allies by mistake, master. Mm, interesting. <laughs> Try it out on me. You could have told me that sooner. Can I use that sword? Ooh, so sorry. Only Master is able to use it because he made a pact with yours truly. You may be under the effects of coalescence, but you're just an extra here, Alara. So, nope, you can't use the solution blade. So sassy, I feel like she hates Alara. I was merely curious. Regardless, it's best I act as support since I don't have any memories of what happened. I guess she seems very territorial over Yuma. You know, Yuma did hold Hilara's hand. Let's return to the case. Assuming the watchmaker isn't the culprit, do you have any notion of who is? I do. Hilara, during the investigation, you claimed one of the people at the church is the culprit. I think I understand the reason why now. That rope was found inside the incinerator, which only clergy members could access. Yeah. In other words, whoever tried to destroy the evidence is a member of the church. <laughs> Prompt and logical. I am quite impressive. Oh yeah, Yaku is Hagakuri and Gonta. I thought I remembered that. Wait, you're tooting your own horn? <laughs> Drama! Fight, 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 fight! Oh, wait, can I actually... Okay, I kind of want to look at the solution keys. Because I did not look at these enough beforehand. So, the clock tower guy, I think I'm good on that. Good on that. Evidence found. This was the thread. I think I'm good on that. Door, the clock tower was locked. The only way to unlock it is to turn the knob from the inside. Victim's cause of death was likely strangulation. Peacekeeper's report didn't mention it. There were suspicious footprints in the grassy area facing the wall. So you made from loafers, not sneakers. Fear of heights, yeah, the guy was afraid of heights. Extremely was being burned in the church incinerator and the church officials seem to know about it. Church officials here refers to those who work in the church. In this case, the priest, nun, and servant. Okay. The church worshiper mentioned three serial locked room murders occurring, occurring throughout Kanai Ward. All thought to have been the work of the nail man. These nail man murders occurred three times over the past six months. The first happened six months ago at the secret club located in Kamasaki District. Oh wait, oh, there's more. The owner was murdered. The second happened three months ago in a mansion near Ginma. The owner was murdered. Happened about one month ago at the art gallery. A woman was murdered. Fourth happened today at the clock tower. Crime scenes of each share common. God, this is a long one. <laughs> this is a long one. I feel like this could be used for a lot. The um, first to discover each victim at the church was the worshiper. It's probably mostly used for that honestly and i guess to show like the like, common characteristics this will probably be to disprove the uh the art gallery one because that one's definitely sus there's always a corpse and a doll in the all down locations always a locked room first discover each past victim was the church worshiper according to him he went looking for the next victims when he found the dolls with the name tags left in the forest by the time he found them however they're already dead the church worshiper has never discovered a body on his own there's always been another person with him. Okay, always somebody with him. So, yeah, he discovered it with the art, <laughs> the sexy art gallery guy <laughs> at that location. Laura's forte is post-cognition. In other words, it isn't tied to the culprit or the victim, but the point is which, wait, according to Laura, the forte reveals the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. It isn't tied to the culprit or the victim, the point at which a third party entered the scene. Post-cognition is not affected by witnesses' memories, interpretations. What a scene is actually there. Victim of the Secret Club had both strangulation and vertical scratch marks on his neck. The scratches were likely self-inflicted. 
as the victim resisted. Huh. It seems like, yeah, several of them have different marks. I feel like all, I really think it's all the church people because I feel like each like case is like slightly different, you know? Like I feel like the first one we investigated, like the clock tower looked maybe the most, I think it, I think that one and then the casino looked the most like what you would expect like real nail man murders to look like. Then I feel like even the mansion was like a little off too because there was just one doll on the wall, which I thought was weird. And then yeah, he had those weird blood stains too. There's a room key inside the glass on the counter. Security is tight and there's only one master key. It cannot be duplicated. Then is 40 by 30 centimeters, just wide enough for a slender adult to pass through. Okay. He had scratch marks too. Did the nun have like long nails? <laughs> Four corners of the vent are currently screwed down, but post-cognition reveals that when the victim was first discovered, the screws were not there. Oh, the cover was not tightened on. It was simply fit into place. Would have been easy to remove. So, yeah, I do think that is it. I think it's all the church people, but we'll see. There are bent nails between the vent and the secret club. Oh, yeah, this one had the bent nails, too. I think that was the climb up, yeah, to get into the vent. Probably. It's inserted they were hammered hurriedly or there's a different reason. Evans to study the manner where the victim was found. Nails driven to the lower body, pierced through the stick in the floor. However, the nails in the upper body did not completely penetrate. And then, yeah, the blood stains were weird, too. Victim's neck! And the victim's neck had signs of being strangled with a rope and wounds likely caused by resisting. In addition, there were thinner rope marks only visible on the back of the neck. Vent of the study. Vent too small for a person to enter or exit from. Screwed shut from the inside, making it impossible to remove. There's evidence that a string or something similar scraped against the gap in it. Perhaps the string was hitched on it. Doll with gouged... I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be for. Case evidence found in the study of the mansion. The doll is made of resin, not porcelain. The hollowed eyes are connected by a cavity in the head. In addition, it looks like a thin string rubbed against it. <laughs> Fucking purple guys on there. The inner corners of the eyes. Floor plan. Okay, just kind of the way it looks. Alara provided a photo of the crime scene in the mansion study for the locked room mystery on the back of Lara's hand-drawn floor plan. She draw them on the back of the cat. <laughs> they draw them on the back of the cat picture. The key to the mansion study. There are no copies of the master key. The door of the study is unlocked with the master key. When the body was discovered, the room was still locked and the master key was found inside the study. Um, markings on the corpse in the art gallery storage room. Like the other victims, there are signs of strangulation, but no wounds from resisting. There are also signs of blunt force trauma to the back of the head. That wound is deep and may point to the real cause of death. Evidence found related to the murder in the art gallery storage room. A doll nailed to a cloth canvas. Only one nail, one nail is driven into the head, another to the chest. A key in the room is also nailed. Oh yeah, that was kind of weird. Nail on the painting. Evidence found related to the murder in the art gallery. Nails driven the portrait, perhaps in place of a doll. <laughs> They're like, fuck it, close enough. Two keys can open the door of the art gallery storage. I kind of, I don't know, I feel a little bad saying this. I feel like the servant seems to be the le like, the least smart out of the church people. I kind of feel like he would have done the art gallery one if my theory is correct. And thank you, Dylan Petal. Are you going to stream the DLC chapters? Yeah, whenever they come out. I'm not totally sure exactly when they come out, but I'll definitely stream it, especially if you guys are interested. Two keys can open the door of the art gallery storage. At the same, at the time the body was discovered, one of them was inside the room. The other was in the possession of an art gallery employee and was used to open the door. Window gap. The vent window opens outwards, but the gap is only about five centimeters wide. There are no suspicious traces on it. It would be, it would be impossible to enter or exit from. Evidence found, I think this was knocked over. Someone from the church tried to enter and knocked over a paint can. I wonder if that was to cover something up now that I think about it. Cause it's gotta be important somehow, right? If they're including it as evidence. I wonder if there was like some kind of like a little bit of evidence there that like, I don't know, blood stain or something. They were like, oh, let me knock this over <laughs> and show it. Our county employee claims he was the one who unlocked the door but was too afraid to open it. Instead he watched from behind as the person from the church opened the door. When the person opened the door, he stopped at the side of the victim. That was when the paint can was knocked over. The person from the church who the art gallery staff member is referring to is likely the worshiper. Okay. The victims of the serial killings were all strangled, but the cause of death was not publicized. Only people who entered the crime scene know this fact. The culprit, peacekeepers, and the first discoverers of the victims. Okay. Interesting. Interesting! I see. I see. You should solve mysteries like this to progress your way through the labyrinth. Wow! You catch on quick, Alara. I'm only now getting the hang of things. 
It may look peculiar at first, but the structure is exceedingly logical. It's easy to understand. That's amazing, Halara. You're so smart. You know. I wonder what lies ahead. Well? Um, there's always a chest at the end of a labyrinth. I'm sure you'll find some treasure. I'd rather get information about the case than treasure. We're just gonna get seaweed head again. <laughs> Come on, let's hey, be real. A treasure chest. Can I open it? <laughs> Check it. Ask while she does it. Solution key. Nice. Okay, well, only clergy members have access to the incinerator. <laughs> Yay, more keys. Was that 28 now? <laughs> Ooh. Fire tornado. Damn. Oh, did we kill the doll? The yes. Spot. I mean, oh no. Ah, oh, damn, she's still alive. So we cleared the first route. We just need to keep this up and go through each shrine one by one to gather clues about the culprit, which supposedly leads to solving the real life case. I'm starting to understand how the mystery labyrinth operates. You learn fast. Um, like a certain master I know. <laughs> if you're so impressed, why don't you just <laughs> sign a pact with Halara? Man, am I good enough for you, Shinigami? Oh, are you sulking? You're the jealous kind, aren't you? No, I'm not. <laughs> nope, We're short not. on time, aren't we? <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> I like a little kid. Right. I can't wait to reap the culprit's soul. What do we do next? God, I love murder. What's that doll doing now? My soul is free. Yes. <laughs> I shall fly around and spin now. You can choose whichever you want, so why not start with the one you're most confident with? Okay. Let's see. That could be the... I guess this is chronological, right? So probably three. I feel like the art gallery one's going to be the easiest. Because that one seems... I don't know. It kind of feels like the culprit for that one was not very smart. They did a bad job making it look like a nail man case. Then one was... Oh yeah, that one was the bar area, or the casino. Then two is the mansion, yeah, so three is gonna be this one. This definitely seems like an easier one. The third locked room was a murder that happened one month ago in the art gallery storage in Ginma district. Pictures and paint were scattered all around the spot where a woman was boom killed. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Are you going to the third locked room? Some people say not to do that. Start with one. Really? Uh, I don't know if it matters too much. <laughs> I know these dolls are so creepy, man. <laughs> Twitching all over the place. I guess we can start with one if that one's supposed to be easier. Because the only thing, I guess, the only weird thing about the third one that makes me, like, a little iffy on it is that, like, I don't know if it'd be easier to do it after, um, we, uh, I don't know. Do the first two because we can see like more the of the differences. The first locked room happened six months ago in a secret club in Kamasaki District. An old geezer was nailed to the wall in an underground casino. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Are you going to the first locked room? Yeah, let's just do this one, I guess. Yay! Thank you, in our channel, Tony Rose. Hello, just joined. What I missed. Can't wait to see your reaction. Enjoy the stream. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by. I guess I could see it being better to do it in order of investigation. But I guess we'll see. But if the mystery isn't solved, then I won't escape this place. <gasps> Trapped in a cramped room with these two. <laughs> I thought you were like in love with Yuma or something. Sounds kind of fun, actually. <laughs> I have no intention of playing along with your fantasies. Yuma, hurry up and take care of this. Yeah, okay. Oh, poor Yuma, dude. <laughs> where did the culprit flee from? This is where I used to launch oh, yeah. with my coalescence for the first time. Okay, were you just doing this part for the kind of like the same question for each room? Kind of seems like it. Okay. I do feel like the art museum, I don't totally know where they fleed from. I feel like they just made an, I don't know, I feel like they just used the key, honestly. <laughs> well, no, because the, uh, the hot art gallery guy had the, uh, the, the sexy voice guy had the other key, and he would never, <laughs> he would never do anything wrong in his entire life. I would offend him with my life. So, huh, 
don't really know how they would have gotten out of that one. Because, yeah, the window is really small. This one, I'm pretty sure it's the vent, so I guess we can just go ahead and do this. This is where I used Solaris Forte with my coalescence for the first Coast time. mission allowed us to see the crime scene as it was in the past. Some things were obviously different. Those are most suspicious. Okay. Yeah, this one seems pretty... Pretty clear, I think. But what if it was through the super jackpot machine? They turned digital all of a sudden. And then they did it. Or what if it was chair con? Oh, is that for the door? Is that for the chair? What even was that highlighting? Echo, whatever. <laughs> we can just do the thing that I actually think it is. Here. Here it is. I know. What about the vent? It was human size and all that, so. You believe the culprit is so why not? Through the vent? Yes, I'm sure of it. When I saw the crime scene with your post-cognition, the screws on the four corners of the vent cover were removed. Which means the culprit must have escaped from there. It oh my god, this fucking guy <laughs> pops out of nowhere. <laughs> How ludicrous. How'd you fit that hair in the vent? Come on! Come on, you cheated. <laughs> You're saying the culprit escaped from the vent? That's impossible. He wants to be zilch so bad, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Seth, but you were. It's not a sleigh. It's not a serve. It's. I. Come on, just. It might. It might be time to go home and change. <laughs> Thank you, Dabbler Dragon. Boom Slay Weeby, you got this. Thank you so much. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. Poking full of holes until he's a makeshift golf course. Feels kind of like most Dong and Rampa cases where I'm like, I have a couple of clues that I think I know what they mean, but. Like, 80% of them, I'm like... <laughs> what does that mean? -na 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 -na. Oh, this minigame stresses me out. The one we have to choose something quick. Not made for this, man! <laughs> Impossible! <laughs> the culprit could not have escaped through here! This place that I just came through! Okay, it's this minigame. That's good. <laughs> Reason of death, bitch. Oh my god, I didn't get to see his poses on the back. Uh, he's not being his ex- Wait, what's the- The twirl? <laughs> what are you in your speak now era, bro? <laughs> Do you guys see his little twirl? <laughs> A ballerina pose back there. Oh, man. Okay, secret club door key. There was a room key inside the glass on the counter. So yeah, if they escaped through the vents, so then, I don't know, it just seems easy. So the nails are- Beneath the vent or bent downward? Yeah, I think it's this one, probably. <laughs> okay, now he's just staring like that. Oh shit! Oh no, I was too busy! I was too busy trying to see if he slayed for once. Oh. That's utterly right. okay. impossible. I gotta actually read these now. <laughs> think of where that vent is. Ah shit! Isn't it pretty high up? There's Fuck. no way you could get there. Even if the cover was removed. Even if the cover was the fuck? Why is it? There's no like foothold to use to reach it. Oh, hey. Yeah! Got him! <laughs> oh man, I was hoping it was a twirl, but it looked more kind of like a... Like a Lady Gaga pose, like a... <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> I'm gonna believe it was a twirl, though. The culprit used the nails driven into the wall as footing to reach the vent. The weight caused the nails to bend. Dude looks like a plant Pokemon. <laughs> He's just a Bulbasaur stand, guys. Leave him alone. What was that? Uh, Rosalia. That's who he reminds me of. It's a Rosalia stand, guys. His Rosalia cosplay, and you're making fun of him. And you're bullying him. Didn't know my chat so was a bunch of bullies. to fight this way every time. <laughs> Quite the test of endurance. Yeah, no kidding. However, solving the mystery itself was simple. The nails were used as footing to escape through the vent. Could you be twirling every time he leaves the, uh, his little spin every time he leaves? Did you find that out Such using my way. post cognition? Yeah. Without your help, this case would have been impossible to solve. You'll never be considered a full-fledged detective until you can handle a case like this on your own. Sorry. You got lectured again! Sucks to be a rookie, huh? 
Anyway, let's head out. We'll use the nails on the wall as footing, just like you deduced. Right, let's hurry. Kind of interesting, uh, I don't know, like, uh, choice or... I, I like the choice that they have, like, every time we escape these rooms, we have to escape in the same way as the culprit. And you have to climb over the body, too, then. Ew. <laughs> I'm trying to think. It does seem like we have to choose the escape the route for all of them. I have no Such idea for the other two. Place. I must ask, is there no way to escape besides solving the mysteries? You mean like in the emergency exit? Unfortunately, I don't think that exists. No, I guess that makes sense. I guess that's why you have to kill them once you enter in, because you have to solve it. An emergency exit, huh? Is one. Oh. Kinda. Kinda. There is? <laughs> what? I was like, does she even have to do the execution part? She probably just likes it. But it doesn't solve anything. You'll just go right back to the mess you came from. Besides, to use the emergency exit, you'll have to pay a heavy, heavy price. More than half your lifespan? And that is. Don't worry about it. Using it here wouldn't help anyway. So, never mind. Just concentrate on solving the mystery. Got it. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's kind of interesting. We're in the church, too. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, I kind of understand them, like, reusing some of the parts. I guess just, like, certain areas are going to be unique to each case. Can I actually look at these now that I think about it? Ah, uh, yes. A building with a green screen. Ah, uh, yes. Love that. <laughs> very, very important to our religion. What is this? It's like another crime screen. Okay. Oh, I guess like the green space area that we're in. I guess because that's what's his face's favorite color, Seth. Hmm. If it's like this before, there should be a solution key here. It'll reveal the perpetrator of the crime at the secret club. Once you obtain it, you should check it thoroughly. Will it reveal the perpetrator? That's Maybe there's a solution key, like the one from before. <laughs> it should be. I wonder what kind of key it is. I can't wait. Yeah. Maybe if you click it, we'll finally freaking get there it, Master. It Another treasure. So, who's gonna open the treasure chest this time? <laughs> How about uh, whoever looks like they'd win a character popularity poll? <laughs> Livewire. All hail Greenus, Greenus, our Lord and Savior. Yes. Another solution key. Okay. <laughs> Why they make him thick though? <laughs> they did not have to define the cheeks. Only someone with a slender build could have used the nails as foot <laughs> or escape from the vent. <laughs> Only somebody who was thick as hell. Looks like another oh clue my God. the culprit. Just thick enough, you know, to fit through the vent. Someone <laughs> can. It's very important. Very important to the crime scene. Very important to the investigation. <clears throat> yes, Considering of course. Considering the culprit used those nails Damn. as footing, and they would have to be nimble. Gray man got an upgrade. And given the size of the vent, only someone thin could fit through it. <laughs> so the culprit must be thin. We're narrowing down the possibilities quite nicely. Keep it up, master. This is all thanks to my training. It does rule out the servant if all of these are committed by the same person, but I think there's at least two culprits. <laughs> I can't. Oh, God, I cannot get over that. <laughs> all right. Let's keep going and solve the remaining locked rooms. <laughs> oh, my God. That was beautiful. <laughs> okay, let's do room two, I guess. I don't know if there's uh, too much... I don't know how interesting, I guess, the dialogue's gonna be if I talk to them. Damn. You decide which to solve first. I'll follow your lead. Eh, it's kind of generic stuff. Okay. <laughs> man, we gotta make a gray man a club, dude. Mystery. He was looking Occurred a little... three months ago in that mansion. The corpse was inside the study, and the room's key was found underneath the corpse. Okay. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. I have no clue about this one or the art room. With how they escaped? Are you going to the second locked room? Here's to hoping they ask me a different question. 
Uh, we'll see. We'll see. The fish tank? I think Alara made a joke about there being like a secret passage there, so I guess we can try it. I don't know. I'll just click on that, see. See if the fish ate it in the escape of of the thick gray man. <laughs> no, gray man, don't murder. You're too sexy. <laughs> there are dolls nailed across the room. <laughs> The victim is nailed down in the same manner. And the culprit was also missing from this room? It shares common traits with the other nailman killings. What if there would be like an escape path on the wall somewhere? Would that be why they didn't nail that many dolls on the wall? So like they didn't want, I kind of rhyme. Um, <laughs> just because they didn't want people like investigating the walls too much, they just nailed them all on the floor. Like, no, don't, don't look at the walls. It's not important. And we're trapped again. Looks like you gotta solve the mystery of this locked room, or we're not leaving. I'll try. Where? God damn it. The door was it is this question. The was found. And the only key was underneath the body. There are no windows that could have been used to escape. And the vent is too small to fit through. So how... Did the culprit escape from here? Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! I don't remember how the rest of the song goes. Where did the culprit flee from? Oh! Is it this doll that's suspiciously placed there? Oh, there is a doll here. I thought maybe I was like, just misremembering that. Or was it the chair? Was it chair coon? Just like the audience uh, was saying when I left to go pee. Or is it? The fish tank! That's a big fish tank, dude. Okay, I kind of... Well... I can't even choose the door or the, uh... How many points do I lose if I choose it wrong? I kind of do feel like it's the doll. Or the fish tank. One or the other. The projector. Just project yourself in and out. The murder is a Hatsune Miku hologram. <laughs> Damn it, Hatsune. Damn it, Miku. How could you do this? Oh. Oof. Are you curious about the doll? You, you, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. I'm sure your instincts are correct, but that has nothing to do with the current problem of how the culprit escaped. How do you even know, Halara? Didn't you lose your memory? Is you it? must solve each problem before you, one at a time. Okay. I understand. <laughs> I'm gonna lose so many points here. But what about this book that's placed? I oh, know. Okay, <laughs> it's not highlighted. We're gonna go with secret fish tunnel, right? That's gotta be something. <laughs> or secret chair tunnel. Or, I don't know, I feel like there's, I, I kinda, it's bugging me that this isn't suspicious. Oh, hey, it is highlighted. <laughs> like. <laughs> what about jumping into the painting? <laughs> what the fuck are you on? <laughs> I know we're in this acid-induced wasteland right now, but come on, be, be for real. Are you serious? <laughs> Maybe you should well, see. I thought, okay, I thought since it was crooked, you like you move it into place, and then a secret tunnel opens. to Lara. No, just a joke. <laughs> you think you're so smart, so fucking smart. Okay, let's try the secret fish tunnel. I wonder if the water tank is connected to the outside. It can pour into a river, okay? <laughs> Let's say that it is. Still, it's not big enough for someone to swim through it. What if they're really small? Did you see Gray Man? Right. His cheeks would never fit into that tank. <laughs> oh god, I'm fucking up so bad, dude. What even is left? The chair? Okay. I can move it like this, too. <laughs> oh, the vent? Oh, yeah, there was, like, the thread thing or whatever right here. Uh, it said it wasn't big enough for anybody to fit through, but... Um... Is it really the chair? I don't know. I'm literally gonna go through every option. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Thank you. In our China 20 rows, they hit her with the fish tank. <laughs> Maybe they did. Maybe they did. <laughs> Objection. His cheeks would never th fit through this vent. Okay. I'm just gonna try the fucking chair. 
<laughs> I don't even care anymore. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> At least it doesn't take off that many points, right? Around here. Good for those. Thank God we got those vitality. <laughs> you can't escape from here. <laughs> you can't escape from here, Weeby. <laughs> Stop trying to make chair cun work. Okay, let's try the vent, maybe. It's just weird that they were like, oh, it can't be the vent or the door. It's too small for someone to pass through here. <laughs> yes, and it looks like the bars are screwed shut from the inside. So you can't escape through there. Just rubbing it in now. You just rub it in. You don't have to give me all the reasons why. You don't have to give me all the reasons why, okay? <laughs> I don't have to explain it in excruciating details. You you don't have to. Oh god, I can click on the chair again. Is it is just the door left? Is it just the fucking door? God. This has to be the spot. If they just emphasize the door in the vent so much, like, oh, it can't be there. Like, so I just thought it wouldn't be there. To leave the room, oh, the God. culprit had to have taken this door to the hallway. Huh? There's nothing special about that. But there's no other possibility. There isn't another entrance or exit. <laughs> But the door itself was locked and the key was found under the corpse, right? After locking it from outside in the hallway, how did the culprit enter the room and put the key under the corpse? Try it. Everything must be verified. Uh, sure. I'm starting to wonder if I should just time out people who are rude, honestly. <laughs> After committing the crime, the culprit went out to the hallway with the key in hand. They then lock the door. Assuming that's the only way to create this locked room, the problem is... What are you going to do with that key in your hand, Master? Don't tell me you still have no idea. Oh, hold on, let me think this over. We should go back inside for now. Uh huh? Looks like we're locked out. Hmm. Those auto lock doors. This is bad, Master! You better hurry or you'll fall into the abyss! What do I do? Calm down. You just need to solve the mystery. Doing that will open the path. You can do it, can't you? D yes, I'll try. Um okay. you have to put the key back in the locked room, right? In that case... I guess the culprit, who... What happened to the key? Oh, thrown away, taken home. What? Thrown, thrown in? Right. Oh, through the vent. The ah, key yeah, of course. The through the gap in the vent cover above the door. And if they managed to throw the key right under the corpse from here... Okay. I don't think it underneath them, though. Is it underneath them? At the end of the... The end of it or whatever i think so it stopped but nothing happened the door is still closed if it was wrong a trap would have activated so we're on the right track about the key being thrown in okay but there's more to it than that if you simply threw it in it'd be impossible to position it under the corpse there was some kind of like thread or something they used because there was like the marks on there but maybe some kind of like wire or something i see so this is the vital clue for this locked room. I'm beginning to understand what happened here. Thank you, Dabbler Dragon. Now you too. Good job, Hajime. People do use door sleepers. <laughs> if only we had Kamida here to, <laughs> to be passive aggressive towards me. <laughs> Did you use your ultimate reserve course talent for that? <laughs> oh, I miss him. <laughs> Lara. Have you already solved the trick to this locked room? You haven't? Hey, quit 
trying hard to get and tell us. Or just me. You can must If you want information from me, you'll have to pay a fitting price in Xi'an. Of course, I don't work for cheap. You really are a devil! Trying to take money from a death god, huh? The key was definitely tossed inside. But that doesn't explain how it got under the corpse. So, how did the culprit pull off that trick after tossing the key in? Maybe the corpse was moved? That would explain how it was on top of the key. I guess... Maybe that would explain the blood stains, but how would they how would they do that? Because the blood stains are weird. That's definitely a big part of the mystery. But how do you move a body from outside a locked room? Hmm. Oh god. Is he gonna show up again? Aww, the way's completely blocked off. Is he walk through the door? <laughs> oh, then nobody can use a door to enter a room! Are you serious, Yuma? But the only things here that can block our progress are mysteries, right? I like that I didn't even try to actually come up and uh, <laughs> refute this one. He's like, okay, yeah, maybe they did use the door. <laughs> you got me there, Yuma. You got me there. That's true. So, we just need to solve the mystery. Uh-oh. At least give me a heads up first. How is the corpse moved? It says, how was the corpse moved? I'm really not sure, honestly. <sighs> Do... Block tower. That's weird. These don't have a. Uh, I guess. Oh, I guess it's because these were at um like the church, so they're not like at a you know specific place. Mansion. Into the study. Victim's neck. Being strangled with a rope. Oh yeah, he did have like a thinner rope, only marked visible by the back of the neck. I guess that has something to do with it. But I'm not really sure what exactly. Doll with gouged out eyes. I don't really understand how this is connected still. Thin string rubbed against the inner corner of the eyes. I guess how huh, they use this also with the string to move the key slash body <laughs> slash. <laughs> Laura provided a crime scene in the mansion. I guess this will probably be important too. I'm trying to think of how this all... Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. So, there was a string, I guess, in the doll. And then they led it to, like, I guess, kind of connect through the vent. That way... <sighs> I feel like I'm kind of getting it, but I don't know how to explain it. I don't... <laughs> I don't know exactly how to explain it, but I think, uh... They kind of like trolleyed him with like a string connected from the doll to the vent above the door. But I don't know exactly how everything else uh, goes for it. I've been trying to figure it out for a while, but evidence was left at the scene. Huh? If you look at the evidence, you'll understand what tool the culprit used to pull this off. Tool? That's all the advice I'll provide. You must figure out the rest yourself if you wish okay. to be a true detective. Try to figure out the tool. It says string, but I feel like it would make more sense if it was a wire, but I guess it could be string just because, um, whatchamacallit. It's the victim's neck. Thinner rope marks. And then, yeah, it kind of says the same thing. So just like a thin rope slash string, basically. Uh, where's that creepy ass doll? Yeah, thin string. Uh, got it. Got it? You just want the mystery solved for you, huh? I can tell, because I'm your mentor. I mean, Alara's here, why not? So, I'll help you out. Are you ready? You ready? Would it have killed Halara to just walk towards the door for me, you know? Give me a hint. Huh? Ready for what? Lay it all out, master! Uh oh, God. <laughs> now! It's okay. It's okay. I can do it. I believe in myself. Let me take a picture of uh, of the instructions for this one, just in case. Sometimes I kind of forget the buttons. I think it has it at the side, but I don't know how long the time frame is going to be. Shinigami puzzle! 
I'm so predisposition to not like this mini game. I used a one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, grab solution key. Doll with eyes gouged out. Victim's neck. I mean, I think yeah, either of these is gonna be fine. Let's get a hint from her. You can do it, master. <laughs> What sort of marks were on the edge of the doll's eye sockets? S T R I N G. Oh, is it string? S T R I N G. Kind of seems like it. Did I make this go faster? <laughs> okay, it's going a little too slow. That's right. Yay! Maybe I shouldn't have equipped that. <laughs> this is going really slow. Okay, where's the R? <laughs> Can I speed it up? That's right. Go, go, go. Any moment now. Oh, I can back out. That's kind of cool. Right. In. Angie. Spelling's fun. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything to fast forward. <laughs> I might unequip that ability later. <laughs> oh, that one was a little, a little too slow. <laughs> String. No, I didn't fast forward with R. It just like zoomed me out. Cause I tried it. Cause that's what it does for. You can use R to fast forward through the other mini game, but uh, yeah, not for this one. It just like zoomed me out. Right. There was evidence of a thin string being used at the scene of the crime. A sturdy and thin string like a fishing line must have been used to move the body. You really think a tiny string could move a whole corpse? <laughs> Why didn't you show up for the door thing, Seth? There he is again. That I mean... really gloomy guy. I think it made way more sense for the chair. That deduction is wrong. You're wrong? What could be wrong about it? Master sounded really confident just now. Listen, the nails in that corpse's leg pierced through his body and into the floor, which means the corpse was fixed in place. So how could the corpse be moved? We'll see. It has to definitely do with the nails, like some of them sticking out and some of them not. Oh, true. If the corpse was stuck in place, it'd be impossible to move it. Okay, let me autoplay this for a little bit. Can I? Indeed. I don't know how to do that. It would be impossible. Alara, you think so too? So I was wrong the whole time? Okay, we're back at this minigame. Okay. Huh? The door! The truth is slipping further away! Of course it is. Because your deduction is wrong. <laughs> you people will never reach the truth. This is the end. You know why his hair is so big? It's full of secrets. Master, let's take him down first. It, yeah. Of course, walking through a door would be impossible for Seth's hair. That's so true. <laughs> How could you just fit through this door so easily? <laughs> oh, Seth. Such a goober. I do like his little, his little spin. His little twirl. It's cute. Okay, doll with eyes. Okay, I don't wanna... Doll with eyes gouged out. Bloodstains on corpse. Keeping either of these, honestly. String rubbed. It's probably gonna be this one, though, if I had to guess. Door to door key to study. The key of the mansion study. There are no copies of this master key. It was found underneath the body. It feels like that's just gonna hurt us. <laughs> honestly, in our uh, deduction, but we'll see. Of this for now. Your deduction is wrong. 
Do you have any proof that the corpse was moved? The corpse was fixed in place. It was fixed in place. Hmm. It didn't move a millimeter. Give it up, ludicrous, such a mouth. In fact, that corpse shows no sign it was ever moved. Shows a new sign. Oh, it's that one, isn't it? Okay, I'll come That's back. That's an later. indisputable fact. Okay. Right. Um, just like you said, when we viewed the scene through post cognition, the body was fixed in place. What? In order to create a locked room, it would have been necessary to move the body. Then... In that case, there might be some evidence beneath something being moved. Let's check the solution key. Your okay, is it still set? Because that one time it didn't set the same one. Okay, so yeah. Action is wrong. It's wrong. I like his voice. Do you have any proof that the corpse was moved? Ooh. The corpse was fixed in place. It didn't move a millimeter. Stop, ludicrous. Give it up. Shut your mouth. In fact, that corpse. Shut your damn mouth. Shows no sign it was ever moved. Right here. Yay! Flash through this mystery. Let's go! <sighs> nice. <laughs> Hit him right in the hair where it hurts. No, there was evidence the body had been moved. The upper and lower parts of the body bled out differently. The blood from the lower body flowed naturally outwards along the body's outline. But blood from the upper body looks like it flowed in a downward direction. This is so weird. Hips. I still don't really know exactly how that happened, but if I guess we'll see. If the corpse was motionless on its back, there wouldn't be such unusual blood stains. In other words, it's safe to assume the body's position was different from when it was discovered. <laughs> oh. Baby, 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 baby. Trying to get a good look. I better look at his poses back there. Twirl! Come on, you're really gonna edit out the twirl, Seth? Oh god, there's three of them? What? What's this? <laughs> ah, gross! We gotta hurry and get through that door! I cannot deal with any more bad hairdos! Unusual circumstances. Ooh. Interesting. That's kind of cool. As long as the corpse was pinned to the floor, it's like some ASMR. It Okay, she Seth. Change the truth. Talk to me, baby. Even this didn't work? Am I just wrong about it all? No, you're correct. The answer you've reached using the evidence is the truth. Alara! There's no doubt a fine string was used in this case. Evidence at the crime scene indicate the corpse was moved. So all that remains is to answer, how was the pin body moved? Mm -hmm. Yeah a tight kind of thing. Oh, actually, I guess like, um, so there was like the rope around his neck, like from the strangulation. Maybe they tied it to that since there was like one mark on his neck. So yeah, I guess it was by the neck and then just attached to the rope they strangled him with. I think so. That bizarre blood stain holds really the know clue to all of this. Exactly how they would, I don't know, word that, I guess, for a minigame though. The blood stain? If the blood stain is the clue for how the body could be moved, even while pinned... Master, we gotta chase after the door! It's getting further away! The, the, hey, <laughs> wait! I won't let you! I was like, girl, you can just fly. Why don't you just carry us? <laughs> the whole time! Okay. Let's just press buttons, basically. What position was the corpse in before it was moved? Um, it was upside down, upper body sitting up. Yeah! Woo! Oh yeah, got one of them. Get wrecked. That's right. The Get wrecked, cabbage was man. Up at first. That's why only the wounds in the upper half of the body bled straight down. Yeah. Not really sure they nailed it afterwards, but figure it out as we go. <laughs> what was used to sit the body upright? A thin string, a wall, a cardboard, thin string. Yeah, I was like, I think so. Yeah! The string I mentioned before was thin but sturdy. It was all over the room, holding the body's upper half in place. That's the reason only the corpse's neck had marks Bail. on it. 
Yeah. Last one! Why was the corpse lying on its back at the time of discovery? When it, it was moved when discovered, the string was retrieved. It was moved when discovered, the string was cut. The string was retrieved? I think? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Wasn't totally sure about that one. The culprit then retrieved all the string that kept the corpse in place from outside the door. And with nothing to support it, the top half of the corpse fell back to the floor. Just like how it was discovered. Okay, I just kind of positioned it to where it would fall right on top of the key. Thank you, Marcus Bullock. Seth preparing to raid Area 51. <laughs> for real. Thank you for the dono. <laughs> you definitely do be in this alien era, huh? <laughs> yeah, alien Pokemon sort of thing going on. Got that drip. That Pokemon alien drip. It oh, actually, what's that one Pokemon? The mystery will finally be solved. I think it's Ralts, actually. Kind of... It kind of reminds me of that in general, just because he's like green, he's kind of alien-like, he's got a big head. I think his evolution, or their evolution was kind of nice though. Gets that like dress and starts slaying. Huh? When did that happen? Maybe you're supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Master, you know the answer, right? Let's finish this! Right. Oh, recreate the locked room? Uh... You gotta think like the culprit, master! Oh! Think about how the culprit created a locked room and follow the same steps to complete the room. Okay. What place is suspicious? Inspect items following the sequence of events. Some of the items weren't used in the crime, so be careful. Huh. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this one goes. Culprit created. I don't know. I just feel like it's not being very descriptive on uh, exactly. I don't know. Following the sequence of events. Okay. So I mean, corpse sit upright with the. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fail you this one, but we'll see. The culprit's locked room mystery. Yeah, recreate the culprit's process to create a locked room mystery. Okay. We just do it in order of how it goes. I think technically it would be like the body was upright with the string. I don't really know. I guess the desk lamp did move too, so maybe that's a part of this somehow. Was the projection really not important at all? Yuma, you have to recreate the locked room to prove you solved the mystery. Okay, I get it, guys. You already know the answer. All that's left is to retrace the steps. Simple, no? Okay, well, I'll just click on the corpse first. Maybe you got the order wrong. Stay calm. Collect your thoughts. First, okay. you need to tie the fishing line down. Find a sturdy spot okay. where it can be easily retrieved later. Okay, tie the fishing line down. Oh my god, really? Damn. Um, does she mean like a tie it down? I guess what we tied what if we tie down the doll first or the vent first? It's gotta be one of those. Maybe the doll, I think. Somewhere sturdy. I feel like the vent might be more sturdy than the doll, though. I'm trying to think. Uh, it's gotta be one of these. I might just cover up the chat while I do this. First, a knot was tied through a slip. After okay. that, the fishing line was drawn away to another location. In terms of sequence, it'd probably be easier to start with things that are fixed in place. Okay, so next the doll. Let's have to go to the next place it was tied to. That's it. Yeah. It passed through a doll's eye. Uh, so creepy. I guess. Oh uh, yeah, they did say it was sturdy or two. Line passed through the eye to somewhere else. Okay. Hmm. Actually, was it then passed to the desk lamp? And then it kind of just makes like a triangle, maybe? I could see that being the case. Now that I think about it, we'll see. No, there's no need uh, for the line to go there. You proved that yourself. Stay calm and you. gather your faults. The line your thoughts. Also, the we're gonna. Of the body up. Also, we're gonna punish you for this mistake. But stay calm. Stay calm. You got this. You got this, King. <laughs> oh? So the marks on that doll's eye were made from the line passing through it. So what else? So that might be the lamp since it moved, but... 
corpse. I guess maybe the corpse next? I don't think there's anything else it could have been tied to besides that. Nah, not the painting, right? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe, let's try the corpse. Right. The line was then passed around a certain point on the corpse. That was... Oh, under the neck. Yeah. Here, behind the neck. The line ends here to support it. Now, it's clear that the line passed through the vent, the doll's eye, and ended beneath the neck. Hang on. Why pull a line through the doll first? Can't you just start by pulling it from under the body? To support the body's weight, the line needs to pass through the doll first, as it was fixed in place. Next, the fishing line. Okay. Oops. I'm not totally sure about what's next. Mm. Can I get more information if I click on this, or is it just gonna punish me? I think it might just punish me, honestly. Can I look at it? Okay, let me look at this again. That's nice, I can look at this. The line was then passed around a certain point on the corpse that was beneath the neck. The vent doll's eye and ended beneath the neck. Hang on, why pull the line through the doll first? Can't you just start by pulling it from under the body? So where the body's weight, the line needed to pass through the doll first as it was a fixed place. Next, the fishing line. <laughs> okay, there wasn't really too much of a hint. Um, it can't be quite back here yet. Is this when it goes to the lamp? <laughs> Is the lamp ever used? Uh, did they say anything? Did she say anything like, don't fucking click on the lamp again, Yuma? <laughs> when I chose that before? There's no need for the line to go there. Stay calm and try to gather your thoughts. To prove that yourself already, the line was propped. The line is what propped the upper part of the body up. Okay. Can you give me a hint, bestie? The line passed through the vent and doll to the corpse in that order. Correct so far. Keep going. Keep going, slave. <laughs> Keep going. I don't even think there is there any anything over here that I can do. I was trying to think, maybe. I kind of want to click on the lamp again, but I don't know. Fuck it. There are three points with signs of wear from the line. Think it over one more time. One more time. Signs of wear from the line. Wait, what'd she say? Three points. Three points. So it just goes back to the vent? Is that it? Or does she mean three objects? I don't really remember there being like, I can't look at solution keys or anything. Why is there anything here? I don't think. I don't think there was anything for the painting. I might just go back to the vent. And then they do something else, maybe? I just feel like it shouldn't be the vent, just because, you know, I feel like they should be the last one. Ah, uh, fuck it. Now, to return the line to the vent. This okay. kept the corpse's upper torso in place. The room has been completely prepared. So next... Okay, next you just leave. <laughs> just say deuces. <laughs> Peace out, dead body. Nice knowing ya. The culprit exited through the door and locked it with the key. Okay. And then... Okay. The door gap, the vent gap, the culprits... <laughs> the culprit took it home! <laughs> the key was thrown souvenir. through the gap in the vent. If the culprit managed to drop the key next to the corpse, the only thing left was to untie the line. Then... corpse, which was supported only by the line, would fall face up on top of the key. That's how the culprit created the locked room. Hooray! You did it! That's my master! Yay! Okay. Yeah, locked room complete! Nice. Cool, cool. Okay, so that was it for that one. That one was definitely longer than the first two. <laughs> We'll see how the other room goes. I wonder if there's gonna be more the after these sections, though. 
the length of the nails driven into the upper and lower body were different. The nails on the upper half didn't penetrate all the way through the body, but the nails on the lower half went all the way through and into the floor. That was how the lower half could be secured, while the upper half could still be moved around. I guess he wasn't really like, nailed into the ground at all. He just like, had the nails in his body too. Cause that was like one of the things that was throwing me off, but I guess that makes sense. Thank you, uh, Oprah. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by Oprah. I know you have a very busy schedule. So the lamp is the new refrigerator. I don't know if it's quite a new refrigerator uh, <laughs> worthy, meme worthy, but we'll see. That sure was tricky, but you managed to solve the mystery behind. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was kind of a red her herring. That and the painting. The painting really did kind of throw me off just because I felt like the fact it was like bent slightly really meant something. Especially if there being like a secret exit, but. <sighs> Looks like we finally made it to the treasure chest. I guess another thing about a secret tunnel would just be kind of a cop out. <laughs> Speaking of, don't you think that whoever worked the hardest should get to open it? Which is me, of course. So the nail, with the legs were nailed down, upper body wasn't. So I guess it was just they lifted up his torso. I kind of think I remember seeing that now. I don't know. This is probably another clue leading to the culprit. I'm not sure how we use it. Still, it must be used for something. Hold on to it for now. Flame tornado. Another creepy ass doll. Free. Let's Yay. solve the rest. Fly, girlies. Be free, please. Please fly, please fly somewhere far, far away from me. Right. Okay, third option. Can I, can I save, actually? Just in case. I don't think it'll happen, knock on wood, but our apartment did recently kind of have issues with, like, I don't the power going off, so... <laughs> Just in case! Let's save. Okay. Option three. I don't know at all where, <laughs> where they exited from whatsoever. What was the newest one we got? The fishing line. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one, obviously. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, and large image? Well, if you say so. <laughs> well, if you say so, I guess I'll enlarge it. Yeah, I need to really uh, capture in the, uh, the details about this, uh, this part of the case. Fishing line was used in the locker room mystery of the mansion study. Fishing line was tied to a slit in the vent. Passed through the eye socket of a doll behind the neck. Blah, blah, blah. I think I got it. Just want to double check. The <laughs> third locker twitching. room was a murder that happened one month ago in the art gallery storage in Ginma district. Pictures and paint were scattered all around the spot where a woman was boom killed. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. <sighs> I'm trying to think of what they could do in the art gallery. <laughs> now I'm thinking of like, uh, let me see. I might look at the solution keys a little bit. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't be mean to them. They're just little dolls, you know, they can't help it. Paint on the floor, window gap, door key, nail on the painting, nails are the portrait, perhaps. There's no like, thread on that, right? Sort of the head. Evidence found related to the murder in the art gallery. A doll nailed to a cloth canvas. Nailed from the head. Another in the chest. Keep the room is also nailed on there. Okay, wait. Doll's nailed. One nail is driven to the head. Another into the chest. The key to the room is also nailed on with the nail in the chest. I'm like trying to think of how they would maybe leave the room and then like somehow attach the key to the doll. Now that we did that last one, I'm just kind of thinking in like similar, uh, <laughs> in a similar way. God, I have no clue. Unless they just literally got an extra key. Uh, all I know is if they ask me, I'm clicking on the door. <laughs> they just walked right on out. <laughs> the third locked room was a murder that happened. One month ago in the art gallery storage, pictures and paint, if you think you're up for are you going to the... Okay. Let's try it! Ah, yes. If only we could see Art Gallery Man again. Oh, king. What a king. <laughs> that deep voice. Yeah, you know, I just found this corpse. 
Oh gosh. Oh, our gallery man. You will always uh, be famous. Did we get stuck inside a locked room again? This was the corpse that was discovered by that worshiper and the art gallery employee. At the time of discovery, the door was locked and the key was nailed to a doll inside the room. Aside from the door, the only other entrance is the window, but it opens just enough to fit a finger in. The frame itself is too small for even a child to squeeze through. How did the culprit vanish from here? Clicking on that door, baby! <laughs> Man. <laughs> it's probably not since it was a door for the last one, but I don't know where the hell they went. God, that window is tiny, dude. Okay, let's just try not to overthink it so much. What even is this right here? It's gotta be one or the other, right? Should I do the win? I don't know, I'll just do the door first, fuck it. Here. Oh, really? Oh my god. It's so simple yet. Here, but... <laughs> cool! <laughs> Note to self, always click on the door. Hmm. Nothing's happening. Maybe you made a mistake, Master. No, that can't be right. It's impossible for anyone to squeeze through that window. They could have only gotten out through the door. I'm sure the culprit had the key and locked the door from the outside after committing the crime. Okay. The culprit just used a copy of the key? Would that really be considered a locked room mystery? That's what I was thinking, dude. I was like, I feel like this one should not count as a locked room mystery if that's the case. Well, there are only two keys to the storage space, and the design makes them impossible to duplicate. I was wondering that. I was like, can they just, like, duplicate it secretly? <laughs> like... Would that really be that hard to do? But I guess it's like special design. Thank you, Dabbler Dragon, Halara. Tell them, Coco Head, basically. That is kind of what they've been doing this whole chapter. I learned that thanks to you, Halara. But like in a more slay way than Tagami, you know? One of the keys is always carried by that one employee. It was used when the body was first discovered, right? And the only other key was nailed through a doll onto a painting. Don't you dare accuse art gallery employee. So, it is a locked room mystery! Right? Right? Oh, that's totally it. I see. I suppose you could call it that. Hey, Yuma. Can you go check outside of that window? Oh, just like before. Before? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess they don't remember that. Yeah. You made me do the same thing in the real world when we were investigating this place. Is <laughs> that face? I see. Then the answer has already been confirmed. Very well. Hmm. This locked room is solved. I got it! Huh? Wait, did you already solve this mystery? You haven't? Um... How about you go and check outside the window? Then even you will see. Oh, can I? Oh, it unlocked! Okay, Looks like cool. you can go outside! Alright, let's go see. Well, I did this before and I didn't notice anything, so... <laughs> I'm sure I'll notice this time, though. Come on. This time. What are you gonna find outside the window? If Hilara knows the answer, why not just tell us? Well, I su I'm supposed to be the one solving mysteries. Besides, getting the answer from Hilara will cost me a bunch of money. Do you have money to pay for that, huh, Shinigami? Zero money. Zero pride. Zero memory. Poor triple O master. It's so sad. Come on. Come on! Beats me. Go check outside the window. Even you should be able to figure out the truth. All right. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> Does not instill any confidence in me. No need to worry. Just believe in yourself. Or believe in the me that believes in you. I like this transition. This one's really nice. It's pretty. Very aesthetic, you know? Hey, didn't you already check this in the real world? Why do it again? Halara told me to check it twice. There must be an important clue outside that window. Hey! Maybe the culprit threw the key in through the window. In that way, the key would be found inside. Yeah, I was like, would they be able to fit the doll through the window? It is nailed into the painting, though. I guess it's the only weird thing, but that was kind of my thought, but we'll see. Well, how about that theory? 
Yep. He's back! Or is he? Ah, oh, no, she's the key. <laughs> How could somebody use a door? A storage key? Which means... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. I thought I was clear this time. Because the culprit, what happened this to the key? Hmm. What happened to the key? I was right. Just toss it in there, master. The culprit threw the key inside? Is that really the right answer? Did the culprit throw the key in from the window? I don't know if throw would be the right word. I'm like, is there another wire? We didn't see any wire marks, though. I feel like that's just where my brain's gonna go to now. Master, oh, yes? Okay, I guess so. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh, it's still coming down. Oh. Um. <laughs> I was stressed, okay? Master, hurry up and throw the key! Apparently I'm not supposed to! <laughs> oh You're man. You're gonna fall. Bing chillin'. Bing chillin'. Huh, I guess you don't always have to press it. That's the right answer? Hmm. How? Didn't the culprit throw the key in there? That's why the key was found inside, right? Yeah, but it was like secured. I just got stressed. No, the crime scene wouldn't end up like that if we threw it in. The key was nailed to a painting. That's not possible if you just throw it into the room. Oh, right. But if the culprit didn't throw it in there, how is the key left in the room? Hmm. If you can't nail the key after throwing it. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, <laughs> not again. Oh, no. <sighs> either way you fall. Oh, oh, you just fall back in, interesting. Uh, You're back. The key vanished. Mm. The key is in my hand. Oh, the hell? Master, you got the doll in nail! I see. The dirty doll. So you're supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Try it out. Doing so will create a new path. Yeah, I'm gonna solve this. Okay, we're we doing that other mini game again. Just to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Good luck, master. I will try. <laughs> recreate the locked room. I can definitely you have try. To recreate the culprit's locked room mystery. First, do something about that doll. Okay, where is the doll at? It seems like I'm supposed to click that first, right? Where'd she go? Just recreate what you deduced earlier. Follow the steps the culprit took to create the locked room mystery and check those locations. I thought she said to click the doll, but I don't see it anymore. Oh, steel ladder. Interesting. Never saw that before. It's probably a red herring. I do not see the doll at all. At all. Doll. Doll at all. Use everything you know and recreate the locked room. <laughs> you should already have the answer. You should already have it. All you don't. is to follow the steps one at a time. You fool. It's that simple. Well, if I can't find the doll, I guess I'll just click on the vent. Or technically it would be the door. Since, like, walk out first. Because, yeah, you would lock the door... Okay, wait. Okay, would it be the door first, actually? Because, yeah, they walked out the door, went to the window, got the doll. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't have the doll because you're holding it? Okay, I guess I'll just try this then. There are a few things you have to do, but first, wasn't the doll you just obtained used somewhere? Okay. I think it is the door then, I think. Unless it's the painting? I guess it was used on the painting, is that it? Okay. All right, first, take the painting. Prop the painting up against the wall next to the window, nail the key to the painting, nail the doll to the painting. Doll to the painting? The culprit nailed the doll onto the painting. Next, both were stood up at a certain location. 
both were what, set up at a certain location. I thought they were just here right now, right? We're stood up at a certain location. What? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep clicking on the window, honestly. <laughs> I don't know, man. Huh. I thought it just looked like this, you know, when we first got there. Stood up. Stood up at a certain location. Ah, screw it. Let's try this again. That's good. The painting was stood up facing the window. Now the part with the pierced oh, doll okay, is so right next it. to the window. Oh, that ma- ah, duh. Okay, that makes sense. So you nail it, then you put the nail- Oh, okay. Okay. After that, then you just push it over. Okay. It's actually pretty smart. I underestimated you, art gallery. Art gallery person. Wouldn't they- yeah, just push it? Wall with a window? Wouldn't it just be that one again? Wait, what did he say? He wants to face the window. The part with the pierced doll is right next to the window. After that... Do I have to leave? To go, uh, I guess maybe the door, so I leave to go push it, right? Then the culprit went outside. The door was locked, and they went to the other side of the storage room. Okay, cool. <laughs> Click over here. The wall. They definitely use that wall. I can see the painting and doll through the window, but I can barely fit my hand through the gap. The doll's got a nail in it, but the problem is that key in your hand, Master. Yeah, the culprit took the key and then... I throw it in the window, nailed to the painting with the doll, hung a nail stick. Hung on a nail stuck in the doll, nailed to the painting, wait, yeah, nailed to the painting with the doll, right? The culprit nailed the key to the painting <laughs> along with the doll from outside the window. That clue took me, that clue took me forever to figure out. For me, it was the door. <laughs> Finally. I could see that though. This is pretty, this is definitely a pretty big brain strategy, you know? Oh. What's the last thing the culprit did? Knock the painting towards the room. Pulled out the nail. Knock the painting. I push the painting into the room. Smart, smart, smart. It completes the locked room mystery. Yeah. This is how the culprit did it. That is a really smart way to make a locked room mystery. Interesting. Locked room complete. I think the door thing, I just like overthink stuff so much. I'm like, there's no way it's just the door. <laughs> you know? It took some time, but you've reached the truth behind this locked room. Throwing the key through the window would be obvious. So to mislead us into thinking that was impossible, the key was nailed to a painting, which was then pushed over. It's one thing for an amateur, but a detective wouldn't be tricked by this. Seriously, only amateurs would get fooled by... <laughs> by... <laughs> Wait, you mean me? <laughs> you trying to roast me here? I didn't think of it going down like this for a second. Generally until the game outright told me. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. I literally clicked every option before just the freaking door. <laughs> oh man. It'd be like that sometimes, you know? Who's gonna open this one? We should let the meanest one of us open it. <laughs> Gray man got massive brain and massive cheese. A double threat, How man. How did you decide that? Next you're gonna say you dance to triple threat. Like this. <laughs> I'm the meanest. Let's check out this treasure. Huh? What's wrong? It's empty. Huh? Why? Mm. After all we went through to solve this locked room. Get something wrong? This must mean solving the third locked room mystery doesn't necessarily bring us any closer to the ultimate truth. That's terrible. I suddenly feel so tired. Mm. We can't call it quits. We gotta keep going. Hey, we did it! I'm still not really sure 
That's it for all no. the locked rooms. I still kind of think my theory about them all committing one of the crimes each, but we'll see here. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. It's kind of hard to know, but I feel like all the church people are kind of suspicious. I honestly, if I was to choose, if there is just one culprit, I would say it's the nun. If I was to choose anybody. But we'll we see. make a pretty good team, don't you think so? <sighs> well, what do we do from here? Here we go. I see. The way forward is clear. It must be due to solving all of the locked room mysteries. Now let's go. <laughs> it's weird seeing these dolls flying. Wee! Right. Wee! Again, I gotta ask, who's supposed to be the protagonist here? Fly, fly, little dollies, until the mystery labyrinth's destroyed later. You got like an hour, probably. Okay. You gotta say, Hilara. I see. The way forward is clear. It must be due to solving all of the locked room mysteries. Now let's go. Okay. Let's try it. <laughs> Sora never slept, and I guess Yuma won't either. That is so true. Materialization of a mystery and building block of the mystery labyrinth that possesses no intelligence. This place is creepy. Oh. Huh. Don't be afraid to roll Castle. the dice. You must keep pursuing the truth. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect abduction. Do be pretty Isn't creepy. That right? Yes. <laughs> Yuma sleeps on the couch. His poor back. <laughs> poor little Yuma. On a submarine of all things. Cannot be comfortable. You're getting seasick. And right after. <laughs> oh gosh, right after all that news, too. Poor boy, he can't sleep. Oh, I guess I have to is choose a culprit now? Dungeon? What is the meaning of this? Let me out of here. Let me out! I'll kill your ass in the name of God! I, I have <laughs> nothing to do with the case. I'm not the culprit! Let me go! Wow, they're all here! So now we must pick out the true culprit of this case. Okay, I guess it is supposed to be based off the church then, this building. The true culprit? Yuma, you solved all the locked room mysteries before you made it here. You should have all the clues and evidence you need to accuse the culprit. I feel like, I don't know, the only thing we really learned about the culprit was that like, they're smart, they got, they got cake. They could fit through the vent. Like the other ones didn't really reveal too much about them. Like physically, I don't think. I still, I think the nun makes the most sense, but we'll see. To be honest, when I first met you, I thought you were rather pitiful. <laughs> okay, thanks. You don't have to go through all this. <laughs> you sure are honest. But my opinion of you has improved. These mysteries have brought you closer to becoming a true detective. I do think the nun would slay the most if she was the culprit, so maybe that's another reason why. <laughs> why and I just want to see her look. Now tie up all her the loose ends and prove that I am not mistaken about you. With your logic, anything is possible. I hope you're prepared for disappointment. All right, I'll try. Ooh, somebody's guilty. Oh. My heart's <laughs> is it showing her because that she actually is it? Who's the culprit? Figure it out and hit him with a dramatic finger point. Make the right choice and you'll reveal a new truth. Move left, move right, confirm. Okay. Is that it? Ah, <laughs> oh, Yuma looks so cute over there, his little smile. Oh, I guess you guys can't actually see it. Wait, let me move down. Hey, he's so cute. Look at him. He's smiling. Cheesing. Okay. Who is... The Nail Man. I'm not the Nail Man. Hmm. I, I'm not the culprit. That's what they all say. I, I'm not the Nail Man. How can I be the Nail Man? I, I'm not the Nail Man. <laughs> I feel like Yuma might get sadder the more health you lose, because he's not quite as happy in mine. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not 
the nail man? I don't know. I'm gonna go with her. I think she's the most suspicious. I, I'm not the culprit. But I don't really How can like. I, be the nail? I, I don't really know I, if I have that good of reasons. I, I'm not the culprit. I'm if not it's the, not her, I'll probably I, guess I'm the priest. The nail man. Ah, no. Mm -hmm. Make me kill your ass. <laughs> I, it was a compliment, girl. It was a compliment. Did you see, Gray Man? <laughs> he looks so good. So far, <laughs> only one person can be the nail man. It was a compliment, girly. Okay. I'm not the nail man. Okay. I, it was a compliment. I'm not the culprit. Okay. I'll try the priest. Okay. It is the priest. The culprit is you, father. Wh what? That's an absolutely. Somebody kind of just suspected him just because he was like the priest, you know? Oh, oh my god. How could a priest do this? Ridiculous thing to say. And I thought you were a Kenji stan, Yuma. Him again? Why won't he just give up? <laughs> You're saying the priest, a man of the cloth, oh, is the actually. culprit. That's Ooh. impossible. I didn't really think of like the political reasons for why they would want to cover it up. It does make way more sense, yeah, if the priest did it. Cause yeah, I was like, why is Seth even trying to like cover this mystery up? But yeah, it makes sense if it's like a higher up position. How dare you spew such nonsense? Right. Do not make baseless accusations. The culprit has to be someone else. Yuma, can I leave this to you? It's not a baseless accusation. You're the only one who could possibly be the culprit. Zahoge is all angry. Master, you're acting like a real detective. Go on and boom kill him. Uh oh, you're getting ready to slay? Don't disappoint me. Oh, okay. Interesting choice. The blue hair, okay. Okay, okay. Is that like a question mark? I think I like it. I think I like it. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, Slay. <laughs> oh my god, no fucking- That's so funny. Crocomancer, a priest? Into nails? It's like Kenji's father or something. <laughs> oh my god, Kenji's dad? Oh my god, it's an honor, sir. It's a fucking honor to meet you, sir. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Persons with access to the incinerator, vent to the study. Oh man, and thank you, uh, thank you, Romance, for the donation. And thank you, another professional. Damn, father has some serious cakes. For real. For real. I was wrong about you, father. I was wrong about you not being hot. Persons with access to incinerator. Only clergy members have access to the incinerator. The vent of the study. The vent is too small for a person to enter or exit from. There's evidence that a string or something similar scraped against the gap. Probably this one? We'll see. We'll see. I'm a man of the cloth. I think I'm loving it too, honestly. A man of the cloth? I would Doubt never. Like Doubting me. It's total blasphemy. I am not oh. a man. <laughs> I've never even seen holy nails. The first one to discover the body. In my life. The trying, to throw, is the trying to throw Markiplier into the bus. Is the worshiper? Oh, it's for that one. Oh. Okay, I see. So the name of Mammon isn't the worshiper. It's the priest, right? Yeah. And there's no doubt. We have to find a way to, pr to prove it. I'm a man of the I know. I kind of do wish that it would be kind of cool if the whole church wasn't on it. Don't need like this. But I'm happy to have another priest into nails. Oh shit. <laughs> Should not have tried to go for that. Not the mailman. That's it. I mean the nail man. The first one to discover the body. The mailman is the worshiper. Oh, ooh -doo. Hey, oh, that was a close one. <laughs> oh gosh, too busy trying to get all that noise. The bloodletter used in the clock tower's locked room was found in the incinerator, which only clergy can access. I chose the wrong one to bet on. You leave Markiplier alone, the dude. The may be a regular churchgoer, but he's no clergy member. 
Or is it Darkiplier that we named him? So he's no longer a suspect. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Ridiculous! So dramatic. <laughs> Seems like some people in the chat want to nail the priest. <laughs> oh man, it kind of giving me like a... Uh, what is that like a... Uh, um, uh, The Night Before Christmas? Is that the name of the movie or is it Nightmare Before No, it was like Night Before Christmas. Like the little, his hair, it kind of reminds me of like a, what's the like cliff in that movie? Burn the rope remains. The burnt rope remains strangely shaped. The burnt remains of a strangely shaped rope found in the church's incinerator. Victim's cause of death. There were signs of strangulation and vertical scratch marks on the victim's neck. Oh, you're totally gonna blame the servant, aren't you, you a douche? Of the church is the culprit? <laughs> what? How could that be? I am not the culprit. It must be the chubby one. There are others working for the church. <laughs> you bitch. Yes, there's the servant. Oh yeah, uh-huh, I'm sure. The servant must be the nail man. Uh-huh. The servant oh. was able to commit the crimes. Nope, he was not. Oh wait. Oh wait. Ooh, what the fuck? Ah no! The he noise! Ah! Damn it! <laughs> Pretended. Damn. Right. Was it the noise being right there that did it? Sometimes I can't really tell which way the statement's going. What? <laughs> My bad. Servant, it's possible for him to be the nail- Why, huh, Yuma? Why can't he be the nail man, huh? Fat phobia, Yuma, huh? Then... Focus on proving that next. Let's take a look at the solution keys and think it through. <laughs> like, <laughs> be kind of funny if he was like actually offended. He's like, hey, why can't I be the- Why can't I be the- The nail man, Yuma? Um, uh... Um, uh, <laughs> don't make me say it, man. Even so, I am not the culprit. There are others working for the church. Yes, there's the servant. That's kind of cool. The oh, servant shit. must be the nail man. The servant was able to commit the crimes. Okay, no. Woo. Hey, hey there we go. I don't know, maybe I just got confused <sighs> on what side I was at. Oh, he's gonna be slaying back there too. The ground casino's window with only nails for footing would require considerable agility. See, Seth, this is how you slay. You just need the power of the holy nails, man. Judging by the size of the window, there's no way someone of his size could have committed the crime. <laughs> no way, someone of his size. Huh? Fat phobic bunch you starts no, no. rebuttaling with that. No, nah, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Damn it. Non-public information, fishing line, locked room, floor plan. Okay. Non-public information. Victims were all strangled, but the cause of death was not publicized. Fishing line, locked room, floor plan of the study. Huh, I'm not really sure for this what it's gonna be. Use the locked room. The keys placement implies only someone with full use of their arms. Oh, he's gonna blame the nun next, right? Because she has a broken arm, I think, yeah. None must be the culprit. <laughs> and here I thought that was suspicious of her. She's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit. He's going crime. through every single person, huh, bro? Oh wait, no. Woo! Yeah! It's oh not shit! Like she's afraid of <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! She used the nails to call Too slow, too slow. And you know she's always safe. I'll kill your ass in the name of God. How could she do that? I would it's never. Clear she's the ruthless soul. Oh God. Hmm? Yeah, I'm asking him for the clergy and then if that's all, what? blah blah blah. Not the nail man. I can prove it. The nun must be the culprit. Blasphemy. She's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. Okay, I was like, I have the right thing cooked, right? Okay, good. <sighs> I know right said in the background. Whoop. With the megaphone. In the Manchester's locked room, the culprit tossed the key behind the corpse with perfect aim. With her dominant hand injured, the nun couldn't have done that, which means she's not the culprit. Honestly, I totally forgot that she broke her arm until just now. Oh, I love this music. So good. 
It's not the church is throwing the way off. or the nun. There's only one option left. It's you, Father, old man. It's you. You are the nail man. Uh, hey, say something quick. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll pin me as the culprit. Come on. Um, well. <laughs> uh, you're useless. I am a priest in Ooh, service to God. Here we go. Oh, that's a foolish shield. <laughs> And the voodoo dolls nailed. Oh my god, upgrade! I am not the nail man! <laughs> nail daddy! <laughs> Holy shit! <sighs> this isn't even my final form! What <laughs> well, god would make you this ugly? <laughs> Jesus! All your proof is nothing but fantasy! <laughs> the shark teeth too! I like the nails are rainbow too! You don't have a single piece of hard evidence! <laughs> a hard evidence? But Master, you do! It's easy! Based on the facts, the priest must be the culprit. The decisive evidence that proves it is... What do I do? What do I do? I'm right there with you, Yuma! It's time to get the Shinigami barrel out again! What? Once more! A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Listen. A detective isn't an arbiter of justice. Unraveling a case is top priority, <laughs> even with questionable methods. <laughs> oh, what Lord. <laughs> what do you mean? In short, we're going to kill him afterwards. You must get them so. to confess. Use everything in your arsenal, even if it requires bluffing. Oh, uh, we're going to do that, huh? Use everything? D3 energy. Don't hesitate to use anything that might give you an advantage. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. <laughs> a bluff? In other words, I should just claim I have solid evidence. I should just lie? <laughs> but that's but what wrong. What can I use as a bluff? Don't know. I never really know what these. Oh, does he not have new um, headshots for his new form? Come on, guy. You gotta upgrade those. It still is a uh, skinny form in the background. He's just like now Super Bob's like, oh, I couldn't fit through the vent, see? I'm a big boy! Okay, murder case report, st stand by me. Okay, um, murder case report. Report concerning the clock tower murder case. Suspicious footprints. Past nailman murders, nail and painting. Um, footprints? Enough with your stupid fantasies. I might need a hint for this one. Oh, shit! Everything you say is nothing but a fantasy. Oh, shit. Do you have any proof that I'm a culprit? Did you find my fingerprints? Um. Did you find my blood? Of course, there's no evidence. <laughs> because I'm nice. not the culprit. Whoo! Shit! I meant to press up. Damn. That's true. At least we don't have any hard evidence that proves the priest is the culprit. But yeah, that's right. It's just like Alara said: use whatever you had, bluff if you have to. What was the hint thing for her? Like, was it ZR or ZL? I feel like it was one of those. Enough with um, your stupid fantasies! How much do you have ready? Everything oh, shit. you say. What was that? Was that? Wait, what was that? <laughs> Wait one second. I don't know if I, uh... What did she say? How much do you have on you? Select solution key. Oh no, ZR just switches the solution keys. Is there a way? How do I get the... Do I get like a hint from her or something? Or is that not a thing? Maybe I was just, uh... Maybe I was just imagine that. <laughs> I'm not really sure. There's no evidence. Does it even matter which one? Past nail man murders. Can I use that? Like, just say we have a witness? Oh, it's her support. Oh, that's what it is. So it just makes her makes you invincible. I don't know why I thought she gave you like a uh, medal or something. I might do this instead. Just say pretend we have like a witness. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, there it is. A shield. That's cool. Oh, ha! <laughs> nice. Find my fingerprints? Did you find my blood? Of course, there's no evidence. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. So it has to be the. It has to be traces left behind. So it's the footprints. Okay. I think. You have thrown some decisive evidence. You have to throw decisive evidence in his face, even in if you fucking case. lie. In that case, how about we found what we found at the back of the clock? Oh, they're just gonna tell me. <laughs> found at the back of the clock tower. That might work. Okay, it was a thing I thought before. Cool. Um, yeah. So this one. With your stupid fantasies. The shield lost a while. I guess it's gone now, but. Is nothing but a fantasy. Oh. Oh, it changes! That was the other side last time. Did you find oh, my you're tricky! You're tricky! Did you find my blood? Look at you! Of course, there's no evidence. This is the truth. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. You left Did clear you? evidence at the clock tower's crime scene. Nobody else on the planet wears loafers, you fiend. There were footprints left <laughs> under the window in the mud. When we inspected them, we found out... Nobody in this town wears loafers, you boomer. No Gen Z would be caught dead with those. They perfectly match your footprints. It's impossible. I already burned those shoes in the incinerator. Uh, <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> uh, you gave yourself away. No, no, nail man. I like this design though a lot. It's cool. I, I swear, I the only enacted justice in the name There's of God. That. I'm gonna have to investigate his uh sprite again from the back though, and see if uh. The description of uh, the the gray man truly did match. Looks like it worked. Good job, Yuma. Thanks. Kanai Ward is rotten to the core. Mm. To save it, someone had to get their hands dirty. Okay. Oh yeah, he was talking big about that too. Like uh, he was yeah, even kind of defending the nail man. Now that I think about it, he was like, well, you know, maybe they do have a point. You know what I mean? <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know why I didn't read into that more. I just was like, oh, he's a good guy. Those slain were the evil incarnate that harmed others. That's why the people asked the mailman to kill them. Evil must be punished. And so I strangled them. Made them suffer. Jesus, dude. All I did was slay evil. He said it! Oh my god! No, 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 no. Was this made for me? A priest with holy nails slaying? You gotta be kidding me, fucking Kanaka. <laughs> what the hell? That is so funny. He just slayed. Was that so wrong? And you did slay. You, you killed Seth, okay? You, you... You're, you're fit, you're everything. Your atmosphere, your aura, you, you did it. You did it. He truly is Kinji's father. Yuma, you can't kill him. I changed my mind. I love you, Nail Daddy. <laughs> you are hot. And I won't let anybody say otherwise. <laughs> that is so fucking funny. They give that name to the Nail Man. And this priest went around killing those people as the nail man. So many weird coincidences, man. <laughs> the urban legend offered targets for murder. No, yeah, he's a hundred percent Kenji's dead. That's my, that's my, my head cannon. Priest is supposed to be the voice of God, but he went around killing people because someone wanted them dead. <laughs> what is awesome? <laughs> it's terrible. It's insane to think that he'd kill people for a reason like that. That could be said about all murders. 
Insane people kill for insane reasons. Yeah, I feel like that's especially making them suffer apart. It makes sense, too, because I didn't really see, like, the girl... I guess I don't know what she did, like, the woman who had, like, a bunch of, uh, you know, relationships and stuff. I guess she could have been having affairs with, like, married men and stuff like that, so... But I was like, if she was just promiscuous, I was like, how is that on the same level of, like, you know, exploiting people for your company and stuff like that? But I guess if I was cheating, I could see it more being, like, um, more on the same level. I would still feel like company exploitation, exploitation would be way worse. But um, I feel like usually the church would be holding that in, like, I don't know, a more, like, judgmental regard. So it kind of makes sense as a priest. Anyway, you did it, Yuma. My expectations of you weren't wrong after all. Is it finally over? Is it? Man, we had the last one was so much longer, I feel like. We had that Attack on Titan minigame and everything. Huh, nothing's happening. But last time... We still gotta defeat Cabbage Man! Yeah! The soul of the true culprit who created this mystery labyrinth should appear. He thinks he's serving, but all he has served is Cabbage Head. And since it didn't... It looks like this isn't over yet. Huh? It's not over? There are still mysteries related to the Nail Man killings within this mystery labyrinth. <laughs> but we solved all of the locked rooms and discovered the true identity of the Nail Man. I guess um, we can finally find out like why they were trying to cover for it. Like, uh, that's what I kind of want to know. Was I wrong? But uh, the priest even confessed to it. Because like... I don't really, I guess, know for sure, like, the Amaterasu's connection with the church. i definitely like to know more about Calm that. Calm down, Yuma. There's no need to panic. Poor if Yuma. If the Nail Man's identity is exposed and all mysteries are yet to be solved, then most likely someone else's agenda is involved in this string of killings. Someone else's I wonder agenda? Who. Meaning the Nail Man didn't work alone. Yep. You mean... There's another culprit? I mean, him and but... Seth were, like, all coupled up earlier. <laughs> like, you know, buddy, buddy, like, Hey, man, come on, what you... Yell at the headphones some more, Seth! They're killing me out here! Yuma, if you consider yourself to be a detective, you must see the truth through to the very end. No mystery concludes with a dead end. There is nothing we detectives cannot solve. Oh. All right. We have to review these killings from a different perspective. Okay. Would that mean if Seth is the person, like, accomplice? Well, I guess we'll see what it means by accomplice. Like, actual murder accomplice or just, like, covering it up accomplice, you know what I mean? Because he's definitely, definitely doing something. But it's kind of hard to know exactly. Oh I'm my god, we gotta go back to all of these? <laughs> Holy crap! hiding a mysterious secret. Number three, I think. It would be the room that's obviously different from the others. Different? Master, I get the feeling you want my help. Isn't that right? <laughs> that's what you want, right? I feel like you want me to say that. Huh? Oh, fine. I can't say no to you and you're so helpless like that. Okay, master. Let uh, it oh no, not the barrels. I don't I know I don't want any of that barrel shit. Please no. Oh, uh, what the I mean I think it's it's number three, right? Whatever. No, that has nothing to do with the matter at hand. Oh wait, yeah. crap, is that gonna I thought these were just hints. I thought we were gonna click on the tree instead. I guess the third locked room, I'm pretty sure. Yay! Now you gotta spell it! <laughs> And spelling is so fine. Please. It's okay, I get it. It's the third room. I don't need to spell it out. I'm good. Not with a- No! No! No, damn it! Okay, I can see if chat's really right. What did I press last time? I pressed something. Oh, I guess I pressed ZR when it did the zooming thing. Can I zoom back in? Okay. This locked room is different from the others because of the victims. I guess Chow was right about that. I guess I, twirling, yeah, I pressed the wrong button. Twirling, twirling. Locked room is different from the others because of the victims. Um, head? Injury? H E A D? I'm trying to think of the. Injury? Hit? Sefa. 
leads. <laughs> okay, let me just try to see what exactly the word. The fact that the female corpse had <laughs> corpse head had blunt force trauma. Victims injury? I N J U H E A D. Am I just born stupid? Oh, death? Is that it? Oh, wait. Crap. This X. Ah, damn it. Let me just fast forward it. Am I gonna die? <laughs> Come on! Speed up! <laughs> I don't got much time to waste here. Come on. Oh, God. <laughs> I knew I hated this mini game. Girl. Okay. A. Oh shit. No! No! Oh my god, one second <laughs> off. Damn it. Oh, I fucking hate this mini game. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, restart from last checkpoint. Ugh, stupid slow barrel, dude. I am unequipping that as soon as I can. As soon as I fucking can, Out dude. Of the form, it would be the room. Okay, <laughs> come on. Huh? I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> God. Uh, just like a second too late, dude. Oh, man. I feel like maybe... God, it's fine. Oh, God, that stupid skill. Uh. Okay. <laughs> it's still so fucking slow! <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, shit. There we go. Okay. He wanted to think it's A. <laughs> Any moment now! That's right. Yay! <laughs> Spelling's not fun, Shinigami. Okay. Go, go, go. Yay! <laughs> oh god, I cannot uh, wait to unequip that skill. <laughs> Yay! I feel like I remember when I equipped it, somebody was like, don't equip that squ skill, Weeby, and I was like, nah, it'll be good, it'll be good. Can you remove it right now? I thought I would have to wait until after the chapter was finished. Whee! A new path's opened up. If so, then the truth should be somewhere down there. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, crap. Can I really? Oh, I guess so. Just kind of assume that you wouldn't be able to remove it. Where is it? Get away from me. Get away from me. Unequip all skills. I just want to unequip that one. Oh, do I not get this one anymore? If I unequip that one? Oh, wait. Okay. I don't know what I pressed before. Weird. It was like, eh, whatever. Oh, I guess, oh, there's a quick button to do that. Okay, let me save too. <laughs> There we go. I like this forest area, it's pretty cool. I feel like I might get age restricted though for it. <laughs> let's not look let's not look up anymore. Let's look down. YouTube can be very sensitive to some kind of that kind of I stuff. See. So the cause of death for the victim at the art gallery storage is the only one that's different. Right. The victims in the other locked rooms were all strangled to death. So I guess somebody else did do that one? All had strangulation marks and scratches. Defensive wounds. The victim in the third locked room had strangulation marks, but no signs of resisting. There's also evidence of blunt trauma to the head, which can be considered the fatal blow. The marks could have been made after the victim died, so as to appear as if strangulation was the cause of death. The real cause of death is blunt force trauma. Oh, what are you, why are you doing that, girl? 
I mean, ah, uh, crap, sorry. I, sorry, Alara, I didn't mean to misgender you. I feel like, honestly, sometimes I just think of girl as like a gender neutral thing. <laughs> I say it more as like a, like, oh, oh my gosh, like, girl. <laughs> I don't know, that's always just a thing, but they just like kept appearing out of nowhere. need like a, something that hits just as hard for like males and like non-binaries non it's like the hits as hard Here's as another like girl. obstacle you know what i mean but it's likely to be an insignificant one yuma let's solve this mystery and move on right okay why was the cause of death made to look like strangulation okay why was the cause of death made to look like strangulation? The work of a copycat. The work of the priest. Coincidence. <laughs> All a fucking coincidence. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm glad some of y'all also think that. I was like, some. I don't know. Some like it shouldn't be gender neutral to me, but for some reason, I just I just like being like girl. <laughs> it's like an expletive. <laughs> Okay. The strangulation Back was here. faked to imply this crime had the same perpetrator as the other three incidents. By making the crime scene as similar as possible, it appeared like the nail man was responsible for an unrelated murder. Which means this was a copycat crime. But who? I agree. Oh, I kind of feel like it's the servant, maybe? If it's more of the church clergy we gotta look at? Oh, which it is. Oh wait! Oh my God! They put a little kid in there. <laughs> Among the string. Of <gasps> what the hell? Animals, there could be some that were done by copycat criminals. Oh wait, who is that? In the the second to the to the left. That has to be why the mystery labyrinth still remains, even after discovering the mailman's identity. So who is the copycat criminal? <laughs> Y'all suspecting our gallery man? How dare you? Monster's identity. All right. <laughs> is it really the kid? <laughs> Why did you put me in here, big brother? <laughs> Who is the copycat killer? You're accusing me of being the copycat criminal? What? The I'm not gonna accuse. <laughs> silence. <laughs> Dead fucking silence. Are you serious You're right now? Me of being the copycat criminal? <laughs> what the hell? I'll kill your ass. <laughs> no, guys. I think it is him. <laughs> Look at him! Look at that face! Guilty! Oh, he's got a little tear in his eye! Oh, no. He's just a you little guy! I Honestly, told you already! I have nothing to do with this! Look at him! He's the one who's like obsessed with uh, the I nail man, you right? Already. I have nothing to do with this! And he was the one who showed up, and he like spilt the paint or whatever? No. So, You're I don't know. Y'all want me to choose the kid? Okay. I hope it's funny dialogue. <laughs> We'll do it. We'll do it. Just I got full health right now. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? No funny dialogue? He just stares at you the judgingly. Can only be the copycat by having info about the other crime scenes. So it has to be Okay, fine, Yuma. <laughs> fine. Okay, I kinda <laughs> I still kinda wanted him to, to get, do something. He just like I'm judging you, Yuma. I'm fucking judging you. No, <laughs> I told you already. I Send that boy I to the shower. You <laughs> You're accusing me of being. <laughs> oh my god. I told you already. Okay, I think it's this guy. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> Yuma, don't get you deceived. Are the copycat criminal. It's using the power of cuteness, Yuma, to deceive you. Huh? Me? What are you talking about? <laughs> Just staring there at you. <laughs> I told you all about the nail man and even cooperated with your investigation. And now you think I'm a murderer? Are you, are you gonna slay for him too? Me? Here we go, this baby. Is crazy. Your investigation isn't worth shit. Oh my god, you got a buff form too? To dust. Oh, you're, you're just foul. reusing his form. Oh, lame. Zero out of ten. Oh, you got glasses? You think that makes it special? You will never be Kenji's dad. 
who does not have a name. What would it, what was Kinji's dad be named? Dingy? Like a, a combination of Kinji and dad. Or Danji. Dadji. Dadji! Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, Kinji's dad. I'm sorry we have to slay you. A copycat to the end. True, true. Okay. Pass nail man murder. Why accuse me that of one. being the culprit? Oh, he's yelling at me. I thought that was Yuma for a second. I was like, bro. Um, woman's corpse. Pass nail man murders. Probably this one. Information obtained from the church worshiper. He knew about the past. Well, that was him who gave the information. Bro marks. Nah, nar. Oh, probably this one actually, because he was the one who did the art gallery one. Signs of strangulation, but no wounds, resisting, blah, 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 blah. Or actually, wait. Could it be non public information? Victims' strangle kills were all strangled. The cause of death was not. No, no. Okay, we're good, I think. Uh. Back up here. Okay. I was just first on the scene! Why do you think Sussy I'm a Baca. copycat criminal? Bro, you literally even copied his look! It could have all been the nail man! The cause of death is just different each time, yeah? Cause of death is just different. Even if there oh, was a copycat might actually criminal. be that. Oh. Why is it me? Why is it me? The servant could be the copycat. Oh shit. Uh, oh fuck. The nun could be the copycat. The nun. Anyone could have done it. Anyone could have done it. Okay. Hmm. What was that one that said they were all the same? Oh, actually, or wait, no, he said they were all different. He said they're all different. And then, um, whatchamacallit. We could use his own words against him, right? Because I think that evidence story says they're all the same. The nail man incident was a talk of the town, so wouldn't anybody, couldn't anybody be the copycat killer? Except. But in order to copy the crime, you would need to know the details of the case. He didn't do a very good job, did he? Were those details widely known? Let's check the solution keys. Okay. Details of the case. Oh, it's this one, actually. Why accuse oh. me of being the culprit? I was just first on the scene. Why do you think I'm a copycat That's criminal? A bad habit of just running into these. It could have all been the nail man. All been the nail man. The cause of death was just different each time, yeah? Wait. Oh shit. I knew it. The change of the cause of death is no. Uh, I don't know what I was. Th I don't know. I think I like combined two things that I was thinking together, and it got uh, not <laughs> not right anymore. Change of the death. No coincidence, because it was done by a copycat. Pointing to this solution key, the cause of death for each victim wasn't made public. The copycat tried to cover the cause of death, right? Why would they do that? I can't read. In that case, because they had seen the bodies, and only one of the suspects could have done that. Oh, I think it's the last one. Why accuse me I was thinking of being that one was culprit. like kind of extra. I was just first on the scene. Duck, duck, Why duck. Why do you think I'm a copycat criminal? Duck, duck. It could have all been the nail man. All been the nail man. The cause of death was just different each time, yeah? There was a copycat criminal. Why is it me? Why is it me? Copycat? <laughs> Ooh. You need to be the copycat. Oh shit. God damn it. I did it again. No. This one? Yeah. This Anyone. Mystery. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that one is so rough when it hits you multiple times. The cause of death in the art gallery was blunt force trauma, faked as a strangling to resemble the nail man's M.O. But the murders all being Poor strangulations Yuma. wasn't made public right away. The only ones who knew that were those who actually set foot on the crime scenes. That includes the mailman himself, the peacekeepers, and the first eyewitnesses on the scene. Which means you. You could have committed the murder in the art gallery. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to show those cheeks. Master, after him, beat some sense into that sensitive, nonsensical fan. <laughs> what? The what? <laughs> oh, God. The turnaround. 
You wish you were the nail man. You wish you were as caked up as him. For the first on the scene to also be the culprit is rather cliche. Mm. He was always suspicious, but because the real nail man was someone else, I didn't connect the dots. He was fascinated by the nail man, and by studying him, he eventually knew more about him than anyone else. Just imagining the worshiper Ultimately, getting like a BBL just so he can the match nail the man. nail man. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, why did you, why did you come in so crime, all of a sudden, dummy, thick, random worshiper works. guy? No reason, priest. No reason. The truth is right there. My radar is banging like crazy. Banging? <laughs> oh man. Here we go. Up oh, here we go. Time for the attack on Titan. Can I control Lara this time? Away. Are we gonna slay? I won't let you. You have the truth. Looks like we've arrived at the final stage. If we make him submit, we'll completely solve the mystery labyrinth. Master, don't let your guard down. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> the Binko, I feel like that icon kind of even looks a little bit like him with the. <laughs> The blue hair. He's kind of have a pink face. Or am I just thinking of Danganronpa blood? Maybe. <laughs> a mini game that makes me feel like a god. No thrust pose. That's only for Zilch. Only he, only he can do the thrust. <laughs> okay, hopefully it still gives me prompts because I can't remember which one I do which for. Let's do this, master. Okay. Oh shit, oh kick, uh shit, oh fuck. Okay, okay, kick, kick, kick. Wait, is it not kick? Oh, it's jump. Oh shit, okay. Kick, okay, that one was kick. Oh shit. I was like, I do not remember. <laughs> um. Oh shit, jump, jump. Ah, damn, oh, did the wrong one again. Jump, jump, or white tackle, okay. Tackle? Which one was the one for the wall? Shit. You didn't even check the crime scenes back then! How do you know that? Destroy the wall with a solution key. Um, show solution key menu? You can check the crime scenes. Lara's forte. Okay. I guess, uh, I don't have to really explain it too much. You're wrong! Huh? Come on! Hey, tackle for the Thanks walls. That seems so strange. You were able to see what each crime scene looked like at that time. My power allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. Not the culprit, not the victim, but how it appeared when a third party first entered. We use postcognition to gather all the evidence. Time to go down. Okay. Why is tackle? A kick, Wrong. you jump. Oh, jump, jump. Oh shit! That there it is. It's down there. <laughs> okay. I do not play enough Stop Switch it. games. Whew. Get away from me. Whew. Whew. Here we go. Get away from me. Get away. <laughs> so many walls. <laughs> get away! Get away! Get away! Who cares if you use post cognition? Where is Halara? Now that I think about I it. Jump. First person on scene. No clue will help lead you to the culprit. Here we go. Who? You're never going to find the culprit. What you saw is oh, only what I skin. saw the moment the corpse was discovered. Hmm. Try the purchase with a solution key. What you saw is only what I saw the moment. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, of course. I need to... I need to really look at this image and make sure I got uh, all the knowledge I need in my big brain for that. Ah, yes, yes. 
Um, let me, so it was, uh, when you only saw, you only saw what I saw the moment the corpse was discovered. Yes, I did see this. I did, I did see this. I did see this piece of evidence. <laughs> okay, non-public information. Pain on the floor. Moment. Does that have to be the pain on the floor? I think so. I saw, it's only what I saw the moment the corpse was discovered. I think so. Polaris post-cognition showed us that the paint can at the gallery storage entrance had been knocked over. And according to the art gallery staff member's testimony, that was your doing. You went into the crime scene first, and the art gallery employee behind you noticed you knocking over the paint can. But Polaris post-cognition only shows the scene when the corpse is first discovered. Oh, so, ah, big brain, I get it. So it was after the art gallery man who's innocent, baby! So if My you king. were the first person to find the body, the scene before the paint can fell over would have been recreated. But it wasn't. The paint can had already been knocked over when the corpse was discovered. That means the first person to find the corpse was the art gallery staff member, not you. The reason you didn't count as the first person to find it is because you're oh, the culprit. Nice. Kind of like some Danganronpa rules, you know what I mean? Reminds me, yeah, of like, uh, oh, like three people besides the culprit have to discover it or whatever. I always enjoy this tricks like that in cases. Case. <laughs> nice detail. I love that. Get him. You're not even the real male, 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 nail, whatever, man. Bring back the priest, who I've decided is hot. <laughs> that man slayed, and he knew he slayed. And he'd do it again. He'd do it again. <laughs> That's kind of funny, yeah, the art gallery man. He kind of did save this whole thing, didn't he? And that's why they gave him such a hot voice. <laughs> because they knew how important he was. Master, finish him! Oh, Shove shit. all your evidence into the solution blade and slash as hard as you can! I kind of feel weird doing this knowing that they're actually gonna die. It'd be cool if they got like uh, unique executions, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, Dell, we gotta do the deduction. Deduction denouement! Which is totally different than the closing argument. Okay, I love that picture. Oh, that's cool, it's got the church in the background too now. Oh, neat. Neat! How do I. Okay, I turn the page like that. Then, oh, yeah, I think. Yeah. So I only have these two pieces right now. Vent and Eyeless Doll. Which one is this in? This is, uh, the mansion. Okay, so yeah. Do the, ah, turn it. Okay, there we go. The vent. Uh, up here? Yeah, climbs in the, climbs the vent. Climbs up to the vent. And then the vent! What? Really? Oh wait, what? Oh, he looks at the... Oh, okay, okay. Whatever, whatever, I'll take it. Okay, I'm... Um... Eyeless doll. What did the culprit, culprit tie to the vent? What did the culprit pass the line through? Tie to the vent. I don't keep tubing either of these. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sucking this uh this game. Pass the last line through. Okay. Incinerator and nails. Okay, the vent nails. What the culprit used to climb the wall? It's gotta be that, right? Okay. 
back of the corpse's neck. Okay, that was uh, for this one, I think. The culprit passed the last line through. Incinerator, fishing line, key. Let's go back here. Just gonna get this old one. Culprit tied to the vent. Okay, fishing line. I think I got kind of confused about the wording. Oh yeah, and then this guy. Oh wait, what do you look like going in the vent in this one? Do we see? Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the back shot. Okay, I see. I see. You know, I still see it. I still see it. <laughs> I still see the cake. <laughs> okay. Um, key in the uh, in this one. What was nailed to the doll? The key. That was very important for research purposes, guys. I needed that to, to really solve this case. That's how you know he's truly the, the nail man. He used to escape. The ladder. And then, that's just the incinerator now. What did the culprit use to destroy the evidence? I guess some of these are kind of weird to me, because it's like, what did he use to destroy the evidence? The incinerator, but then you see him, like, literally with the incinerator. Like, <laughs> right next to that, you know? <laughs> kind of strange. I feel like in Dong and Rafa, they kind of, like, covered it up more, I guess, you know what I mean? The identity of the nail man. So yeah, for these three murders. The priest guy! And who is the fake copycat? Of uh, the copycat killer. It could only be Dark Applier. Okay, I think that's it. Nice. Did you? Step right up, step right up. A series of locked room murders based on an urban legend. Here we go. We I love the music the in this game. It's so good. Of the nail man. Truth bombs are about to be dropped. Time for the deduction denouement. To solve the mystery of this string of events, I uh, have to know the who the nail man is first. The nail man is an urban legend of Kanaiwar. X or Y that does autoplay. Kind of wanted to do autoplay. Write down the name of someone you want dead, and drive a nail through it and a doll to a tree behind the church. Makes sense why it's behind the church now the too. The will kill that person for you with a countless number of nails. A string of murders exactly like that urban legend began half a year ago. Man, this presentation looks a lot nicer than the other one. I guess the other one was a prologue case. All of the crime scenes featured a corpse and dolls nailed That's down really within a locked room. The first murder happened oh. six months ago at a secret club in Kamasaki oh, District. Thank you. The victim was none other than the geezer who owned the place, and the cause of death was strangulation. I heard the buy-in to place a bet was pretty steep, and cheating was rampant, so it was obviously a scummy place. The key to the door was inside of a glass. No. Oh, the music's so good in this game. And the vent that connects outside looked too high for escape to be possible. But the culprit used the nails driven into the wall as footholds to climb. Gotta get like a dancing cat emote for here. The and there it is. And why the nails that were bent downward. The vent was not screwed down at the time of the murder. So it could easily be removed and used as an escape room. The second murder happened three months ago. It was at a mansion near Gima District. The victim was some real estate agent who lived there, and the cause of death was again strangulation. Yeah, so many murders for this case. He made a lot of money through shady real estate deals, so of course someone would be out to get him. Freaking hell, slippers, man! Was the only possible entrance. But the key to that door was underneath the nailed-down victim. 
Yeah, I think they are both gonna die now. After the culprit escaped, some sort of trick was used to get the key back into the room. A fishing line passed from the vent through the eye socket of the doll and propped up the upper body of the corpse. <laughs> Can't get All that music. was left was to exit the room, lock it, throw the key in from the vent, and boom! You got yourself a locked room mystery! The key was tossed under the victim from the vent, and once the fishing line was retrieved, the corpse's upper body fell over, completing okay. the crime scene. Okay, it was just the upper body lifted up. I can't remember. The nails on the upper body Some of these didn't pierce through completely. Mysteries. I feel like I get so it wasn't confused. nailed down at all. The third murder happened one month ago in an art gallery storage room in Gima District. The skank's cause of death was blood force trauma. <laughs> okay, Shinigami. <laughs> She was a pretty lady who let her looks get to her head, and she got boom killed. The key to the storage room was nailed to a painting through a doll. This was a really smart strategy. Another trick was used to get the key back inside Low the room. Low effort and easy to make it look like, yeah, it's the a locked room with mystery. The doll it was propped up against the window, and then the culprit left the room. Red shoes, man. They nailed the key to the painting through the window. I know the Knocked priest is better over. though. Damn, Way better. Those he wishes he was a uh, dad G. Cases. And now, there's been another murder at the clock tower in Kanai Ward. The woman's cause of death was strangulation. Did we ever find out what she did? Was she a bad person? Do we even know? I feel like we never really got like the lowdown on what she did to, you know, deserve this, allegedly. Since you told that kid you'd take care of it, we gotta solve this case. The clock tower crime scene is rather high up on the third floor. The door was locked from the inside, and the window shutters were also locked. But there was rainwater under the window, and the nails in two of the dolls had rub marks. In other words, the culprit must have hung a rope ladder from the dolls that was really to escape out too. the window. The rope ladder idea. With my logic, anything is possible. If only he would have hit it as home or something. Why are you imitating Halara? Anyway. Oh, oh my god, I actually kind of thought that was Halara for a second. The killer cut their footing on the way down from the window. That way, they could just pull on you one side of the rope to all, retrieve Lara? the whole thing. The shutters come down See, I never would have thought weight, of that. So they Cutting the rope once to like, the rope pull was it down. Down. So smart. Do you notice the auto locking feature? You sure love your shutters, master. <laughs> but what about the drone umbrella? I know. Missed opportunity for sure. We got well, we got like four or five more cases. We'll get to it eventually. We'll get to it eventually. Surely. Must be someone from the clergy. You think it's kind of dumb sometimes when like these, I don't know, like these culprits, they like burn something in like a public space. Like, I don't know, dude. Like can you just like, I guess, uh, it just seems like, I guess I don't know how it works with peacekeepers, but you, wouldn't you need like a permit for somebody to search your house? So like, I feel like it would be better just to like, take it to your house and then like try to dispose of it there. Not even like dispose, maybe just like hide it for a while. I don't know. Until people forget about it, I don't fucking know. You well, probably should have at least, I don't really know, I guess this. exactly what would be best to do. Never mind. what do I know? <laughs> I don't know nothing. The mailman killing share one more characteristic. All the victims were murdered by strangulation. This piece of information wasn't publicized. But the cause of death in the art gallery murder was blunt force trauma. The strangulation marks were added later. Which means that it was someone mimicking the mailman. But I already know the identity of the copycat killer. <laughs> First, the mailman must be someone thin enough to pass through the vent. Someone with the skills to throw the key with precision. And someone with the fade too, the man. I've never seen a priest with such good hair. Oh, no! Uh, it is kind of sad. I do like him now. <laughs> Uh, I had no feelings towards him until now, but now... 
Now I kind of want him to live. Someone who knows that all of the victims were strangled to death. <laughs> He's like, ah, I'm good. Because he was the first. Uh, Deuce's nail man. The person capable of replicating the mailman's crimes is the worshipper. You're the copycat criminal. Da na na, Darkiplier. Damn you. Yeah, no, Hilara's just disappeared, hasn't, hasn't they? Or haven't they? It's like, ah, oh, that's gonna be an upcharge. <laughs> upcharge if I join you guys there. I don't, I don't this feel is like the truth it. Of the case. Okay. Ooh. What the hell is that? Knock their souls right out of their body, man? Oofers. Just about to reef them, I guess. What's that? I know, we're just gonna kill them. The soul it's no big the deal. Culprit who built this mystery labyrinth. I see. It looks otherworldly, but there's an ominous air around it. Thank you, Halara. I was only able to make it this far thanks to you. I only kept my part of the deal. You made the right choice hiring me. But I will say one thing. You've taken another step toward being a detective. That much is certain. I... Polar Nightmare, acknowledge you. <laughs> Thank you, Batman. R really, Holara? <laughs> you do? I don't know, I feel like they're like, I guess the mysterious aura does kind of remind me of Batman, especially like the call out my name. <laughs> I guess Batman, it's like you put that symbol in the sky. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Breaking that up right now. All eyes on Shinigami. Time to murder! What's about to happen? Oh, isn't it obvious? It's the moment we've all been waiting for! Time to boot kill the bad guy! Here we go. I hope it is, like, unique. I'm gonna be kind of disappointed if it's not. We'll see. Because yeah, I feel like the other one was a bit... Um... Just kind of, you know, vague or whatever. Bloodlust. Overflowing despair. Okay. The brilliant soul of Shinigami. <laughs> Fucking. Shall expunge this cursed case. The Sailor Moon ass. All deplorable. Moving to the final mystery labyrinth. Be needy. Oh, please do. Killed by love, a heart. No! Jesus Christ! <laughs> it looks so pretty. <laughs> and then you just hear them like dying and suffering in pain. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> but they killed with love, so that makes it okay. <laughs> that makes it all right. <laughs> oh man. Crosswalks. I do kind of wish yeah, I was a bit more like uh, tailored towards them. Like I feel like a, I don't know, seeing them get like killed in a similar fashion to like the way Nail Man was or something like that could feel a bit more satisfying. But the animation looks nice, you know. But just kind of personal, personal preference. Oh, they literally just fall down dead. Um, uh, are you alright? Oh, poor servant. What's going on? What happened to those two? There's no pulse. They're dead. D dead? What? What is this? I sure worked hard today. <laughs> Feels so good to boom kill the murderer. Did we tell Lara about that part? <laughs> Did we tell them about that part? <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna fucking kill them! The mystery labyrinth crumbles when you reap the soul of the true culprit. Dang it. Then, the cause of the mystery labyrinth's creation pays the price by vanishing with it. Literally just fall over, man. I knew this would happen, but it still hurts to see someone die before my eyes. I feel like it's kind of weird with them just dying straight up, like, uh, once we finish the labyrinth, you know? It's like... I feel like it would kind of be better for us, honestly, if we could just prove their innocence and maybe they could admit to it, you know what I mean? If they were still alive. It's like 
I killed them myself. It's like, hey, I know the priest did it. And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we can tell him our evidence, but still. No, I did kill them. I killed them with the ruthless blade of the truth. There, there. It was Humans mostly Shinigami. Kill cows and pigs all the time and eat them. You don't feel bad about that, right? <laughs> so you should eat these guys too, right? Good talk. These were the souls of deranged murderers. At least you didn't eat them. If you look at it that way, there's nothing to feel bad about at all. It's not so simple when it comes to people dying. <laughs> you did, but we forgive you, King. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Did you people do this? Did you kill them with some kind of poison? Yeah, for real, like, this is making us look worse. Hey, hold on. I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, too much is happening all at once. <laughs> Poor Yako. We shall talk at headquarters. Oh, yeah. Follow me there immediately. Is it just me? Are they or just not gonna? Are things more complicated now than before entering the mystery labyrinth? Are they just not gonna arrest us anymore? <laughs> Forget about the child. Oh, you want help? Are you going to rely on me again? Oh, fine. I can't say no when you ask for help. Oh, what the? Oh, Jesus. Um, everyone. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, God. It's like a... It's gonna move him like a puppet? Ugh. Ah, he came back to life! <laughs> Jesus! Poor Yako! <laughs> Sorry about that. You see, I'm actually the male. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> These are my final words, so I can't lie. <laughs> I'm the mailman. The worshiper laying there is just a copycat criminal. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 of course. <laughs> Sorry for dying on you guys. That was kind of rude. Let me just come back real quick. One, one last thing. <laughs> Search the church for the tools used in each crime. I'm sure you'll find plenty of evidence. <laughs> plenty of evidence. If you think I'm lying, like his voice go too. ahead and check it out. Thanks. <laughs> Yako's gonna be so fucking traumatized. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> but that was a super lazy confession. Will it work? That should do it. We even have witnesses, so this case is closed. <laughs> Yay! We did it! <laughs> oh, fuck off. I quite hear him. Um, yes, I could not hear the confession that he yelled out so loudly. <laughs> Because of reasons, my hoodie anyway, blocks my ears. Everyone here will be taken to Amaterasu Corporation at once. You gotta possess Dark Applier now, girl. What? <laughs> wasn't effective at all. He's so stubborn. <laughs> this is why I hate authority. What do we do? <laughs> Wait, I hear something. Huh? Oh, what the? What now? A motorbike. Jesus. Something is heading this way at an alarming speed. So much going on. It can't be. Uh oh. Your boss. Where is that coming from? Oh. Kind of no. seems like it. What are you doing here? <laughs> what the hell? I hate throwing him. They just Come kill on. him? You dare speak so carelessly? Who do you think I am? The hero who defends peace and order in oh, my ward. Director of the Amaterasu Peacekeepers. Oh, that's how you know he's fucked up. The Honorable Ooh. Yomi Hell Smile. <laughs> Hell Smile? What kind of name is that? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the Peacekeeper's director? So he is the head of the peacekeepers. Yeah, I think I remember seeing promotional images of them too. Not that that means they're safe or anything. Now you know, small fry. Bow down. Bow down. <laughs> Yomi. Hell smile. <laughs> A smile straight from hell. Look like squares in his eyes. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. Benevolent Director Yomi is here to help. I was like, she reminds me of somebody. I'm trying to think of who. I feel like it's like a mixture of Peko and like Kaide, honestly. Oh, excuse me for the late Super introduction. Pretty. I am Vice Director of the Peacekeepers, Martina Electro. Mm. 
Okay, queen. Ah, the purple lipstick. Okay. Working it, working it. She is so pretty, man. She's my beloved right hand. No one else gets to have her. <laughs> okay, cool. Way to flex on us. I, I know you all think she's super hot. So let me just remind you that she's taken, okay? I see you all simping over there. Thank you, another professional. Not gonna lie, if someone were to tell me that Hell Smile was secretly a biological dad of Seishi, Xander, Scarlet, I would generally believe them for looks alone. Oh, you know what? I do see it for sure, especially Xander. Dang. <laughs> He's being so weird right now, though. Y'all gonna make out in front of us or something? What's with him? What, you want me to prove it? I'll do it. Master, I'll do it right here. Be careful. This Yoni guy is dangerous. Huh? I've never seen anyone emit such a dangerous aura before. He does seem to be giving me the crazy vibes. He's that bad? So, what brings you here? <laughs> this relationship's gonna be toxic, isn't it? How could you say that? They're so, they seem so emotionally stable. Oh, right. I was so focused on my beloved right hand that I completely forgot. No, yeah, they're gonna be hella mad toxic. As mentioned earlier, Director Yomi is here to help. I hear you've been troubled by Seth's unreasonable treatment. Is that right? Well, she is so pretty. Oh my god, I'm like shook. Huh? D Director Yomi, what is going on here? <laughs> Why am I? No, don't take my headphone guy away from me. You can kill me, but don't take number 77 away. We have discovered you've been receiving sizable mm. kickbacks for facilitating donations meant for the church. There it is. I was wondering. Yeah, that was bothering me so much. I was like, why are they helping him? <gasps> we now know why you were so desperate to clean up all the nail mat killings. After all... It would be troublesome to lose access to all that money if the priest was arrested as the nail man. That'd be so sad. W wait, please. Director Yomi, I did this under your orders. I don't remember that anymore. <laughs> kind of forgot about that man. <laughs> did you say something? Because I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> no, not the headphone! No! How could you do this to him? You can take his life, his loved ones, but not, not his headphone. You know the real ship of this game? Seth X the headphone. I only did this because you ordered me to. Oh, he is very soft-spoken. Seth, you make me sad. It's so sad. I am the hero and defender of peace in this city. My peacekeepers are proud soldiers of that mission. And yet... You let yourself be corrupted. <laughs> How could you? I love this guy. <laughs> You're going to be such a little shit, aren't you? I love you both already. Seth, for the sake of the peacekeepers and the peace of Kanai Ward. Oh my god. You were, oh, he's, oh, I love him. I love him. Die. <laughs> Taking advantage of your position as a peacekeeper executive is a serious crime. The punishment must be severe. But, but... Oh, Jesus. I kind of feel bad for Seth now. I guess uh, maybe I shouldn't. No. At least... No, he's doing it too. No. Yeah, Headphone I'm guy. Annoyed my own underling would or be megaphone guy. Like this. Been saying the wrong word the whole time. Damn it. <laughs> megaphone guy. Even he... Maybe, maybe he'll bust him out. I... You know... Should I ship Seth with the megaphone or with the megaphone guy? I think it's it's a toss up. It's a toss up, but maybe he'll save he'll save our boy Seth. Oh man, I like these two though. They feel like real villains. I'm so annoyed. I'd go insane if I didn't toy around with my beloved right hand. It's an honor. Can y'all like, stop this though? Can y'all stop this this weird shit in front of us though? He's terrible. Ugh. Like a lizard cutting off its own tail to survive. Get a room. Someone like him is in charge of the peacekeepers? They just knew. Kadaka knew everybody's gonna be simping for them. So he was like just trying to let us know that they're both taken. Don't look him in the by eyes. each other. Don't talk to him either. If possible, don't even breathe the same air as him. Though it's probably too late for that. 
I'm not gonna lie. I cannot wait for that relationship to crumble, though, because you know it is. You know it's gonna get real bad at some point. Well, then. To our shit for brains friends playing detective. Looks like I have to give you a warning. Know your place in my city and stay there. Follow the rules and don't disturb our peace. Or I'll need you to die. <laughs> He definitely seems like my kind of guy, <laughs> my kind of character. In this city, Director Yomi is both too, the law honestly. and the peacekeepers itself. Defying us means you defy law and order. You will receive fitting treatment for such behavior. Before, you were insignificant specks of dust. But now that you've banded together, you've become an eyesore. Detectives, my ass. Annoying little shits. Mm. Ooh. Ah. Wow. Dick? That's not very nice. Dang. Let's go, my beloved right hand. <laughs> beloved right hand. Yes, Director Yomi. How much you wanna How much you wanna bet they're cheating on each other? <laughs> I don't know, they just seem super <sighs> toxic. Looks like we've been targeted by someone dangerous. I do like them though, man. They do seem like some pretty Pretty interesting villains. Definitely my types of uh, characters. Definitely ranked, r risen up to characters that I'm most interested in for yeah, sure. Thanks to you, one wrong move and it would have been all over. You got that? I'm sorry, but no buts, <laughs> none. <laughs> How did this happen anyway? God, there's so many characters to simp for in this game, dude. Oh my god. I feel overwhelmed with simpery. Oh, Laura, help me out. Please explain what happened. You said you acknowledged me as a detective, didn't you? What? When did I say that? Oh. Huh? It's such a shame, Master. Uh, Everything that feeling. happens in the mystery labyrinth gets forgotten. Lame. I had a feeling, though. I remember they said something else that kind of made me feel like they might have forgotten. What? <laughs> Lara's memory must have been wiped after entering and leaving the labyrinth. Could have told me that earlier, girl. Nothing inside the mystery labyrinth can be taken into the real world. Not even unless you have a contract with yours truly, that is. But I thought Halara and I had Aww. finally reached an understanding. Oh, right when they were like, I respect you, Yuma. <laughs> Memory wipe. That's Memories sad. from up until you enter the mystery labyrinth are retained, like the debt you owe for your assignment. That's awful. <laughs> hey, Yuma, are you listening? You better make sure this doesn't happen again. By the way, Chief, our submarine office is tipping over. Oh, Jesus. Are you sure the peacekeepers didn't mess with it? What? Seriously? Oh, man. I have to go back and repair it. Oh, poor Yaku, dude. Yuma, help me out. Follow me. <laughs> Worst day ever. It was supposed to be time for you to, to reveal the solution. But we've ended up in quite the mess. Huh? Y yeah. This is my first time dealing with the true culprit dying before they could be accused. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna happen a lot more. I recall how you did your best to try and solve the case. Oh, you gonna respect me? They're gonna be like, I kind huh? of respect you. <laughs> Half respect. You should be proud. Alara. Oh, Look, Aww. the chief is calling for you. That's cute. You should go. Right. Thank you. Ah, look at Yuma. He's so happy. He just a little guy. Oh, cute. I could see Alara just pretending, but I feel like uh, I'll definitely be a lot more certain once we see other detectives enter the labyrinth. It did kind of seem like in that scene maybe they remembered, but it's hard to know. Hard to know. Seth's creed. Silence is golden. To this day, Seth mumbles in adherence to that creed. Oh, okay, interesting. Electrowave detectives. Are you serious? A peacekeeper executive was taking bribes from the church? If Director Yomi said so, it would be considered the truth, even if it isn't. What about the priest being the new man? It's going to be publicly announced as the truth. 
It appears the priest's strong desire to save others turned him into the nail man. Yeah, that's pretty wild. I just I think the wildest part was, yeah, the part where he was like, I purposely made them suffer. I was like, oh, Jesus, dude. He saw people wishing for revenge as they hammered those nails in the forest and decided he needed to save them. That was the motive, though it could all be a story made up by the peacekeepers. So what about the kitty cat criminal? <laughs> the kitty cat? You mean the copycat? <laughs> the kitty cat criminal. Oh, we got a picture of them. Uh, Holara, show, show the kitty cat criminal. That one was already publicized as well. They say the copycat did it out of admiration for the real nail man. And in the end, he felt so much guilt that he poisoned himself? None of this really makes any sense. That's a lie we told them? Interesting. That sure didn't look like death by poison to me. He just falled over. <laughs> it was me! I did it along with that detective kneeling in penitence over there. I kinda wonder if this is gonna eventually drive Yuma crazy. I feel like we might kill somebody who actually has like a decent motivation at some point. Or I guess, yeah, I feel like we might have like a culprit eventually that's like more kind of ambiguous in terms of like if they're evil or if what they did was wrong or not, you know? I could see that really upsetting Yuma and kind of turning his world upside down. It would make more sense so to assume Yomi killed them somehow. And like, <laughs> I mean, the nail man was pretty evil. Especially when you consider the timing. He'd do it without batting an eye. Yomi Hellsmile, the director of the Peacekeepers, the leader. I heard he rode in on a dragon. Girl. <laughs> no, it real. was a motorcycle. <laughs> Where did you even hear that from? The Peacekeeper's influence is gaining ground at Amaterasu Corporation. And there's some sort of power struggle going on. Seems like they're getting their way internally. I hear that their boss, Yomi, is extraordinarily dangerous. Extraordinary. So he is very mm -hmm. normal? How scary. Oh my god! It's only a matter of time until the Peacekeepers gain complete control of the Corporation. When that happens, they might outright attack the World Detective Organization. Perhaps the WDO made its move because they saw the warning signs. If that's the case, it could have something to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Oh yeah, what's the deal with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? We still know nothing about it, huh? Yeah, I was like, we haven't got any clues for that. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the Nailman incident. I wonder what it could be. Sheesh, so much to deal with. This sounds exhausting. Didn't I tell you that from the start? We have to obey directives from number one, no matter how difficult they are. Yeah, is I going to see number one anymore? <sighs> I guess we'll see. Oh, Vivia. Oh. Well, well, we got some very talented master detectives gathered here. I'm sure it'll be fine. Talk more, Vivia. Come on, I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah. So much. No. Everything changes from now on. Yuma, you can take a seat now. Uh, my legs feel numb. <laughs> Poor Yuma. Don't stick your neck out recklessly from now on, for everyone's sake. Got it? Got it. <laughs> Gonna be doing that a lot more in the future. Super hard. I'm so stressed, I could die. Oh wait, but I can't die. <laughs> Do we have a visitor? Hmm. That's rare. Yuma, can you go get it? Sure. Who would that be? Number one? He was number one. Oh wait, I gotta talk to you, Vivia. Hey King, come on. Get more screen time. When is it gonna be my turn to hang out with you? Mm -hmm. Um, how kind of you. I didn't think you'd come to check on me too. But you should probably check on the visitor instead. They might get mad and go home, but I just want yes. you. I just want you, Vivia. Right, got it. I see. A visitor, could it be? Maybe. Do you have an idea of who it is? Perhaps it is the kitty cat you mentioned earlier. <sighs> and not kitty cat, copy cat. The guy already committed suicide. So oh? Uh, oh, my apologies. I do so often forget things. Oh my goodness, a kitty cat. I can't believe you killed a cat, Yuma! Hey. A visitor. It could be the peacekeepers. What do I do? Oh, they may be after us after what happened today. Yeah, be careful. You're not going to help? I don't work for cheap. I could, but how much can you pay? 
All right, do I still owe you? Can you can you forgive my loans? Yuma. A visitor, who could it be? Yuma, can you go get oh. it? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Master, you're like a little servant boy. <laughs> right before I talk to everybody. Oh. Um, someone's here, right? Maybe you should get the door. They might get fed up and go home. Fine, I'll get it. Oh, hey, it's you, oh, kid. It's you. I know it was you who did it, kid. I don't care what the mystery labyrinth said. I know it was you. My dad is back safe oh, and that's home. Cute. It's all thanks to you. I still can't get over the fact that we could accuse him earlier. <laughs> that was so funny. Thank you for helping us. No, I just... Well, I'm happy for you. Oh, look at you getting thanked. You were on your knees just a moment uh... ago. Be quiet. Oh, um, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Just a little guy. What is it? Did someone else die or something? Oh, you're gonna give me Will your you play catch <laughs> crappy me? ball. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, that's huh? cute. Catch? But it's raining. <laughs> it's always raining. Actually, sure. Let's play. Aw, oh, look at that. You made a little buddy. The one person in the city who's shorter than you, Yuma. Congratulations. I think you created Xiara. Oh, I'll read it in a second, sorry. My memories still seem like faraway raindrops. My hands still have yet to grasp a single thing. Oh my god. He's so into poetry. I'm still lost. Is it all right for me to be here? It's like instead of like the rap lines that Sora would do. It's got like the emo poetry. <laughs> But with the worn baseball gripped in my hand, my heart somehow feels lighter. Why I wanted cute. to be a detective. It could have been for the sake of something so small that it fits in my hand. Maybe I should give myself credit for this small realization. <laughs> so Girl, I don't think you can play with them. <laughs> I think I'll keep pretending to be a detective. Oh yeah, we're kind of like right outside the city almost. Well, I guess it could just be more city on this side. Nailman killings and oh, that was good. That was interesting. I at first I kind of thought I might have liked the mystery. Well, I don't know. I think I overall liked this chapter better. Oh god, I kind of need to see some of this stuff. RDM SS. <laughs> It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. The stamina was not the greatest. That was why I wanted all those boosters for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me uh, read this. Thank you, Creatix Tiara. Hello. Not sure if you figured this out already, but Shinigami's VA voices Dory and Genshin. If that's why she sounds familiar. Yeah, somebody else mentioned that, too. I could definitely could definitely hear it for sure. But thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. Sorry it took me a little bit to, to get to it. But uh, thanks, guys, for watching. It was a good time. I Yeah, I enjoyed this case. It was definitely a lot more complicated than the other case. I definitely like the shock value of the prologue case, you know what I mean? Like, um, I guess I might just save in the first file this time. I like the shock value of, like, the deaths and stuff. I feel like that was definitely really interesting. But I feel like um, the mystery was definitely better for this one. And once we kind of got to know, like, the priest more, I felt like it made it more interesting. I just feel like, uh, I guess my one sort of, like, critique so far is I feel like, uh, I don't know, I guess with Danganronpa, it's, like, easier to get connected with the characters who are getting... Because, like, you get invested with the characters who die and the characters who get accused as the culprit, you know what I mean? I wasn't super connected with, like, any of the suspects, you know what I mean? So I wasn't, like, super upset by any of them dying. So I guess it's a bit hard for a game like this, though, where it's, like, a big city rather than, like, a confined location where all you really have is to, like talk to people but I felt like I was able to bond with him more and actually kind of feel sad that like he was gonna die and stuff like that but I was still a lot of fun um I think overall yeah I did enjoy this chapter more than the first one even though I did enjoy the shock factor of the first one with the uh deaths but definitely something I don't want them to do all the time because then we'd have no more characters left so <laughs> but uh yeah um thanks guys for 
checking out this stream. I'll be live again on Saturday at 2 p.m. I'm just going to kind of probably stream every day at that time unless, you know, something comes up or I uh, decide I want to play a little bit more just to finish up the chapter or something along those lines. And yeah, I should have my Five Nights at Freddy's 3 playthrough up on like Monday. I finished everything. I just kind of got to edit through the last part of the video footage. So I'm excited for you guys to see that. That game was uh, pretty fun. <laughs> pretty fun and also scary, as they all are. But yeah, it was cool to see more of the, more of the lore for sure for that game. But thanks, guys, so much for stopping by. And I will see you next time.